cards inside the most exciting mystery boxes. If you're new to breaking with us, we can help break it down to make it as easy as possible to understand. First, head to the live break page and look for a series that suits your interests. Most of the series will have eight spots, which represent the eight NFL divisions, but other sports breaks or mixers may vary. If you purchase one spot, that means you have a one in eight chance to win an item at an extremely discounted rate. Then click add to cart to purchase your live break spot. Once you have completed your checkout, tune into the next available Live Breaks broadcast on Facebook, Twitch, or YouTube at 7 p.m. Central Time any day of the week, or 4 p.m. on weekdays, along with 2 p.m. on weekends. As you watch, you will see your name appear on the screen. When your specific break begins, your name will go into the randomizer and will be randomized a specific amount of times based on that evening's dice roll number. Once the randomization is over, the list of names of people that bought into that live break will be matched up with a specific division. If the item that is pulled from the mystery box matches your division, congratulations. You just won an incredible piece of signed memorabilia that will be shipped straight to your door. Want to guarantee yourself an item as opposed to testing your luck? Most of the series that you see on the live break page can be purchased under the mystery box tab of our website. Those boxes could either be shipped directly to your door or opened on the air before being sent to you. While you are there, make sure to sign up for our Signature Points Club. This exclusive club earns you points towards specific discounts, signed items, or exclusive events each and every time you buy at ultimateautographs.com. Well, the time has finally come. Let's get breaking. Hello and welcome to Ultimate Autographs. I'm Common here with Colin. We are ready for a massive show tonight, Colin. Yes, sir. Vamos Argentina. Vamos <laughs> oh, Messi. We got the World Cup semifinal taking home the dub. Uh, we got Messi scarves left and right. I can't wait to get started. I know we got a couple pre-fills already. That's right. Naughty or Nice Authentic. It's going to be a massive show. Uh, Colin, are you hosted in the early show? Thank you very much for filling in. Uh, look good from the parts I saw. Uh, how are you doing tonight? I'm good. Yeah, we had a little bit of confusion, a little bit of mixing up now. Steven is taking off, surprising the girlfriend, which is awesome. Uh, as you can see, it was a last-second thing. I think I'm still under Steven. Yeah, Ryan, I'll get you. So. I'll get you in there. I'm so used to Steven on Tuesdays. Yeah, yeah. So we're, just, we're all over. I like it. I like it. Cool. Well, hey, let's get started, folks. Uh, we do have a break ready to go. First, I'll pull up the randomizer. Uh, two virtual dice here. Uh, we we're looking for six or higher on the dice roll. Uh, we've got a five and a two, seven on the dice roll. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, let's see what our chase is. Wheel of names, chase, item of the day. Here we go. What do we have as the chase? It's going to be the college mixer. Ooh. Breaking news into the break room. We got one box to go in the college mixer. As soon as we close this out, can't miss is back in the break oh, room. Oh man. So that is fantastic. Basically, uh you have a one in six chance to win. Also one in six chance uh to get a chase wheel spin uh for that break. And Colin, while you're up there, if you can move that other camera a little this way. Towards you. Yeah, I think the tape was showing a little bit. Uh the top of the camera itself. Or yeah, that thing right there. Sorry. Yeah, like that. Yeah. A little this way. Yep, that should be good. Thank you, Colin. Chase item is gonna be the college mixer let's rock and roll folks let's have a massive show in the break room uh who's gonna call out some box numbers for the first one uh we've got in the naughty or nice authentics is the first pre-fill looks that's like that's right uh we have so i was just messing with this these are obviously not the divisions uh we have chris Destacio, steve durkey robert uh taglianti michael francia and ray hogan folks drop me a box number uh, that you guys would like to do otherwise it can randomize for the box numbers who all is out there in the chat drop in and say hello because it's a little lonely here between colin and i in the break room so let me know what you guys are feeling otherwise i can get the randomizer prep uh we are very close on the naughty or nice double as well mm -hmm. ray hogan wants 20 thank you ray Ray's a fellow Chicago fan like myself. I like that. Uh, he's been winning a lot in the break room of late. He got that triple sign college helmet. Or not the triple sign college, the triple sign cowboys helmet. So 20 going off the chicken, naughty or nice. 
We got you guys randomized for your divisions. Let's rock and roll. First break of the show. Uh, Colin, the first of many tonight. Oh, it's going to yeah. be a bunch of breaks tonight. We'll have a massive show. What's up, Paul Lewis? Paul Lewis. Hope all is good, Paul. Paul is a Steelers fan. Yesterday, I incorrectly identify him as a Patriots fan. He's definitely <laughs> a Steeler fan. Uh, and Paul, I agree with what Paul said yesterday. Brian Urlacher helmet instead of an Andre Johnson. I uh, that's that. what That's what he was going with. Uh, randomized are going up. Congrats on the win today, Colin. Colin did a great job filling in during the happy hour. Says another Colin, Colin Pelletier. Well, thanks, Colin. Uh, thank you very much, Colin, on both of those notes. Exciting win for Argentina, and always good to have uh, Colin in that host chair during the happy hour. So, uh, good stuff. I actually usually am green, Colin. I know you were blue. I went back to blue for Argentina. <laughs> oh, okay. I like uh, it. I got the green and yellow because of my uh, high school and college. That's right. how I organize it. Yeah. But now we're blue and yellow. So, I like Argentina it though. and my little, college. A little ode to Argentina. I just like the color. But, hey, for Argentina, I'll do it. I like it. All right. Randomizer going up. Uh, we are going. Dice roll was five and a two, seven clicks. For our divisions, good luck, folks. Let's see the heat. Going to be a lot of heat uh, coming out in the break room today. Uh, honestly, Colin, I appreciate that uh, that you filled in today just because even though the game didn't go to extra time and penalties, I could breathe and celebrate after the game, yeah. not rush to work. Sure. Uh, so that was fun. Ray Hogan, he's a Bears fan. He's got the NFC North. Chris Testacio, NFC South. Michael Francia, NFC East. Robert Taglianti, NFC West. Steve Durkee, the single spot snipe expert, AFC North. I tuned in briefly during the early show, and I think Steve Durkee sniped something again. That's what he does, man. He, he won't stop. Uh, we got Chris in the AFC South, Robert AFC East, and Robert AFC West. Here we go. First break of the show, box 20 of 35. For those of you watching on TikTok, head on over to the Ultimate Autographs live break page. And place your orders there. Absolutely. Link is already in the comments. Perfect. We're also streaming on Facebook, Twitch, YouTube. If you want to get the full experience of everything that's going on, uh, head on over there as well. Make sure you're following us on all those platforms, uh, including Instagram as well. Worth it. Worth the content. Absolutely. First box of the show, Naughty or Nice Authentics. I mean, you literally cannot make this stuff up. Uh, the guy that I said it's a single spot snipe expert. Oh my! He's still at it. <laughs> Steve Durkey, Cordell Stewart, flash Ooh. authentic. Uh, one of the best dual threat quarterbacks in the 2000s. His nickname, Colin Slash. I like that. Right there on the helmet, Steve Beautiful. Durkey, another one. Uh, and you know, I was thinking uh, that on Saturday, I think Joe maybe didn't pull Steve as much fire. I was thinking I was Steve's good luck charm, but it worked for you as well. Yep. So this guy is just on an unprecedented roll in the break room. Uh, I think it started last Thursday with you and I, and it has not stopped. It has not stopped. Um, usually these guys who win a bunch of breaks in a row, like a like a Denny Ricker or a Colin Pelletier, these guys are doing it with like two, three, four spots. Uh, this guy is a one-spot guy, uh, Mr. Steve Durkee. The man can't stop. Got that John Elway in the early show, too. Whew. In that college mini? Yeah. Where did Beautiful. that the St. Patty's coin go? That's what I use for the Naughty Nice. What do you use? Uh, I use the coin as well, which means I probably put it somewhere funkier. We have a whole bunch of them somewhere, though, don't we? Yeah, I think we do. I'm, I'm going to use my key for the first one. There we and go. And I'll go back to the coin. That's right. It now labeled the Durkinator. The Durkinator. <laughs> yeah. Better than Dirk Nowitzki, I'll tell you that. And that's saying a lot. Well, how about this? The Durkinator... He's a nice guy. So you're going to get a bonus prize uh, with that one spot right there. So, Steve, bonus prize. Drop me a stocking you would like to do. One, two, or three. The one behind me is one. The one in the middle is two, and the other one is three. If you see that St. Patty's coin, let me know. Yes, sir. I'm looking for a few more in here. I've got some. Never mind. There are some everywhere. That's. I thought we had a Got bunch, another but, one. Yeah, I threw mine somewhere. Uh, let's go with two, says Steve. Okay, Steve, we'll do two. What do we have here in the middle one? Stocking number two, Mr. Nice Guy. Oh, you know what? No big deal. He gets one spot. He's going to get a total of three, maybe four autographs. Oh, my. Because we've got an Oklahoma oh high school helmet coming up. Oh, my. Uh, so Cameron Weems will be jealous, Oklahoma fan. I think that one is either dual signed or triple signed. Bet two or three on there. Oh, it's three. 
because the card says Billy Sims, Steve Owens, two Heisman Trophy winning running backs, but I think Jason White's on there too. Jason White's on there too. Uh, the quarterback. So Told him earlier. Steve Durkey, uh, one spot, four autographs. I mean, I don't know what else to say. Good God. The man is just on fire. Steve Durkey. Hallelujah, my friend. <laughs> what How are you doing this, dude? Oh, man. If I ever need lotto numbers, I'm knocking on Steve's house, and I'll be like, hey, man, look, we hooked you up at Ultimate Autographs. You got to hook us up, because this guy, <laughs> I mean, this is ridiculous. It truly is. Steven watching, good Lord. I mean, I know, Steven. Uh, I know. What is going on? Uh, Austin Weathers saying, wow. Uh, just incredible, man. Uh, just rolling in the break room. So Cordell Stewart is his normal hit. His bonus prize is his triple sign Oklahoma Heisman. The man can't stop, so won't th stop. The buy-in here, Colin, is how much in this series? Not your nice authentics. Uh, um, that's... Sixty-five. Sixty-five dollars. Yep, sixty-five. So he spent sixty-five bucks. Got a full-size authentic, which is worth a couple hundred, even without the autograph. Yep. Got a full-size rep, and he's got four autographs total. Sheesh. Steve. 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 The uh, Durkinator. That's incredible. The Durkinator. I don't know when this streak is gonna stop. I'm waiting to like eventually be like, surely this guy's gonna stop, but nope, not anytime soon. <laughs> Oklahoma triple sign bonus prize for Steve. It is a freight train, man. Get out of the way. All right. So you can put this one back, Colin. I'll give you this sticky note here, and I'll put the Cordo Stewart away. Uh, that is crazy. Steve saying you hook me up nonstop. You're welcome, Steve. You keep those orders coming. We'll hook you up uh, left and right. We have a slab break next, Colin. Star Stutter number one. Yeah. Uh, we have James Durrell, Stephen Roselle, Adam Cantwell. Uh, we have Steven again and Robert Taglienti. So let me know, guys, on a slab box number. We got nine of them available right now. It's a 30-box series. We're down to, like, 23 as the last box on the ticker. A lot of good names left in that series as well. Absolutely. Uh, cannot wait to see that Cooper Cup. I have not seen that one yet, Colin. Nice. I like the Justin Herbert with that little like holographic or whatever's going on behind you it. You haven't seen that one either. Sick. Uh, what's our closest break uh, after this? Uh, let me give me one second because we just got a new order. We're right. getting a lot of good movement on loaded dice, which is great. Being the chase and that diamond helmet series that's following it. Yeah, the college mix of the chase action. I know you guys had oh, it earlier, yeah. but I'll tell you this, Colin. If we can close out the last two loaded dice, must be the last two crates. We'll do a chase wheel spin for you guys as well on that. Huh, there we go. So must get them both closed. See, talking my way into that. I like it. It was yeah. a good idea. It's yeah. a good idea. Uh, I like good ideas when I hear them. So uh, let me know on a box number. So, guys, we have two new series we can drop mid-show. Uh, we've got ridiculous, sick diamond helmets uh, with just incredible headliners. And we have uh, Can't Miss, which is a mixer this time. A mixture of different stuff. Can't miss is going up as soon as the college one is closed. Get so, them both, boys. If that's not incentive enough to close out those two series, I don't know what is. Me either. I don't know what is. Five to go in the college, and then it's uh, two to go in the double box break for the Authentics. Not here, nice. All right, I'm getting these slabs pulled up here. I have not heard on a box number. I'll get the slab boxes pulled up, and we'll rock and roll here uh, with our first slab break. Uh, open field reps were down to nine, and we have three headliners left. Adrian Peterson, uh, we've got the Michael Irvin and the Justin Fields. Uh, so we've got a single and a double. In a double box break, you can win Peterson and Justin Fields both. Good gracious. That is crazy. Say Absolutely less. crazy. Uh, and you know what? That's where Steve Durkin needs to head. Uh, he's the special with that. That's yeah. where he needs to play. Open field reps, Steve. Get Fields and Peterson with one spot. Well, he's playing loaded dice as well. Not a bad idea. Well, three to go win, there. He can win three there. So 18 going off the ticker in the football slabs. We'll do 18, Colin, for the slabs. 18. We'll get you guys randomized for your divisions. Good luck, folks. Let's see some heat. Man, I love that loaded dice is so close. Uh, two crates to go. Ray Lewis is one of the two. Yeah. Uh, so Paul Lewis will say... Let me get Cousin Ray. That's his cousin. Cousin Ray. Cousin Ray. <laughs> I like that. If that's your cousin, I would feel pretty safe. Yeah, me too. <laughs> no one's messing with you if that's your cousin, Paul Lewis. 
I am not coming anywhere near to messing with you. Not a chance. Uh, all right, star-studded slabs. Number one, Robert's got the NFC North. We got Adam in the NFC South, Stephen NFC East, Robert NFC West, Stephen AFC North, James AFC South, Robert AFC East, and Stephen AFC West. Here we go. Slab break 18 of 30. Uh, Paul Lewis just got in. There you go. All right, Paul. Brother Ray. <laughs> cousin Ray. Cousin Ray. But it's still. Or brother. Same no, deal. Cousin. Same deal. <laughs> oh, wow. We've got a good one here. Uh, we've got one of the best running backs of all time, the 1991 NFL MVP. Uh, we have the super, super rookie card, Thurman Thomas, on the slap card. Very cool. AFC East, Robert Tagliente. Robert got a bunch of spots. Taking home the Thurman Thomas slap card. Nicely done, Robert. Very nice. Let's go. Uh, a lot of Thurman Thomas lately. I'm still not sick of the Terminator, Colin. <laughs> One of the best nicknames. I, I'm, I'm sad he didn't inscribe it Terminator, but he usually does in some of these lately. So nice hit. Uh, absolutely, Justin Frazee. What's the deal, bro? I can give you a top to bottom rundown of the break page. As soon as we are caught up with breaks, which I think we are for now, but it might not be long, Colin. Yeah, well, I think the double box for the Authentics is filled up. Okay, so here's what we'll do. Regardless, Justin, uh, of whether uh, we have a break filled up after this next one or not, we're going to do a top-to-bottom rundown of everything once we knock out this double box break. Uh, that'll be the next order of business. Fair, fair, fair. I like the Therminator and the Durkinator, both in here. Yeah, and they're both winners. Both winners. Although Steve Durkey's a bigger winner, because Thurman Thomas is like a second-place guy. Steve Durkey's a first-place guy. That's true. <laughs> no doubt about that, Colin. Terminator. No doubt about that. A lot of runner-ups for the Terminator. Not not the Durkinator. No, the Durkinator does not get runner-ups. Uh, so we've got Steve Durkey again, Kevin Short, Edward Tabanera, Steve, Colin, Pelletier, Robert, Michael Francia, and James Webb. Let me know on... Two box numbers, Colin. Two box numbers Ooh. in the naughty or nice authentics. We've got 13, 14, 19, and 21. Let me make sure I got this one taken off, the one we did earlier. That was 20, so I didn't get it off. So let me know what you guys would like, then we'll rock and roll. Rock and roll. So let me know what you guys are feeling. Uh, Colin... We can add some more boxes after this break. Uh, let me see. I think I wrote some of these not boxes on here. Uh, let's see. 13, 14, 19, 21, 20. Alan wants 21. Okay. 21. Got it. One more. I think we brought them all in. One more, Colin. One more in the naughty or nice. 13, 14, and 19. This is the one with Barry Sanders. That's right. Woo! Barry Sanders, Inner Authentic, uh, is available in this series. Get him on the table, folks. Always a pleasure. One more number. I'm going to get these all on here, Colin. I've got 29, or let's see through it's a 35 box series i wrote some of these down that we had in the back uh so we'll make them all available on the ticker james webb wants 13 all right james lucky number 13 my girlfriend's favorite number ah yeah we'll see if it works out now my girlfriend doesn't usually watch the stream but last night colin she was checking up on me to make sure i was wearing my glasses because she knows that uh, I had that eye problem. She wanted to make sure uh, I could see that I'm not wearing my contacts when I shouldn't be. So she was checking up on me last night. She, she's playing doctor. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, I like that. Seven clicks for our double box break here in the naughty or nice. Six, seven. Was, well, yep, five and a two, seven on the dice roll. Michael Francia up top in the NFC North. We got Steve Durkey in the NFC South. It's Steve in the NFC East. Uh, we have James in the NFC West. Edward AFC North. Robert AFC South. Colin AFC East. And Kevin AFC West. Uh, here we go. What could we have here? 13. I'll do 13 first. Then we'll do the high one next in the naughty or nice 
Double box break. Not many left in this series. Uh, pretty sure the series will not be around very long, Colin. No. Uh, we've made them all available now, by the way. Check that ticker. On next break, we've got all the boxes available. Goodness. Ooh, we got a good one. I know, Colin, you've got it as a bottom five flash, and so do I, but this is <laughs> certainly a great player. So for a non-headliner hit, you get this, you're fired up, right? I like this it. This guy is borderline headliner worthy. If you get him as a filler hit, you're rocking. The 1983 NFL MVP, Joe Theismann oh. on the Flash Authentic. Look at that. Look who won again. Steve Durkee. Oh, my God. Now that is Steve Durkee. Woo. Another one for Steve on the Joe Theismann. College Football Hall of Famer, former Super Bowl champ, also a league MVP. Joe Theismann. Steve Durkee. Goodness. That is very cool, Steve, uh, on the Theismann. Let's see if he's been naughty or nice here. Good question. My girlfriend came on the stream a couple Saturdays ago and called this helmet Sexy Mustard. Sexy Mustard. <laughs> I like it. Sexy Mustard. Hey, naughty this time around, Steve, but you know what? I think he's been nice just as many times, so the evidence is inconclusive, but I'm going to say Steve Durkee personally is a nice guy. Seems like it. He's a nice guy. A good sport in winning or losing, but he does a whole lot of winning. Very cool. Very cool. We got... Uh, Justin saying, I just got a Carmelo Anthony 2003 pristine endorsement auto tops card. It's an 8 with a 10 auto. I just checked the, the circulation. There are only two that PSA have graded. Maybe a rated card. I don't know, but who Carmelo Anthony is. You don't know who Carmelo you know Anthony who Carmelo is? is, Justin? Are you kidding? You don't, is that serious? I think he's joking. <laughs> One right. of the all-time great scorers in basketball. Maybe he didn't do anything that was great, but the guy was a walking bucket. Absolutely. Uh, actually, that was... Uh, I think the first NBA game I ever went to was a Bulls game when they played Carmelo Anthony uh, back in his Nugget days. Uh, that was very cool. Uh, have you seen the Dream Team or Redeem Team documentary? Yes, I have. Uh, the highlight of the Redeem Team documentary was when they interviewed Carmelo about Kobe uh, working out at like 4 a.m. And Carmelo was like, that's too early. <laughs> Some guys would get up at 4. I just got up at 7. Too early. Uh, that was the highlight of that whole uh, documentary. That is great. I think he's punking us about Carmelo. I think he has to be. I right? think he has to be. The other part I like in that documentary is when uh, Kobe said he was going to run right through Pau Gasol to start. And he did. And he did. And they were like, he oh did. my God. <laughs> That's he his teammate. Business. That's his boy. The Mamba mentality. Something else, man. Uh, that was crazy. Best Olympic Olympian Hooper, said Stephen Rock. I agree. Uh, he's up there. Yeah, I think Kevin Durant, I think, passed him up for points. But Carmelo's got a lot of stuff done. Uh, he's definitely up there. No yeah. question about that. Uh, let's see what we got in the second here in the double box break. What do we have in the second one, Colin? Uh, we got breaking news in the break room. Uh, this is truly a shocking moment. I'm almost speechless. Steve Durkee is not one. Oh, my. It's the AFC West, Lunar Authentic, Keenan Allen on the Lunar, Woo. Kevin Short. Congratulations on Keenan Allen. Five 1,000-yard receiving seasons, five-time Pro Bowler, one of the best receivers in the league. Uh, that is very nice. Uh, very nice, Kevin Short. I think Justin's not punking us. So, I don't think he is either. Uh, Justin, Carmelo Anthony is... Uh, one of, I would say, of this last generation, maybe the, a top 10 player in the last generation. Yeah, look him up. He's probably top 50 all time. Would you say that's fair? Carmelo, top he's, 50? He's got to be up there if he's, he's not. I mean, pure scores, he's probably top 10. Then he said he's ninth in points. Yeah, not, and so again, top 50, no question. Yeah. Top 50 player of all time, Carmelo. Yeah, go look up some highlights. Uh, Carmelo Justin. Anthony. Steve will trade you for the Theismann. There you go. Uh, looking to trade Kevin Short, maybe. That's cool. Could be a good trade. I mean, we saw what happens when you get Keenan Allen and Mike Williams finally together. The Chargers are a lot more effective. They're very good. Yeah. And Justin Herbert uh, has been very good. That offensive line is atrocious, Colin. Oh, yeah. I didn't really realize it until I had the game on in the background on Sunday. I couldn't really watch it because of my eye. But I was listening to Chris Consworth, and I was like, yeah, he's right. <laughs> yep. Herbert had like three seconds to get rid of the ball every play. So crazy. Yeah, that's not what you want. So you got it, Justin. 
Uh, he'll have to do some more research. There you go. Yeah. Well, here goes the top to bottom rundown of the break page, guys. Here's everything we got going on. The break room is literally heating up. I'm taking my messy hoodie off, and I'm going to go with my Argentina uh, blue polo. I knew here. there was some sort of undershirt. <laughs> the blue polo Tuesday is <laughs> what we do it here in the break still room. still matches. It was meant to be. Uh, so, Naughty or Nice Authentics, Colin, we've now got every box left in the room and on the ticker. Uh, this is a six series. And we have the best helmet left in this series. The Barry Sanders Lunar Authentic is still out there. Ooh, baby. Terry McLaurin Authentic is out there. The Flash, Tyreek Hill, Dolphins Flash Authentic out there. And Warren Moon Seahawks Flash Authentic is still out there. Good gracious. I have yet to see the Phil Sims. I've yet to see the Archie Manning. Did you pull either of those this early show? No, sir. Uh, Steve Largent? Nope. nope. Okay, so... Uh, safe to say there's a lot of good stuff left in the Naughty stuff. or Nice Authentic. So come and get it, guys. We've got that as a single and a double box break. Four to go in the double box break in the open field. Uh, nine boxes to go. Three headliners left, including Adrian Peterson. Salute to service, Michael Irvin, and Justin Fields. Uh, I actually thought I had pulled Justin Fields, but it was in another series. So Justin Fields is still out there. We cross-referenced our winner sheets. The Fields Lunar Rep is out there, Colin. Which Crazy is good odds. Fantastic. Uh, three and nine chance at a headliner. Those odds are ridiculous. Juiced. Uh, we have eight spots to go in the star studded slab break. Uh, we mentioned a couple names earlier Cooper Cup, Justin Herbert's still out there, Justin Fields is still out there, and Dalvin Cook in the slab card. So a lot of good options there. Uh, we've got. Six or five to go in the open field single box break. Uh, then we got eight to go in the Naughty or Nice minis. And I still don't get how we keep skipping headliners. I believe that every headliner is still out there in the series, Colin. You're right. So that includes Devontae Adams, Champ Bailey, Andre Johnson, A.J. Brown, Emmett Smith, Tony Dorsett, Nick Chubb, Jalen Hurts, Lawrence Taylor, Joe Montana, Warren Moon. I mean, good gracious. the list is ridiculous in this Naughty or Nice minis. Uh, then we've got uh, four to go, and the band is on the field. Uh, so one box to go. It's the chase tonight. As soon as we knock it out, we'll do a chase wheel spin immediately. Then we'll drop a can't-miss mixer. So Let's I'll put that it. up here on the uh, randomizer here in a second. Uh, we've got, let's take a peek here, seven to go in Naughty or Nice jerseys. Still looking for uh, Dalvin Cook, Jerry Rice, Emmett Smith, and Tua. I can make a case that the three best jerseys in that series are still out there. Tua, Smith, and Rice. Not disagreeing with you there. Uh, so a lot of good options for sure. And then loaded dice. The best break in the room. One spot to go. Two crates left. Uh, one of the last two crates features uh, Paul Lewis, his cousin, Ray Lewis. <laughs> so, I mean, crazy. Cousin Ray. Uh, very cool. Uh, so Devin dropped 180 on a playoff. Hopeful to end his year, LOL. What is he talking about? He dropped 180. Is that a bet? Uh, I'm confused. I think it's points. Earlier he said his fantasy oh, most... football season's officially Okay, over. I see what, what you're saying. Uh, and by the way, Denny's saying he won't catch Wilt, but he's going to pass Shaq. He'll be eighth when it's all said and done. About Carmelo Anthony on the all-time scoring list. That's, that's pretty cool. Uh, I mean, Carmelo Anthony was literally a walking bucket. He was, uh, he was so good. to watch. So good. Steven said one of the best mid-range scorers of all time. Can't he disagree. Was. He was. Can't disagree. Not Dirk level, but still pretty good. Not Dirky level, though. <laughs> no one can stop, you know, Steve Dirk. He's league the league of his own. He's the true goat out there, Colin. A league of his own, Mr. Dirky. Devin's still trying to sell Eli. So, Devin, contact Vinny Batani. He is a diehard <laughs> Eli Manning fan. He, he wakes up it. every morning... Uh, he's got an Eli Manning poster. He's got an Eli Manning uh, photo. He just he loves Eli Manning so much, uh, and he just like does not have anything signed by him yet, though. Yeah, he needs so it. he needs Eli Manning. Contact uh, Vinny Batani for that. I've seen him in the Discord. He like has little seances. He lights his candles and just prays to the poster. <laughs> he does. He loves it. it. He does. It's one of those kid posters. He's had it since he was about like. Like 15 years old, maybe 10. <laughs> I'll hand you some boxes here, Colin. I know we're gonna uh, beat these for best hit tonight, so I'll give you some boxes here. I think we'll beat it pretty soon because we got some breaks coming up. Yeah, we got one coming right now, and I don't think it was 
one of the favorites to be coming up next. What's that? That'll be the Naughty or Nice jerseys. Okay. Someone buy out a bunch of spots. That'd be Mr. Frazy coming in. Okay, Justin. And, uh, yeah, Adam Cantwell just became a one-spot hopeful. <laughs> and uh, a Justin Frazy. Yeah, Devin Butterworth. Uh, we've heard, Have you heard of a joke? Because that's what it was. <laughs> yeah, Vinny Batani hates Eli Manning, but we like messing with Vinny. Especially when he's not here. Oh, yeah. Where is Vinny? He's usually here all the time. What's he doing? Where are you at, Vinny? Where are you at? He's shaking his head right now. Uh, Adam and Justin, drop me a box number. I know Justin's in here. That's what's the deal, bro? Uh, don't worry. Adam will get that single spot snipe, LOL, says Justin. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. If it were Steve Durkee, I would agree. I'm not sure if that... Although Adam did get a single spot snipe on a... Peyton Manning flash authentic his first time in the break room. Wow. So that was clean. Adam was hot earlier in the day, too. He got a lot of those uh, college stuff. Did he win the DAC? He did not win the DAC. Who that won was, the uh, DAC? Denny Ricker got it. Ah, figures. But That's he got a, a, a Roquan Smith rep. Ooh. Uh, Milro Mini, who's uh, Alabama's backup quarterback right now, but probably nice. start next year potentially. Very athletic. Yeah. yeah. Got a sick Notre Dame helmet. Got an Earl Campbell. He did, he did all right. Taco Tuesday trivia, Vinny said, okay? Oh, that's right. He did mention that. Well, I want some tacos today. Vinny, Come on, where, Vinny, where are my tacos? Where, yeah, where are our tacos? Uh, we'll do box 25 here, uh, Colin, in the Not Your Nice jerseys. Sounds like a plan. 25 going off the ticker. One in eight chance for Adam. Seven and eight for Justin. All it takes is one to win, though. And you can take these two boxes as well. So... Not even nice jerseys, a lot of good stuff left. Uh, Vinny's pretty good at sports trivia. Uh, were you in here that show where I asked the uh, last time that we had two teammates who were top five in the NFL and receiving yards both? Yes. Uh, and Vinny got it right away? Right away. Uh, Demarius Thomas and Emmanuel Sanders. I was like shook and surprised and also very impressed at the same time, Colin. Seven clicks here, six and seven. Uh, so we got Justin at the bottom uh, in the, excuse me, actually, Adam's got the AFC East. Justin's got the rest. So Justin is requesting me to spin the box for good luck. <laughs> uh, okay, that's fine. I mean, I guess. Here we go. Good luck, Justin. <laughs> uh, one thing about Justin Frazee is, you know, he respects Patrick Mahomes. So he gets my respect. Fellow Chief fan, uh, put some respect on Patty Ice's name. 25 of 40. You know who doesn't respect Mahomes? Vinny. Oh, yeah. He's got him as the third best quarterback in the league. I'm like, SMH, Vinny. Uh, Burrow and Allen ahead of him. Because they beat him head to head this year. Because uh -huh. that's what matters. Okay. That's what Vinny said. All right. So there's a lot of quarterbacks better than Tom Brady. Apparently, right? <laughs> Apparently. Uh, including Brock Purdy. Yep. Keep that in mind. Brock Purdy. The uh, man. Devin St. Hurts for MVP. I got Hurts number two. I was kind of rolling on that Joe Burrow and Tua train. Tua's kind of come off a little bit. Hurts is like a solid number two for me, uh, but he's fantastic. I just think that, you know, you look at the total yards and total things Mahomes does, uh, more valuable to me. But Jalen Hurts obviously has a better running game, a better defense, probably a better overall team, but he's not the MVP for me. But if you give it to Jalen Hurts with one loss, I wouldn't be... That said, I guess. And he's up there. <laughs> I guess. I guess. Uh, Otis Anderson, by the way, is the hit here. NFC East, Justin Frazee uh, got it for good luck. Uh, former Super Bowl MVP against the Bills. Uh, that famous Super Bowl that the Bills lost by one point on a last-second field goal. Otis Anderson over 100 yards that game. JSA certified. Congrats, Justin Frazee. Nicely done. That'll do. That'll do. When I saw that originally, I thought it was a Bills jersey, and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> the impossible has happened. That would be crazy, yeah. wouldn't it? That'd be absolutely crazy. Uh, so, yeah, Mahomes, he does not lead in interceptions, by the way. He's up there, but Matt Ryan leads the league in interceptions. Oh god, he hasn't even played all the games. <laughs> uh, Mahomes uh, has a better QBR than any quarterback in the league. So QBR takes into account interceptions, touchdowns, rush yards, pass yards, all of it. Mahomes is number one in the league in QBR. Jalen Hurts is number four on that list. Two a second, Josh Allen third. Uh, so obviously 
a lot of a lot of picks are when do they happen so mahomes got three picks this last game he also had well over 300 yards and three touchdowns like yeah. those picks didn't lead to a loss didn't really matter uh so i think the timing of the picks is also very important uh mahomes also has uh more than a thousand yards more than hurts passing the ball so but how many rushing yeah I mean, <laughs> total yards he definitely has more though if he's got over, I mean, Hurst doesn't have a thousand rush yards yet, does he? I don't think so. No. no. So Mahomes has considerably more yards than yeah. Jalen Hurts on the season. You're not getting an argument from me. I think I'm right with you. Where Hurts is kind of, for me, him and Tua are kind of fluctuating between two and three. But yeah. Mahomes is clearly one. Yeah. The and the talent is ridiculous. I mean, and I know Devin's going to talk about yards, but Mahomes is going to get way more yards than Brady last year and more touchdowns. I mean, we're not, we're not even talking like. It's not even close. At look at the touchdowns. Mahomes has thirty-three touchdown passes. Jalen Hurts has twenty-two. I know Hurts has how many rush touchdowns does Hurts have? He's got like six or seven. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, somewhere like seven. Mahomes, Mahomes has like two or three, but he's got uh, more than a thousand pass yards more and eleven touchdown passes more. He's crazy. I just uh, I don't really think it's that close, but obviously they each their own. Uh, that's the beauty of sports. We can disagree. Unless we're talking about greatest soccer player ever. And if you say not Lionel Messi, then it's over. I'm done with you forever. Uh, yeah, Messi is the GOAT. Ronaldo. Uh, for now, no. For now, no. I'm sure you saw the highlight, at least. I know you were working, but that passing touchdown Mahomes had last Sunday. Where oh, the kind flip? Of, yeah, just kind of shoveled it that over there. That was incredible. That was incredible. Who does that, man? Uh, just Mahomes. <laughs> just Mahomes. Herbert made a similar play, though, uh, but not quite as good. Uh, actually, I forgot to check if he's been naughty or nice, by the way. Great question. Justin Frazee, he's a naughty guy. He's got till uh, December 24th to make it up to Santa Claus. All right, Definitely have some time. You can do it. So you are naughty, Justin, uh, but we'll see it. Ten rushing. Okay. He's got a lot more than I thought. Ten rushing touchdowns? Okay. I was guessing seven or eight. That's a lot of rushing touchdowns. Mahomes has, let's see how many rushing touchdowns Mahomes has, because he's got quite a bit too. Uh, Mahomes has this season. What are the rushing stats here? Rushing. Rushing stats. Two rushing touchdowns. Okay, I thought he had more. So Mahomes has what? Three? No. Three more total touchdowns, I think, or four more? I'm okay. bad at doing math. He had 11 more touchdown passes. Hertz had 10 touchdowns, and Mahomes has two. So three more total touchdowns for Mahomes on the air. The math so, checks out, I think. The math checks out. They're spectacular players, but I think Hertz benefits a lot from uh, his team getting out early and just him cooking he afterwards. Does cook. He does I, cook. I don't know. He does, he does a big part of it, though. It's not like it's just a handoff every time. No, I know. Yeah, he's he's a great player. I just think... Uh, to be honest with you, every year someone wants to compare someone to Mahomes, and every year he's right there, consistently right there. Yeah, he's the best quarterback in football. He's I don't think anybody's questioning that. Well, um, maybe Vinny, but that's yeah. <laughs> well, and he's point. putting up a lot more yards than Brady did last year. Yeah, and he gets rushing yards, etc. Too. Uh, so it is it is different than what Brady did last year. Mahomes has 280 rush yards too this year, which is not bad. It may not be as many as Hurts, but it's not bad at all either. I'm going to go all uh, Oscar nominee on you and just say, I'm just happy Jalen Hurts is being considered. Uh, I'm happy enough to be a MVP quarterback conversation for one, my quarterback. One thing that I don't get, Colin, though, is we hear all... Devin in here is talking Hurts, but people in the break room don't love Hurts. It's true because they don't chase him. We got Hurts mini out there, and there's no interest at the moment. Uh, so if you guys love Hurts so much, uh, let's chase him in some of these series. We put up Jalen Hurts as a headliner in a pick one get three. He's like the sixth guy taken. It it's crazy. literally drives me nuts. Oh, it drives so, me nuts too. I just sit here and sulk. So crazy. Uh, we got Justin with some jokes. Trent Green was better than Hurts. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, Chief legend Trent Green. Chief's legend. Uh, Trent I Green. think that uh, a better quarterback was. Um, Oh, gosh, I'm blanking on his name right now. I'm, I'm thinking about old school cheap quarterback. Oh. Brody Croyle. What's, oh, what's the guy's name? Great question. Brody Croyle. Something like that. Matt Castle. 
Oh yeah, Matt uh, Castle. I'm thinking of chief quarterbacks from Brody back Croyle. Yeah, yeah, that's a person. Yeah, Brody. Old Brody. He was not good. Not well, good. I've never heard of him. So yeah, that... he was not good. <laughs> uh, we got two spots to go in the open field double box break. Uh, Eighty-four bucks, but you get two boxes coming out. There are nine boxes left. Adrian Peterson is one of the last nine. This is Justin Fields, Colin. Nuts. So you get the NFC North. You could take home Adrian Peterson and Justin Fields. Let that marinate. Uh, we have a running back who is top five all time in rushing touchdowns and rushing yards. That's a stat there. It's not an opinion. I don't know if he's top five all time running back, but statistically, the stats say that he is. Yeah. Uh, we have Justin Fields, who might be the best runner in the league, quarterback or running back. Uh, <laughs> such a great young talent. Absolutely. Uh, so the ability to get those two headliners in a double box break is just very interesting. So I don't know what we're waiting on, guys. Open field is where I'm headed next. Loaded dice? Is it still not sold out? Oh, yeah, still just at one, man. Somebody uh, go grab that last one. One to go and loaded dice. Triple box break, two reps, one authentic. Ray Lewis, Eclipse Authentic is still out there. Beautiful. Uh, let me do a little digging here on a couple series that we got coming up. Uh, the next Diamond Helmets. And I think we have the Can't Miss. So let me see. I'll post these up on the randomizer so you guys can see what we got coming up. Yeah, I'm itching to get into that uh, Can't Miss and the Diamond. But only four spots to go in that college. Let's close that up. Uh, which So which Can't Miss is it? Is it the one with the... T.O. and Bradshaw? Yep, I believe that's it. Okay. So, I don't think we've run this before, so it's got to be this one. So, this is the can't miss that we're dropping next. Roger Stahlbach, Terry Bradshaw, Tua, Justin Herbert, T.O., Peterson, Tiki Barber, Jerry Rice. Ridiculous. This is going up as soon as we close out that college break. Uh, then the Diamond Helmet. What was the Diamond Helmet series called? Uh, two Minute Warning, I believe. Two Minute Warning. And this, this is also really good. Wait for it, guys. Two Minute Warning. Steve DeBerg. That's right, Justin. I do remember him. You know who else played for the Chiefs at one point? Who's that? Uh, Joe Montana. That's right. <laughs> so he, he was also pretty good. Even past his prime, he was pretty good. Did we spell it with like a two? I'm trying to. It's, yeah, it is it. a literal two, I believe. Okay, two. Oh, here it is. Oh my gosh, is this series real? Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Uh, this is the diamond helmet series coming up. Once loaded dice is gone, uh, so here's one of the best quarterbacks in the league, and you can't say I'm biased because I personally am a Bear fan. I don't even like the guy, but <laughs> he's won two straight MVPs. Aaron Rodgers, flash authentic is the next Diamond Helmet series. Crazy. We have a Steve Young and Jerry Rice dual-signed 49ers helmet. Uh, we've got a Rick Bo Jackson. We've got a Tua, Trevor Lawrence. If Vinny's out there somewhere, Rob Gronkowski's in this one. Micah Parsons for the Cowboy fans. Uh, that is our next Diamond Helmet series. As soon as Loaded Dice is gone, Diamonds are going up. As soon as College is gone, can't miss is going up. Colin. Ooh, man, let's get them both out there. They're so, both so good. It's ridiculous how good those two series are. Uh, I've said it in this room multiple times. There are basically three series that we have in the room that there are no filler hits ever. Uh, loaded dice, diamond authentic helmets, and anything that says can't miss. Yep. So we can close out loaded dice, which is amazing, then go straight into a diamond series and go straight into a can't miss after we close out the college mixer. And the college mixer, there's four to go. That's the chase. There's only going to be six names in that chase wheel spin. That's it. So think about this. Let's just say you get three spots in that college mixer. Uh, you can have a 50% chance at winning the memorabilia and then getting a chase wheel spin as well. Crazy. That is very crazy. And from what I hear, the new wheel has been pretty generous. <laughs> Yeah, I think the new wheel might get fired. <laughs> might get fired. Hey, folks are listening. That double box break uh, in the open field, is that full, Colin? That is full, and loaded dice is full. So just one crate left in loaded dice. All right, open field reps double. Drop me two numbers in this one, and then drop me a number for the loaded dice crate as well. So James Webb, Ray Hogan, Steve Durkee, Michael Francia, 
James again, Anthony, Christopher, and Steve. Let me know, folks, what you would like to rock and roll with here. Uh, Chad Henney, the GOAT, Justin, I agree. Yeah, Chad Henney, that's a name. You know who's the GOAT, Colin? Who's that? Leo Messi. Oh, boy. Look at him, <laughs> Messi. You like the scarf? Isn't it cool? It is cool, man. Uh, I, I gotta cool. admit. And I've got the Argentina scarf at the World Cup. You get two stars for how many World Cup titles you have. It's only going to be three stars for Argentina on Sunday. <laughs> All right. Uh, I have invested uh, a grand total of 100 bucks. And I got a 100 buck free bet for referring my mom to DraftKings. Uh, and I could win off my 100 bucks $2,050 if Argentina wins the World Cup and Messi gets the most goals. Currently tied for the most goals, Argentina in the final. Dude, that's why I thought maybe you'd cash out the one you could cash out because even then you're gonna make fifty bucks and you yeah. can still win sixteen hundred. Not gonna but do I get it. it. You're not. Hey, I think it's like what it. was the cash out? I sent you a text. It was like, like one fifty. I think it's like one fifty eight for fifty, and the six hundred is for Messi most goals. Yeah, I'm riding with my boy. He's taking him to the end. Uh, Ray Hogan wants twenty three and twenty five. Okay, Ray in the open field. Uh, we'll do those. The MJ box and the Mark McGuire box. Uh, then we've got crate two on the dice. Thank you, Colin Pelletier. Uh, we'll do two next on the dice. So I'll get you guys randomized for open field first. Then we'll do load of dice. Uh, let's see some heat here in the open field. Nine boxes to go, Colin. Three headliners left. Michael Irvin. Uh, we've got Adrian Peterson. And we have... Uh, also, Justin Fields. Great. Isn't that ridiculous? It is ridiculous. We could, the NFC North right now could win Fields and Peterson. Oh, man. Uh, that's Michael Francia, by the way. He's got the NFC North up top here. We got Christopher Distacio in the NFC South. It's James Webb out there in the NFC East. Steve Durkey's got the NFC West. Ray Hogan, AFC South. Steve's got the AFC North, by the way. James, AFC East. And Anthony, AFC West. Good luck, folks. Time to see some heat here in the break room. Holy moly. Holy moly. What do we have here? We got 23 of 35. Yeah, Devin, and Mahomes still has the better QBR and more total yards. <laughs> I know he's got the better record. I get, I get what you're saying, but I'm a, a fan of QBR. If you're number one in QBR, that shows you're overall the most efficient and proficient quarterback in the NFL. You know what quarterback did win MVP, though? Uh, this isn't even a debate because he's already done it. Uh, okay. Not many have done it all time. This man certainly has the 2002 NFL MVP, Rich Gannon. Oh, yeah. Look at that bad boy. That is very clean. AFC West, Anthony Eaton. How about it, Anthony the Rich Gannon Raiders helmet, PSA certified on Gannon, played in that Super Bowl with Jerry Rice, Tim Brown, Not falling bad. short against the Bucs. Uh, that's one thing Devin and I can't agree on. That Bucs defense, Warren Sapp, John Lynch, Derek Brooks, incredible. And guess Nasty. who's the MVP of that Super Bowl? Dexter Jackson. Yeah. Came out of nowhere for that MVP. Uh, but Rich Gannon, rock solid quarterback, a uh, rock solid start to the double box break. Again, he's never a headliner in our series, but you get him as a filler hit, I'd say you're doing pretty good. Absolutely. I mean, how many people can say they're NFL MVP? Not much. Not many, man. Not many. Rich Gannon can. Uh, I will say this real quick, and I don't want to harp on this debate too much, uh, but, and maybe you can correct me if I'm wrong. I know they've had a couple comebacks. Everyone has comebacks. But the Eagles have played from in front much of the season. Is that true, Colin? Most of the season, yeah. They've so, had probably two or three games they've been behind. Right. But, yeah. Most so like you don't throw as many picks when you're ahead. It's just part of it. The Chiefs have played a lot of close games. Uh, that's where you can kind of look at those pick numbers for sure. Well, I think J Jalen Hurts runs a lot too, so he's not throwing as many passes. As right. Jalen How many Hurt, fumbles does he have? I don't actually think he has a lot. Well, Let's that's see. impressive. Yeah. That is impressive right there because we got to start adding up the fumble numbers. But, I mean, Jalen Hurts is up there. No question about that. Really, the Eagles as a whole don't fumble a lot or turn the ball over. Knock, knock, knock on wood. Knock on yeah. wood, right? Yeah, I mean, he's only got three picks this year, which is great. Uh, let's see. Rushing, rushing, rushing. Favorite Chiefs running back throughout the years? Uh, asked Justin. 
Priest Holmes, Priest maybe? Absolutely. Priest Holmes was fantastic for the Chiefs. Love Priest Holmes. Larry Johnson was good as well. Yep, definitely. I do like Jamal Charles. They don't like Thomas Jones because he was a bear and a chief. Uh, so I can like him for both of my squads. Uh, let's see what we got here in the next one. All right, so Jalen Hurts has fumbled nine times, but he's only lost two of them. Okay. So, and part of that is, like, luck a little bit, you know? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, very good player, Jalen Hurts. I think... I still look at Mahomes' better total impact for me. A lot more total yards, more total touchdowns, but it's a debate. Devin isn't crazy for thinking that. Absolutely. Uh, Hertz is definitely in the running. Uh, Anthony Hello. Carter on the Lunar Viking helmet coming out next. Michael Francia, JSA certified. So Colin, seven to go in this series. Two headliners left. Congrats, Michael, on the Anthony Carter. Not a bad double box break, if you ask me. Not bad. It's, uh, it's three headliners left, right? Michael Irving, Justin Fields, Wait, and Adrian Peterson. Three in seven boxes? Yeah. Is that right? <laughs> That's right. Oh, <laughs> gosh. I'm not a math major, Goodness. but those odds are pretty good. Pretty juiced. Uh, Marcus Allen. I almost forget that Marcus Allen was a chief. He was also a Raider, and those are big rivals. I remember that. Yeah, that's crazy. So I don't really think of him as a chief running back. Uh, to be honest with you, Justin, uh, I'm more of a newer school Chief fan. So I grew up a Bear fan, and Bears are still like, it's like 1-1A. One one I love both teams. To be honest, if they played, I would probably cheer for the Bears, but I don't have much to cheer about <laughs> yeah. for the Bears. Not this season. Uh, you but I lived, in, I lived in Missouri from 2009 to 2013. Went to college at Mizzou. In 2018 to 2020, I was a TV sports reporter down there, so I inherited the Chiefs. Because uh, I was not going to be a Rams fan. Because <laughs> Chicago and St. Louis don't mix well. Although I was a Ram fan uh, when Kurt Warner was there, I guess. But I didn't grow up watching Chiefs football, is what I would say, Justin. I kind of more started watching it uh, when I lived in Missouri. Christian Okoye is a legend, though, for sure. A break room legend. We'll do Craig 2, Colin. I'll hand you some more boxes here. Keep us organized. Sounds like I might do this. I know it's just Steven's good at that. He He's is. got that smart approach. He gets it. Keeping us organized. Always for you. We'll go seven clicks here for our loaded dice divisions. Let's close out uh, that college break, by the way. So we can do can't miss two spots to go, Colin. Yes, sir. We got three to go in the next open field single. Uh, and the double's already got a spot taken. Uh, so fantastic. You guys are awesome. Let's keep the brakes rolling. We'll do crate two here in loaded dice. 50% chance at the Ray Lewis. Seven clicks. Oh, let's go. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And these guys are awesome. Our break room is electric. Orders are coming in left and right. And what I love about this break room, and Devin, I hope you're not taking this personally. I love that we can disagree. Because Devin Butterworth is amazing. We can have a discussion about sports. We're not going to agree on everything, but that's what makes sports fun. We can debate. Make sports a ton of fun here at Ultimate Autographs. I'll do the first two reps first, then we'll do the authentic last. So, James, you've got the NFC North. Holland's got the NFC South. Danny, NFC East. Paul, NFC West. Anthony, AFC North. Jared, AFC South. Edward, AFC East. And Steve, AFC West. So Anthony Eaton might have himself Ray Lewis potentially in this break. 50% chance of it, in fact. Here we go. Loaded dice. Break two. Only one loaded dice crate left, Colin. That's it. And that's huh? it. Uh, Devin saying, oh, it's always a debate. I'm not a fan of how MVP award is done in all honesty. Neither am I, because I think a lot of times... The quarterback with the best record gets it. That's why I wouldn't go Jalen Hurts, just because he has the best record, personally. Yeah, well, I hate, too, that, I mean, Cooper Cup clearly should have been an MVP award that, winner. That's what I thought last year. And yeah. I would have given it to Brady over Rodgers for the record. Uh, but Cooper Cup, I think, should have won it last year. Agree 100%. You've got a pretty nice hit to get it started. Former Defensive Player of the Year. Uh, guy that's a Pro Football Hall of Famer. 100 sack club guy, led the league in sacks before. Jason Taylor, number 99 on the Lunar 
Congratulations, Edward Tabanera, AFC East. Jason Taylor. I like it. The Next, beast. you might have you rank your Lunars, Colin, because... The Dolphin Lunar's got to be up there, too. It's got to be. It is very clean. I got to do Eclipses first. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, Anthony Eden saying my video messed up that I win Rich Gannon. Did you uh, get that in the last break? Rich Gannon was Anthony Eaton. Yes, sir. You sure did, Anthony. And you've got a 50% chance at Bay Lewis next. Oh, my, Anthony. Things are looking up. Yeah, he's, he's rolling right now. Anthony is rolling in the break room. I can't wait till we do the next diamonds. We do the can't miss. No kidding, man. This could be a fun night. I'm off tomorrow, Colin. I think you are working, but still, we can make this a fun night tonight. I was going to say, I don't want to go home early because I usually work a long day. It's a half day for me today. So, yeah, it's a weird one for uh, you. I'm ready to work tonight. I'm ready to work. I'm ready to stay on late, guys. Ready to break some boxes. Let's and do it. We're my not... eye is doing significantly better. It's like such minimal pain last night. It was brutal, but today it's doing so much better. Beautiful. Uh, antibiotics, man. They'll help you. One to go in the college. Close it up. We've had Shannon Sharp before in the break room. I don't know that he signs very often, but we've had him in the break room a couple times. We might get him at some point. Uh, the great tight end for the Broncos and Ravens, Shannon Sharp. Absolutely. We get Tony Gonzalez as well, Travis Kelsey, Antonio Gates. Okay, well, this is a guy who's a little bit of a polarizing figure. Okay. Uh, but a huge talent, former Heisman Trophy winner, number one overall pick, famous Jameis, Jameis Winston, Ooh. hungry for a W. Colin Peltier's got that W. Congrats on the Eclipse replica, Jameis Winston. Nice. I like it. It's a nice-looking Eclipse helmet. I love when you can get the black and gold. Maybe I'm biased towards that as a Mizzou fan, the black and gold, but no, you're not. it just looks clean, man. It looks great. I love when they sign with that marker, too. It just James makes, it, makes it look even better. And Jameis Winston, like, did okay last year, uh, and then Andy Dalton's done better, and he didn't get the starting job, which he thought he would get. Now, it seems like the guy can't catch much of a break of late, but certainly hasn't been as good as advertised, I guess. Yeah. A lot more turnovers. A 30-for-30 30 30 guy, I think. Is it the only guy... 30 touchdowns, 30 picks in league history. What a year, man. <laughs> uh, they had to make a 30 for 30 on the Jameis Winston 30 for 30 season. Unbelievable. And forget my contacts not working and my glasses. Maybe we can get some LASIK like Jameis Winston. Ah, yeah, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that might be a solution, Colin. That was all his problem was. He just needed LASIK. Well, he hasn't done much better since, so I don't know if that was yeah, the only no. issue. Uh, we're closed out on the college, so I'm going to go ahead and drop... Can't Let's miss. do it. Let's do it. College is closed. Uh, we'll do a chase wheel spin as soon as we uh, knock out that break. And then loaded dice will be the chase only if we knock out the last two crates. I only offer up a wheel spin if we can close up that series. Uh, otherwise, just for one loaded dice, we don't get a wheel spin. Let's see if Ray Lewis is in here. Let's do it. He passed for over 5,000 yards. He sure did. He sure did. Uh, we have Derek Johnson a lot in the break room. Uh, we used to have him a lot more, not as much lately. We pulled Derek Johnson last night, actually. Oh, how about it? So we did. We had him last night in the break room in our naughty or nice jerseys. Okay, Anthony, 50% chance at Ray Lewis. Is this the NFL's all-time tackle leader? One of the two scariest players in league history. That's right. It's him and Lawrence Taylor. The best dancer ever, 13-time Pro Bowler. It certainly oh, is Ray Lewis on the authentic. Nasty. Anthony Eaton, check out this bad boy. Woo. That is clean. Beckett certified. Nicely done, Anthony, on the Ray Lewis. Paul Lewis's cousin coming out <laughs> in the break room. That is how we do it. Let's go, says Anthony. Nice hit, says Justin, love it, says Anthony. I love it as well. That is sex. Such a clean helmet. Number 52. Very nice, says Denny. The great hit. The great it's hit. Great. Holy moly. Vinny saying, told you it was in two. He did. Uh, you know when he told us that? When there was two crates left. When he had a 50% ah. chance. <laughs> well, I guess you're right, Vinny. Congratulations. Uh, nicely done. 
Is this where I say you're welcome, Vin? Says Colin Pelletier. <laughs> well, Anthony Eden's got to say you're welcome. Although, I guess Colin did get a win with the Jameis Winston, too. That's true. So, nicely done, guys. He will probably make you say thank you. He will. Or you're welcome. He will. Thank you. That's what I mean. Congrats, Anthony, on the Ray Lewis, my friend. Nicely done. <laughs> we got Adam Campbell's got jokes. Box, thir box 38 in college. I guess we're going to do 38.1. <laughs> I'm sorry. We don't have 38. Sorry uh, about that, man. Last box in the series. That's what we'll do in the college one. And then the can't miss is up. Uh, we'll have the first 10 available in can't miss, Colin. Beautiful. So I'm going to leave this up here with me. Once we get a box, I'll put it with you because this is the leader in the clubhouse for hit of the show. Gotta be, right? I think we're going to beat it, though. I really do. But leader in the clubhouse uh, for now. I mean, if we're going to get rolling on a can't miss, it definitely beat it. Crazy. So we have open field next. And then we'll do the college. Is that correct? Uh, I think it's actually college, then can't miss. Okay. I don't know how I put it. Well, but... open field. That's the open field oh, yeah. number one. Okay. I don't see college unless I'm blind. Nope. Give me one second here. I can do open field first. That's fine. Sure. Uh, we got James Webb, Michael Francia, James again, Chris Estacio, and Dustin Danes. Let me know on a box number, guys, in the open field. Next load of dice is already moving. Uh, seven spots to go. Get it, boys. And we got girls. four to go in that uh, open field double box break. And Colin, we are winding down seven boxes here. This will be six. The double close up, it'll be four. Let me get that off the personal staff. Yes. So we don't oversell anything. Uh, so let me know on the open field. You know what? I'm going to do the college one first because we have the box ready. Then we'll do open field next. If I don't get a box number... Uh, in open field, by the time it's ready, uh, we will just let the randomizer pick. Fair. So, Ban is on the field, number one. Uh, you guys were on fire in the early show with that series. We did, what, 11 boxes? Yeah. That was crazy. Dak Prescott, John Elway came out. One lone box to go. My we'll God. see what we got here. And actually, I'm going to take the same list, and I'm going to put it back in here for the Chase Wheel Spin right after this. Time. Oh, perfect. So, four... Five, six, and seven. Anthony Eaton's got the ACC, the Big 12. That guy's heating up. Adam Campbell's got the Big 10. We got Don Garrick in the SEC. Chris Destacio in the Pac-12. And Jason Burgess in the Independence or Group of Five slot. Band is on the field, Colin. Here we go. Good luck, guys. Let's see the heat. What could we have in 38 out of 40? Last box in this series. Can't miss. Is it up already? Can't miss is up. Can't miss sure. is up. Uh, we'll give you guys a lowdown on that series as soon as we get a second here. I would say this is quite the way to end the college series. All right. So this is kind of like a college cult hero. Uh, some folks have, again, differing opinions, but in this break room... Most people get fired up for this hit. Uh, one of the all-time great college players ever. Oh. The first freshman to win the Heisman Trophy. Wow. Trivia question. Who was the first freshman to win the Heisman Trophy? Do you know, Colin? I can't say. I do off the top of my head. I'll give you guys 20 seconds. You get this right. First person that gets it right will shoot you a $10 gift card. Huh. First wow. freshman to win the Heisman Trophy. Uh, I've got 802 here. Uh, we've got 802 and 30. I'll give you till 802.50. We don't get it in the next 20 seconds. I'm uh, pulling it out. No gift card for anyone. Uh, break room legend. We got 10, 9, 8. Adam Campbell, $10 gift card. Johnny Football, Johnny Manziel. He's got the Heisman inscription. Texas A&M helmet, the SEC. Ooh. It just means more. Don Garrick Jr., one spot in there, Don. Nicely done on the Johnny football. Let's get it. Don Garrick. Johnny Manziel. And our gift card for Adam Cantwell. Oh, you got to like that. That's not bad. That's a good trivia question. We got a lot of people going Manziel, but 
Only one was first, and that was Adam. <laughs> we can't hand out like sixty dollars worth of gift cards. Uh, I give them so little time because I know they can't Google that. Way. Right. Yeah. And if you did Google Adam Camo, there's a curse on you. You'll never win again. <laughs> but he doesn't seem like a Google type guy. I think he just knew that. I think he just knew. So Don Garrett, congrats on the. Johnny Football. I didn't even write Johnny Menzel. I just wrote Johnny Football. I, they'll know. Because it's anonymous. <laughs> That's a sick helmet to end on, man. Absolutely. And he's an AM fan. I guess Don won the hit, but. That's why he knew that off the top of his head. That's right. He uh, won that Earl Campbell. And then... That Aggie fan. <laughs> oh, that's right. He got a Texas. He got But Texas. now Texas A&M coming out next. Uh, full-size rep, Johnny Football. Uh, this is the silver medal right now, Con. I'll put it next to you here. Fantastic hit. Absolutely. Devin's got a few college helmets he wants to get rid of. Okay, Devin. Including Eli Manning, I know. <laughs> I think he just thinks he can get a lot for it. I don't think that he wants to like actively get rid of it you know right well, you gotta do what you gotta do all right so we got 24 in the open field reps 24 going off the ticker so I actually can't miss his next we got the first 10 in the room here colin so i'll get that on the ticker instead of the van is on the field so we'll do this break and then we'll do you know what we'll do the chase wheel spin real quickly here i've got the brake pulled up uh, we'll do the chase wheel spin. Same folks in here. I'll copy you straight in. Uh, top name after seven clicks is getting a chase wheel spin. Uh, our wheel spin is dead. So we're doing a virtual wheel spin. Literally, the wheel spin, the wheel is, is dead. Colin. It's dead, yeah. It's no more. It's no more. I didn't even notice the inscriptions on that helmet. <laughs> they are uh, they are graphic, at least the one. Oh, okay. I didn't notice either. I'll pull it up here in a second. I probably shouldn't read it then, though. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I would say show it, don't read it. All right, seven clicks. How about this? Don Garrick gets a chase wheel spin as well. So, Don, let us know what number you want to start on. We'll start you on one, unless you have another number that you would like. Dang, what a break for Mr. Garrick. Well, hold on. I'm, why am I spinning here? I think you just drag it to one, I think, Colin. Uh, Yeah, you move the outside of the wheel. Oh, there it is. Okay. Moving so quickly. Don wants to start on 19. <laughs> oh, here we go. Outside of the wheel. Come on, a little more. Perfect. 19. Messi's number with Argentina when he first started back oh, in the day. Oh, boy. Here we go. <laughs> I like it. That's a good one, Don Garrick. We'll start on 19. Spin that bad boy. Don is taking home. Ooh, a low one finally. 36 bucks, but that's not bad. Uh, yeah. If you can credit Don Garrick, 36 bucks on his chase wheel spin. So the chase is closed. Let's look at this Johnny football. I want to read it first. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Johnny <laughs> bleeping football. 12 Heisman inscription. Johnny See, trucking football. What's funny is that I saw the Heisman, and I, for some reason, just missed this one completely. <laughs> so that is crazy. Uh, cannot read that. Will not read it. But that's a, that's a cool inscription. Johnny Menzel. And again, I said this earlier about Rich Gannon. Uh, this is even more so true for Johnny Menzel. If that's not a headliner, you just are the best non-headliner you can get. Absolutely. So, very cool. Congrats, Don Garrick. We'll get that money in your account, but more importantly, we'll send you the Johnny Bleepin' Football helmet. <laughs> very cool, man. Johnny Bleepin' Football. Yeah, that is awesome. Fantastic. Open field reps are next. James Webb, Michael Francia, Chris Estacio, and Dustin Danes. Uh, we had a box number here, I think, was 24 from Chris, who's in the break. Thank you, Chris. Uh, we will go nine clicks here, then we'll do seven clicks, excuse me. Then we'll do box 24. So down to six in that series now, Colin. Crazy. Is that, is, that's nuts, man. But we'll close out this series tonight. Yeah, we got a double coming up after that, so. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Love to hear it. James Webb. NFC door? Could it be Adrian Peterson? Could it be Justin Fields? Certainly one of the great places to be in this break. Uh, we got Dustin Danes in the NFC South. Uh, we have Michael Francia in the NFC East. Chris Destazio, NFC West. Uh, we got James in AFC North, AFC South, AFC East, and Chris AFC West. Chris R has got some jokes. 
check that helmet for Coke residue. <laughs> and Devin saying Johnny was more of a Pepsi guy. <laughs> Actually, he liked uh, Sunkissed. He was a Sunkissed <laughs> guy. <laughs> Oh my God, that's Goodness funny. Gracious. You guys got jokes tonight. I like it. No kidding. I like it. You sure it wasn't a doctor, Dr. Pepper. <laughs> oh my gosh. You guys are awesome. Here we go. Box 24 of 35. Is this the Adrian Peterson moment? One of the all time great running backs. He headliner left in the series. Mr. All Day. That's what James Webb is hoping for. You know what, Colin? It's the next best thing. One of my favorite players is the Bears fan, Justin Fields. Oh, nice. Lunar replica, the single game rushing record for most rush yards in a regular season game. Justin Fields against the Dolphins. Iconic performance. Big time talent. NFC North. James Webb. How about that? The only bad thing about this is we won't see Peterson and Fields in the double, but you know what? This is very clean. Very, very clean. On the Justin Fields. Absolutely, man. Incredible. Incredible. We were talking about him in the early show. If he gets that passing down, which is already looking a lot better than he did last year, uh, he's going to be hard. <laughs> he's going to be tough to stop. Got to get some receivers as well, but hopefully Absolutely. that's where the Bears uh, draft or trade. Uh, hopefully that's what they do because they got to get this guy some targets. To get him some targets, the Bears are going to be good. Uh, finally got a quarterback. Congrats, James Webb, on the Justin Fields. Absolutely. And Mr. Alvarado, you are in the next one, open field double, which is coming up Okay. Next. Well, Adrian Peterson's still out there, so there's still a lot of fireworks to be had. Absolutely. I'm going to boot uh, Mr. Manziel. Fields is getting in there. <laughs> Bye, Manziel. Bye, Johnny. Bye, Johnny. <laughs> Uh, he plays in, like, one of those, like, different leagues, I think, now, or he did. Was that you and I who were on the air together talking about that? Or maybe that was Steven. I lose track of days. We were looking up Johnny Menzel. He played in oh, the same league yeah. as T.O. I think yeah, that was you, Yeah, Colin. it was uh, fan-controlled football. Fan-controlled football. Yeah, which I think they're coming back with another season, so. Sign me up for a team with T.O. and Johnny Menzel. <laughs> That's a fun squad yeah. right there. Well, I don't know if you ever would have thought seeing Johnny Manziel throw a touchdown to Terrell Owen, but that happened. That That's was real fantastic. life. <laughs> fantastic. I'll get you a couple boxes here. Sounds good. I'm willing to bet that that team was the highest selling team in the league. Attendance for oh, those two guys be, right? had to be. Uh, fan control, says Kevin. Absolutely. Uh, he's got Claypool. That's true. That's a good improvement on Claypool. Uh, what we do have here is an open field rep double box break. Uh, let me know on some box numbers, folks. Two numbers needed. Uh, first two I see is what we're doing, Colin. Sounds good. Uh, we have Steve, Paul, Chris, Anthony, Austin, Kevin, James, and Robert. For all those folks watching on TikTok Live, and hopefully you can see me with these boxes here. Uh, I almost forgot we're on TikTok Live. Uh, I think it actually might have went down. I think my phone went Oh, okay. That's a crapper, but we'll see. That's okay. Well, if you are watching on TikTok Live, if it's still up, <laughs> head on over to the Ultimate Autographs Live Break page and get your spots. Uh, Devin Butterworth saying Okoye and AP in this break, okay? Steve Ooh. Turkey wants 31, and Kevin wants 12. Okay, guys, 12 going off and 31 going off in the open field. Open field does not have 12 left. Uh, so we've got 17, 18, 24 was just done. Let me get that off. 27, 30, 31, and 32. Is it six left, Colin? Does that sound right? That is correct, yep. Uh, so we'll do 17, uh, and we'll do 31, because Robert wanted 17 and 32, but I think Steve was first with the 31. So 17 and 31 going, going off the ticker. Only four left in that series. Woo. Holy moly. Get you guys randomized for your divisions. Good luck, folks, in the open field. This is a double box break, Colin. That's right. Uh, Michael Irvin is still out there, right? Michael Irvin. Oh, my Adrian gosh. Peterson. That's that's a pretty good squad right there. Not bad at all. Get yourself a receiver and a running back. That is legit. Randomizer going up. Seven clicks for our divisions. Good luck, folks. Let's see some heat. Cannot wait to see what we got in here, Colin. Uh, so many great names left. Three, 
four, five, six, and seven. Kevin's got the NFC North. Mm. Looking for the Peterson, Kevin. Uh, we've got Chris in the NFC South. Uh, it is Austin in the NFC East. Could be that Michael Irvin. Uh, we've got James in the NFC West. Anthony, AFC North. Steve Durkee, AFC South. Paul Lewis, AFC East. And lastly, Robert Alvarado, AFC West. 17 of 35 on the way. Let's do it. Evan's hoping for Peterson here. Yeah, I bet he is. That could be the <laughs> Peterson moment for him. Here we go. Good luck, folks. Double box break. Looking for Adrian Peterson in here. Michael Urban's still out there. A lot of good headliner possibilities uh, in this break. Oh, man. The break room is on fire. Here we go. One of the best receivers of all time. Uh -oh. Three times Super Bowl champ. Pro Football Hall of Famer, Michael Arvin. Nice. NFC East, Austin Weathers. How about that, Austin? Single spot snipe. One spot in there taking home the Michael Irvin. Dang, man. Oh, that is so cool. Sweet hit, says Adam. I agree, Adam. Uh, that is a fantastic hit with the Michael Irvin. Really clean lunar. Great player. Great team. Great hit. Absolutely. Austin. The weather, the weather is right at the moment. <laughs> I it's like right that. For Austin. A great hit, says Denny. I agree. That is fantastic. What a great replica helmet series, too. Holy moly. Uh, this is a good one. Denny's jealous. I'm sorry, Denny. I'm sure Denny's going to win something nice very soon. <laughs> I'm not worried. He does win a lot in this break room. I mean, I don't even know what to do right now. We can boot someone. I guess I'll put this back for now. Maybe we'll revisit this. Yeah, I think we uh, might have to. Uh, who are we going to boot? Who would you boot here? Be honest. I, I can't be. I got to be impartial on the Justin Fields. Uh, I, or would uh, you boot Ray Lewis? I think I would boot Justin Fields personally, but okay, it's tough. It's not an easy decision. Colin has spoken. Bye, Justin. <laughs> Bye, I'll give Justin. you this one, Colin. <laughs> you were nice enough to fill in for me during the early show. Uh, you get the decision here. Justin Fields is getting booted. It's tough for me too, man. You think I want Michael Irvin? <laughs> that's fantastic. I guess that's true as a Eagle fan. Yeah. Now, I'll give you a couple boxes here. Here's Justin's box. We can yeah. put them away. Them up real quick. And then I'll give you. I don't even know what this one is. This is the Johnny Football. Holy cow! We got a lot of good stuff. Uh, no next good. one getting booted is going to be Ray Lewis because he's been up there for a while. Yes, I know it's a full size authentic. He's getting he's the boot. Uh, next great hit. Uh, Kevin wants to uh, bump Justin too. Okay, fair enough. You guys have spoken. This Bears fan is getting his quarterback booted. That's fair. <laughs> he gone. Uh, we've got what? One more. One more. Do uh, I have I've it or do you need to get it? Here. Okay, thank you, Colin. I've been hoarding it. Thirty-one on the way. What could we have in here? I just thought I'd take that one home, you know? A little Christmas present to myself. No kidding, right? <laughs> Especially if it's uh, Adrian Peterson. Uh, Colin's an Eagles fan. Yes, he is, Justin. Eagles fan, uh, Colin. That's how you know I'm not biased on this decision. Yeah. That's how you know I'm jealous of all his wins. <laughs> uh, holy moly! The break room is getting hotter. Someone called the Burr Ridge Fire Department because this is real. We got Adrian oh. Peterson, salute the service military helmets, top five Dang. all time in rushing yards, rushing touchdowns. We got the American flag, salute the service. That is quick. Dang. That is clean all day. Adrian Peterson, NFC North. Kevin. Kevin, Kevin. Kevin. Bye, Ray Lewis. <laughs> Adrian Bye. Peterson is now the head of the show. Uh, no question. All due respect to Michael Irvin, Justin Fields, uh, Adrian Peterson, the best hit this show, still has the single game rushing record all time. That is such a nice helmet. Unbelievable. Uh, incredible. Yes, says Kevin. There you go, says Denny. Nice double box break. You kidding me? No kidding. Adrian Jeez. Peterson, Michael Irvin in the double box break. My God. Uh, Rob's giving the... Fire emoji, Kevin's got the wow. 
Yeah, this is this is cool. Wow, indeed. That is very cool. AP, man. Uh, as a Bears fan, Colin, I can think of one player that torched the Bears more than anyone ever. It was this guy. He Even who went to the Lions, he would like roll back the clock and get 100 yards on us, no problem. I'm just like, please stop. Please stop, Adrian <laughs> Peterson. Enough is enough. Uh, <laughs> one thing I don't want to stop is the great hits here in the break room. Let's keep those going. Let's keep getting orders. Let's keep rocking and rolling. Nicely done, Kevin. Holy moly. That'll right. go nice with this uh, Jack Hanna helmet. I think it's John Hanna uh, that you got, Kevin. Uh, one of the best blockers ever uh, with one of the best running backs ever. Imagine Adrian Peterson running behind John Hanna. That's unstoppable. Oh, my God. There. Yeah, he probably would have broke the record. <laughs> but he was very close. He was already him. close, yeah. Oh, my God. Probably would have demolished it. Uh, and, and he could have gotten back in. The coach asked him, and he's like, no, it's okay. Uh, so that was definitely a cool move for Adrian Peterson. Uh, that's such a nice hit. I love these Salute to Service helmets. Uh, I do not get sick of them. Okay. Uh, anyway. A lot of support for our troops, and I kind of like the look of it. It's different. I love the American flag. Uh, it's just a, such a cool helmet, for sure, Adrian Peterson. I know he's got a busy autograph. You really can't necessarily read it, but I like that it's busy. I'm a fan of busy. Uh, Adrian Peterson. He's certainly, he's busy. He himself was a busy man out he there on the field. He was so good. Just so dragging good. a Vikings team that was kind of meh to very, very big heights. Yeah, if they had a better quarterback play like than Christian Ponder, they could have gone <laughs> yeah. a long way. Good great. Could have gone a long way. Wow. Uh, we've got a couple breaks ready to go. Uh, we've got James Webb, Steve Durkee. Christopher Destacio, Edward Tabanera, James Webb, Kevin, and Robert. This is naughty or nice authentic double, right? Uh, correct. Uh, so we got a request for a can't miss double. Let's do it. Uh, maybe we'll take the double down in this rep series now that the yeah headliner is already down. That's I was already saving it just to see. So okay, cool. So that's gonna be down. Uh, we'll do a can't miss double. Is that cool, Colin? Yeah. Um, I'll make it up right now. Let's go. We'll do it. Uh, did anyone see the Army Navy game? I want one of those helmets or both. Man, they're so nice, Justin. They are nice. Uh, crazy. So we're gonna go naughty or nice authentics. This is a double box break. Uh, there's like maybe a handful of running backs, if that, better than Adrian Peterson. The naughty or nice authentic series has a better running back than Adrian Peterson. That's true. Barry Sanders. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, maybe the best ever. Probably the best ever. The best ever, in my opinion. My humblest uh, opinion. It's kind of well. kind of funny as a Bear fan talking about best running backs ever. I mean, Walter Payton's top three all time, but I think Barry Sanders is better. And think about all the great running backs in that NFC North: Adrian Peterson, Walter Payton, Barry Sanders. Different eras, some of those guys, but so many good ones. Absolutely. So I need two numbers in naughty or nice in case you missed it. Every box number left in that series is now on the ticker. Crazy. Fourteen, nineteen. And 24 through 35. So I need two numbers. Other than Adrian, or not Adrian Peterson, Barry Sanders. We still have a, a Warren Moon out there, or Terry McLaurin. Uh, we've got in the listing Phil Sims. Sheesh. We got Archie Manning. Uh, it's crazy how good this series is. Absolutely. So two numbers needed. Uh, drop me those numbers, and then we'll do the break. Uh, we got James asking for 24. Okay, James. Edward wants 19 and 26. Steve wants 33. So Steve was last. So James was first. We'll do 24 for James. Uh, and then Edward, would you like 19 or 26? Because you were second. You can get one of those, sir. 24. So 24 going off the ticker. Which would you prefer? Uh, Edward. A lot going on up here. All right, so Ray's getting the boot. Ray, Ray's getting the boot. Uh, this is his box here. Then we'll put Adrian Peterson. Uh, he's the gold right now. Gold medal, Adrian Peterson. Uh, Ultimate Autographs Discord. Steve Durkee. That is how you can look us up on Ultimate Autographs. Uh, that's where you can find us. Actually, I'm going to move Peterson to you here. Uh, once you get me those two boxes. What's the other one he wants? Uh, 26. So we'll do 24 and 26. Going off the ticker in the naughty or nice double box break. And we have loaded dice. We have six to go. 
Let's uh, do it. That Diamond Helmet series is ridiculous, Colin. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be absolutely crazy. So that Chase Wheel Spin, you can keep the loaded dice folks in there. Yes. So I guess we're off TikTok, but that's okay. Uh, I think, it, did it fall off or did you just take your phone? I took my phone. Okay, we're good. We're good. They saw us on TikTok. My phone's so bad, man. Uh, you're good. No worries, man. I was at 80%. It's at like two now. <laughs> okay. 24 of 35 coming up. Uh, new series is Diamond Authentics uh, that features a Jerry Rice and Steve Young dual sign helmet. Uh, we had two in there. Uh, what else did we have in that series? In I put it up earlier. The, the Diamond? The next Diamond series. Oh, man. There's that Steve Young, Jerry Rice dual yeah. sign. A ripped Bo Jackson. A flash Trevor Lawrence. Oh, Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers. Yep. That's who I Micah missed. Micah Parsons. There's a lot of good ones. Yeah, it's really good. So let's close up Loaded Dice, and we'll get straight into it. Double box break, naughty or nice. We're still looking for the NFC North. That's Barry Sanders, potentially. Uh, so we'll go... Seven clicks here. Good luck, guys, uh, for our divisions. What a fire night in the break room. You guys were on fire in the early show. We're on fire tonight. I mean, Messi scored a goal. Argentina won. <laughs> this is like the best Tuesday ever. Oh, boy. I haven't even had tacos that I'm happy, Colin. Oh, man, now I want tacos. Thanks, we, Vinny. We don't even need tacos today. It's been so good. Speak for yourself, Colin. Okay. Well, <laughs> I guess we could... Taco Bell is open late, Ooh. maybe after the show. All right, we'll have a little Taco Bell date. A little Taco Yeah, I like that. Why not? <laughs> uh, so, Justin, I thought we were friends. Justin and I are no longer friends. That was it. I told everyone, it's over. There's uh -huh. one thing you could say. Justin and I's friendship is over, Colin. That's okay. It was good while it lasted. It was good while it lasted. Y'all were a power couple. That's, yeah. uh, that's sad. Sad we, to see you go. We had the chief love, and just like that, moving on from Justin. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we described it, Justin, and yeah, Bo Jackson, Kevin. It's a ripped Bo Jackson. It's a ripped Bo Jackson. It's, it's going to be very, very clean. Here we go. 24 out of 35, looking for Barry Sanders. Christopher Nastasio hopes Barry Sanders is in here. Uh, a lot of other good names as well. So is this going to be the Barry Sanders moment? I know Justin's laughing. I think he was messing with me, Colin. <laughs> I hope he was messing with me, because... Uh. I think Justin and I have had a long friendship, and I would hate for it to be over uh, over three words. <laughs> That's that <are> it. Completely <laughs> false. Completely false. Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness, Colin! Move over, Michael. Uh, 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 oh. Barry Sanders, full size, authentic, wow. leader, the Lion King himself. Woo. Ten seasons, Colin. Ten one thousand yard seasons. Four times at the league in rushing. Oh one of eight with 2,000 rush yards. Single best running back of all time. Christopher Distazio, NFC North. How about it, Chris? Good Lord. Holy moly. The last three helmets we pulled, Michael Irvin, Adrian Peterson, <laughs> Barry Sanders, back to back to back. Justin Fields. The one before? The one before that. Four, four in a row. Four in a row. Four headliners in a row. My goodness. Wow. Oh, my Lord. That... We're having a good time tonight. That is gorgeous. Christopher. Barry Sanders. Unbelievable. I can't believe it, man. And that I'm a Barry so fan. Good. I love Walter Payton, but Barry Sanders was that dude. He was. That dude. You can't argue with it. You really can't. Uh, Edward dropping the fire emoji. Chris saying, yeah, buddy. <laughs> yeah, buddy, indeed, Chris. Even this is a double. I know it's 130 with the double, but this is well worth it on the Barry Sanders. Well worth it. Are you kidding me? That's a, a snipe of snipes tonight, Christopher Destacio. Crazy, man. Uh, was right before Fields, or was it? There, We had a Johnny Manziel in between. Okay, so it was Ray Lewis, yeah. Johnny Manziel, yeah. Justin Fields, uh, Adrian Peterson, or Michael Orvin, then Adrian Peterson, now Barry Sanders. Yeah, five out of the last six headliners. And Menzel's as good as a headliner. Exactly. He could have been a headliner. Oh, my gosh. I think he has been a headliner. Oh, my gosh. The break room is next level at the moment. That is insane, uh, man. Kevin's saying that's some awesome luck. Kevin, all it takes is one spot to win. Uh, you could potentially win for 130 65 bucks. You can win some of the all-time legends here in the break room. 
Gary Sanders, congratulations. Chris Destacio. We're about to have some good running backs up here. Yeah, Ooh. I mean, Marvin's gone. Sorry, Michael. Yeah, he's got to be right. He's gone. It's, it's going to be Peterson and Sanders. And we're not done. We're not done. And that, that by the way, is Schwartz certified there, Chris. Oh, it's not your nice, too. So we got to do Oh, that. we got a bonus prize, yeah, potentially, we might have a too. bonus prize. I mean, he doesn't. Does he not have enough? What else more does Chris want? Could you imagine? Chris is naughty, but that's okay, because uh, he's done enough winning for one break, Colin. I would say. I think that's enough for look one at, break, Chris. Look at these three. Man. Go Holy easy on these crap. guys, man. Uh, crazy. Ray Lewis, Johnny, Justin Fields, Michael Irvin, Adrian Peterson, Sanders, what's next? LOL, I don't know. We'll find out. We got a box to go. Oh God, yeah, there's another one. I mean, one. it's, it's going to get a little worse, right? You think? Yeah, you got to think. It's got to get worse. You got Irvin back there somewhere? Uh, yes, I do. Michael Irvin is right here, Colin. Get him all boxed up. Oh, my gosh. This break room is just electric right now. Mercy, mercy. Have some mercy on this one. Justin say messy soccer ball. If that came out, uh, I might collapse in happiness, man. If that came out... Shut it down. Shut it down. Uh, Messi, by the way, believe it or not, on average is worth more than a Tom Brady. No way. Uh, it's just that in this break room, obviously we got more football fans, but uh, Messi memorabilia goes for more than Brady memorabilia out there. Uh, we have ourselves another pretty good autograph here. So this is finally... Not like an absolute fire hit, but this is one of the best autographs in sports. Uh, we have the seven-time Pro Bowl Center Hall of Fame 2012, Dermonte Dawson on the Steelers, Flash Authentic. James Webb, congrats with the AFC North. That is rock solid on Dermonte Dawson. Very cool. So let's see if you've been naughty or nice, James. You finally didn't pull a headliner. I guess I guess we're human in the break room. Uh, the break room is human at some point, right? We do have a bonus prize, though, James. You're a nice guy, James. Nice guy, James. Let me know would you like stocking one, two, or three, James. Uh, one is behind me, two in the middle, three closest to Colin. I go with one unless I hear otherwise. Oh my gosh. This break room is rolling. Absolutely rolling right now. Let me know, James. We got a can't miss next. <laughs> and can't miss in the name. Every name is can't miss in that series. James wants two. Okay, sir, we'll do two for you. Let's see what we got on the bonus prize, Mr. Webb. Stocking two. We got a blank index card. So we know that's that's not what he's gonna win. Psych. That one's going out the door. You're actually naughty, sorry. No, he's a nice guy. But I, I like that. Let's see what we got here in his second card. I mean, this is pretty good. James Webb, the 1991 NFL MVP, Thurman Thomas, Ooh. Buffalo Bill Mini Hell Man. Okay. We'll get that right out. Um, Colin, you got a question. Justin is asking uh, if you want a random Cunningham helmet. I think you have one already, don't you? I do. I have a uh, I have a Hydroflex <laughs> random Cunningham authentic. Well, you're covered. So, uh, yeah, I appreciate it though, man. I'd love to work out a deal for some Eagle stuff, but I already got him. Uh, Flash mini helmet, Thurman Thomas. I'll keep this in the box. The 1991 NFL MVP, Pro Football Hall of Fame running back, one of the best to ever do it. Congratulations, James Webb. On your bonus prize, sir. Beautiful, man. Uh, very clean. Can't complain about that. Nope. James Webb, a little two for one there in that naughty or nice. So we've got can't miss next, Colin. Is that correct? That's right. First one. Oh, man. That's going to be fun. And that's like the best series in the room now. I know. It's crazy. It may not be the best series for long because once we get to that diamond series. Oh, my gosh. Shut it down. If shut we, it down. If we somehow get that last load of dice done. We're going to go crazy tonight. It's 8.32 only. It's still early tonight. Still early in the break room tonight. I'll be honest with you. We've had so many great 
wins lately. I mean, great hits and great nights. We haven't had a bad day in the break room in forever. So Thurman Thomas mini bonus for James Webb. Beautiful. Can't miss. I think we're caught up after can't miss, right? That's right. I think we won't be caught up for long, though, I'm guessing. <laughs> So I guess we can take down the doubles for Naughty or Nice for now. Yep. I know we got some good helmets left. If you guys really want to double, we can keep rolling with doubles. Uh, but for now, we'll take those down. Has the next one been bought into or no? The next double? No, I, I think I had it up for a second and then I took it down. So yeah, that's good. It came out. Yeah. Yep. The only thing that's got a double right now is Can't Miss. It's a, it's a good double. Yeah, Can't I miss. would say so. But we got Steve Durkee, Trevor Smith, Robert Alvarado, Jason Burgess, Colin Pelletier, Anthony Eaton, and Chris Distasio. Uh, I need a box number and can't miss. We're starting with 1 through 10, Colin. So one of those works. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, or 10. The number of the GOAT Leo Messi. So, just so you know. You know there's a lot of other 10s. Yeah, and none are as good. None are as good. Don't talk uh, about Vinny's favorite player, Eli Manning, like that. That's true. Uh, eight's actually my favorite number. It's eight was my favorite as a kid because of Christo Stichkov, Bulgarian legendary player. Sure. And then I like 23 because of Jordan, and 10's my third favorite now because of Messi. But the way it's going, I might change my numbers. We'll see. <laughs> uh, Colin with a good number, though. Eight. Thank you, Colin. Yeah, speaking of eight. Uh, crazy. Mike Ditka, helmet, cough, cough, common. Can you grab that Mike Ditka jersey? Uh, in that can't miss. I know it's in there because I want these guys to know some of the bonus prizes uh, uh, for naughty or nice. So you know guys... what? It actually came out in the early show. Oh, it did. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I can go it's... grab it, but it's over there. No, you're good. I was just gonna say that we have some good bonus prizes. What else is in there? Uh, Tyree Kill, I, I think. I was about to say how about a uh, Tyree Kill jersey. So these <laughs> naughty or nice series uh, got some good stuff. Tyree Kill jersey is still out there. Yeah. Uh, there's a Debo so. Samuel replica helmet out there too. It's a lot of good options. Hey, do you know who the guy was that was asking about the Manziel helmet? Uh, don't know. Who was asking about Johnny Football? Uh, I've kind of been busy with the break page, so I haven't really been looking. It's really busy tonight. Yeah, but I'm sure somebody would definitely be interested in it. How could you not be? Especially with the Johnny effing football. That's so cool. It is cool. Uh, seven clicks here for our divisions. Can't miss is next. Can't miss number one. Uh, this series is ridiculous, Colin. Yep, I bet this is going to be good. I don't know what's in there, but I bet it's good. Uh, Colin Pelletier is in the NFC North. That's been the hot spot tonight. Justin Fields, Adrian Peterson, Barry Sanders. Huh. Think about that. Justin Fields might be the third best NFC North hit tonight. That's how you know you're having a good night. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> uh, we got Steve Durkee in the NFC South. Uh, it's Chris Destasio, NFC East, Anthony Eden, NFC West. Uh, we got Chris, AFC North. That's the guy who won the Sanders, right? Or did he uh, win the Peterson? Uh, the Barry, yeah. He won the Barry. That's incredible. Robert, AFC South. Jason, AFC East. And we got Trevor in the AFC West. So can't miss eight. Going off the ticker here. This will be fun. This will be a lot of fun. Uh, the series name is can't miss. So literally everything in here, yeah, you can't miss. It's I mean, going to be a good player. It's going to be good. It's going to be very good. It's a mixer. I know we got some reps, some authentics, some jerseys, some minis. You don't know what's coming out, but you know the player is really good. I like it. That's the guarantee. So we are going to start with the mini helmet. The player is excellent. One of my favorite players growing up. One of three guys with 1,000 rushing yards and 1,000 receiving yards in the same season. Mm. Former league MVP, Super Bowl champ, one of the best running backs of all time. Marshall, Marshall, Marshall on the chrome oh, mini helmet. Say it ain't so. Look at that bad boy. You can take a peek at our break room for this God. bad boy. Oh, I love chromes. That is ridiculous. NFC West, Anthony Eaton, Marshall Falk, JSA certified, the running back collector with another one. <laughs> Anthony another Eaton, one. how about that, man? Marshall, Marshall, Marshall on the chrome. Good Lord. Anthony Eaton's having a day, man. That, he's got the Ray Lewis in the bag as well, and Rich Gannon. Good gracious. How about it, Anthony? Congrats on the good start that can't miss. Uh, love Marshall Falk. Fantastic hit. Chrome helmet, too. Woo. So, you know, that greatest show on turf offense 
in the modern era like i know back then the rules were a little bit different a little more passing wise than like the 70s and 80s but you put kurt warner marshall falk isaac bruce tory holt in the modern nfl you might have the best offense of all time oh absolutely they they would kick butt in literally any era of football i think incredible love the fox as anthony how could you not man congrats on another great hit absolutely so we had Monty dawson very briefly and then we're back to like headliner names and I, I don't think he's a headliner in this series because it's that how that's how good the series is yeah i was gonna say he's not even a listed headliner but i forgot all the names are already in there just to show you how great this and, series and is. marshall falk and actually if you could periodically take him out as we pull them yep uh but marshall falk is uh probably i'm not gonna say probably i'm gonna say definitely a top 10 running back all time would you agree i'd agree absolutely and he's the third best running back we pulled in the last 30 minutes <laughs> think about that oh my think god think about that we, just incredible the break room amazing. is just rolling at the moment rolling with great hits left and right i mean i don't think we've stopped doing breaks i know you guys did a bunch of boxes all in a row in the early show and it, it's been all boxes tonight as well hey i know we got a brief dinner break uh and then back to rolling here in the break room non-stop uh non-stop we've already closed one series we're about to close the second one with loaded dice five to go uh we're moving we're moving we're moving at the moment so here's this loaded dice series so the can't miss rather we got a can't miss single and a can't miss double so every name in that series is listed uh so these are the photoed headliners uh we have adrian peterson jerry rice tiki barber roger stahlbach terry bradshaw tua herbert to uh so some of these are authentic summer reps i think colin and we can get a breakdown for you guys but they're all really good uh and then look at some of the other names every name in the series is in the listing uh we have Dak Prescott, Tyree Kill, Ezekiel Elliott, Dalvin Cook, Debo Samuel, Kirk Cousins, A.J. Brown, George Kittle, just pulled Marshall Falk, Warren Sapp, Warren Moon, O.J. Simpson, Jonathan Taylor, Ray Lewis, Nick Chubb, Andre Johnson, George Kittle, Brian Erlacher, Najee Harris, Terry McLaurin, Triple Sign, Steeler Helmet, Jack Ham, Jack Lambert, Andy Russell, Brando Cunningham, Ty Law, Heinz Ward, Sean Alexander, Warren Sapp, uh, Trayvon Diggs, Phil Sims, Lawrence Taylor, Mike Ditka, Jason Taylor, Chris Johnson. So the worst name in this series is either Ty Law, Najee Harris, or Terry McLaurin. <laughs> Those are your worst, man. And Terry McLaurin's a headliner in the Naughty or Nice Authentics, too. That should tell you something. Uh, there are no bad hits. Every player in this series is ridiculous. Uh, so... Just hop in there. Let's knock out some heat in the can't miss. The double box race can be fun. Uh, we're having a great night tonight, Tony Rosati. Pulling heat left and right. We pulled an Adrian Peterson uh, salute the service helmet. Big time Viking fan. We got another one in this can't miss. Let me show off. Actually, let's show that off and let's show off the Barry Sanders. These are probably the two best hits so far. Uh, but you don't even see Ray Lewis on the table. You don't see Justin Fields. Uh, Michael Urban, we just booted those guys. Yeah, right. So uh, this was a full-size rep on Adrian Peterson. Barry Sanders was the full-size authentic. Uh, so Justin asking for Pokemon cards. Uh, I used to collect Pokemon when I was younger, but I don't really know very much about it recently. I do know a little bit more about Carmelo than Pokemon. I'll say that. <laughs> so Justin's a big card guy, it looks like. I can't, yeah, I know that I had Pokemon cards in the past that are worth some money today. Get that Charizard. That's what was that's what was cool back in the day. Charizard, mm -hmm. the big red guy. That's still cool today. If you had that card, the original, oh my god. The holographic, what are they called? Uh, I think holographic, yeah. yeah. Those were cool. I mean, you'd be a hundred thousand air. We got Stick James saying that Sanders helmet is sexy AF. I agree. It's so cool. It is like it's the sexiest thing in the break room at the moment. Sorry, Colin. Barry Sanders beats you and beats me. By, <laughs> by a lot. By a lot. Uh, he, that's not the only thing he beats us at. So. Oh, my gosh. Barry Sanders. Uh, actually, this is one of my favorite helmets, period. The Lion logo. 
It just looks awesome. Uh, such a clean helmet on the Barry Sanders. Absolutely. Sexy so, is the right word. What's next, folks? Naughty or nice? Jerseys are two away. Loaded dice is five away. Open field is six away. Can't miss. Double box break is six away. Uh, let's keep it rolling here. So we did, what, one college break to close out that series. Mm -hmm. We've done how many open fields tonight? Like five, maybe? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. So six boxes there. We did a can't miss seven. A load of dice, ten. On your nice jersey, 11. Uh, we've done a slab break, 12. We've done what? Like five authentics. So 17 boxes already. Uh, a little bit under two hours in. Let's keep it rolling. Let's keep it rolling, folks. Beautiful. So damn sexy, says Chris. <laughs> I know. I know. Uh, the sexiest place is the Ultimate Autographs break room. And it's all about the helmets. There's no people. The people may not be sexy, but the helmets <laughs> sure are sexy, Colin. I'd say. Oh, uh, they're beautiful, man. I Absolute would... sexiness in the break room. Chris Destasio is trying to get that on his mantle before Christmas. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, trade for Marino. Ooh. Let me know. Okay. Uh, Dan Marino's going to be back in the break room in due time as well, Colin. Yeah, I was on a, a phone call in between shows, and I just happened to sit down and look to my right, and look what do you know, it's Dan Marino just sitting there. Well, we have him on a helmet, too. You saw the jersey. There's a sick helmet as well. Oh, my Lord. So we have a lot of good stuff coming up in the room, including our new Diamond Helmet series, the two-minute warning. Uh, let's pull up this bad boy. You guys are going to be in for a treat. So we got five spots to go on that loaded dice. The next Diamond Helmet series, which will drop as soon as loaded dice is gone. We've got, this is all authentics. Aaron Rodgers, Flash Authentic. Back-to-back -back NFL MVP. Uh, you guys like those Salute to Service helmets? The Cheetah Tyree kills on there. His quarterback, two on the 305. We got Steve Young and Jerry Rice on the dual mm. sign 49ers helmet. Uh, we got Gronk on the Patriots Lunar, uh, Bo Jackson ripped helmet, Micah Parsons authentic could be Defensive Player of the Year, and Trevor Lawrence on the Flash. That is what you called, Colin, the single best Flash out there, the Jaguars. I stand by it. It's gorgeous. I've got it at number two, but I mean, it's so good. It's so, so good. good. It's got to be in everyone's top five, top uh, three probably. Such a fantastic uh, helmet there, and Trevor Lawrence is playing... Pretty good of late. He is. Uh, he's playing well lately. So that is going to be an absolutely insane series. You might be asking yourselves, when in the world are we going to see these helmets as soon as Loaded Dice is closed up? That's right. Uh, not to mention Loaded Dice. Everything in that series is good. Mm -hmm. I know we pulled the headliners. There's one crate left. But everything is good in that Loaded Dice. So come and get it, guys. Two-minute warning diamond helmets. Who's going to close up Loaded Dice? Who wants to see those diamond helmets? Need a hero, baby. I know I do. Who's all on Loaded Dice right now? Loaded Dice currently we have... Sorry, we got a lot of things on here. Anthony Eaton, Jason Burgess, and uh, Robert Tagliente. Okay. Tagliente. So we will do a chase wheel spin uh, for all of the Loaded Dice folks. So we have eight names in there. We'll add eight more. We'll do a chase wheel spin if we can close out Loaded Dice tonight. Let's do it, guys. I'm telling you, that Steve Young, Jerry Rice, that picture doesn't do it justice. Oh, my God. I've never seen a helmet that looks like that. It's so clean. Yeah, it's, it's so, so cool. clean. Uh, they actually, so Jerry Rice actually had more receiving touchdowns with Steve Young than Joe Montana. Really? So I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. There are, I think, I have to pull it up, but I want to say they're like number three all time in touchdown connections. I think it's like Peyton Manning and Marvin Harrison, and we have, Gronk and Brady, and I want to say Young and Montana, or Young and uh, Rice are third, I think. Mm -hmm. You may have looked that up, but those are some of the highest uh, receiver and quarterback duos all time in touchdowns. Find out, so, yeah. So, very cool. Kevin, it's not listed. Not uh, listed yet. It's not listed yet. We got to close out Loaded Dice. As soon as Loaded Dice is out of the room, uh, we will drop that new Diamond series. We got one spot to go in the Naughty or Nice jerseys, by the way, Colin. That break is coming up. Uh, and we have three to go in open field. This is the series right now that is listed that I would play. 
Uh, it is such a ridiculous series. Can't miss football mixer. Adrian Peterson, Jerry Rice, Tiki Barber, Roger Stahlbach, Terry Bradshaw. Uh, we have Tua, Justin Herbert, T.O. That's a guy who doesn't sign a lot. Huge fan of T.O. Can't miss series is crazy. Uh, so this is a, a mixer, by the way, right? Can't miss uh, mixer. Let me look this up. I've, I know I've got it pulled up here on my phone. So I can tell you guys which ones are authentics and which ones are reps. Because I know these are all full-size helmets. These are not minis. I don't think a single one of these no. is mini helmets on the headliners. They are not. So and while you're doing that, you are correct. 92 touchdowns. 92 touchdowns. And Jerry Rice. Third all time. Third all time. Only behind Tom Brady and Rob Gronkowski at 105, who is also in that diamond series, Rob Gronkowski. Incredible. And your boy Peyton Manning and Marvin Harrison at 114. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Peyton's on here twice. He's tied for seventh with uh, Reggie Wayne as well at 76. And he's not bad. That was my favorite player before Mahomes. I think the most surprising, though, also at 76 touchdowns, Drew Brees and Marcus Colston. That is a little surprising. Yeah, that's a lot of touchdowns for those two. That was a little surprising. So of course, my internet is off by a little bit, but this King Mid series is great. Uh, I'll get you guys the full rundown on reps and authentics when I find out, but it's such a good series. Yeah, I could probably find it on here. Yeah, but... Colin, if you can find it, let us know which one of those headliners are reps and which are authentics. Yes, sir. Uh, so, crazy, crazy stuff. Let's do that can miss. Six to go on the double. Let's get that loaded dice done so we can drop that new diamond series. And we do have three spots to go on the football slabs. Ooh. We got all these Viking fans. Dalvin Cook is out there. Justin Fields is still out there. Justin Herbert. Cooper Cup. I mean, we've got a lot of good slab cards left. Only three spots to go in that next slab break. We are at absolutely rolling tonight in the break room uh why stop now guys let's do some more heat jerseys are sold out that break is coming up we got five to go in the naughty or nice minis by the way every headliner is out there in naughty or nice minis like all of them Colin. it's crazy every single one been dodging them so let's rock and roll if you're in that naughty or nice jersey break drop me a number uh that would be 12 19 20 26 or 27. Jerry Rice, Emmett Smith still out there in this series. Full of goodies, Colin. Not lying. So, what a great night in the break room. 27 says, Justin, what's the deal, bro? What's the deal, bro? I think Justin was joking about the messy comment, so he's back in my good graces. <laughs> You're giving him a pass on that, huh? I'm giving him a pass. Well, you thought he was joking about Carmelo Anthony. That's true. So, I don't know. <laughs> I was hoping he was joking about Carmelo, but that's okay. He's not a basketball guy. That's fine. 27. 27. David Scott is in the room. How about it, David? Get in there. Can't miss. In the single and the double, and he got himself an open field as well. Beautiful. 27 of 40. Good luck, folks. We'll get you guys randomized seven times here. Out of your nice jerseys, number two. Justin looking for that closer magic and that box number mojo, Colin. Got to. A little double mojo, potentially. Uh, Tony and Anthony making trades, okay. Uh, so, cool, guys. Absolutely. Good to get trades going. Ultimate Autographs Discord, a great place with the buy, sell, trade section. Justin, here you go. He's asking for a spin. <laughs> Since he was joking about Messi, I'll do it. If you're serious about Messi, never again, Justin. Never again, <laughs> That's the man. last spin. That's the last spin you ever get. The uh, last spin ever. I haven't seen him say he wasn't serious, so... Uh, <laughs> we had know. a ha-ha-ha afterwards at one point. Okay, all right. So that's, that's where I'm guessing that he's, he's joking. Or was uh, it, like, manic? No. Like an evil laugh. Oh, gosh, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. It's hard. Have you ever seen that show, The Circle, uh, on Netflix? It's no. like a... Oh, I've heard of it. I know what you're talking it's, it's about. It's pretty good. Okay. Uh, yeah, I actually really enjoy it. I'm normally not a rea reality TV guy. Uh, that's the best reality TV show, like, ever. Really? In my opinion. Wow. It's, it's fantastic. Right. Uh, so they, they work on emojis, and they don't ever see each other face-to-face. -face. 
they make friends, there's catfishes, etc. So I feel like we're in an episode of The Circle right now, because I don't know what, what Justin's mood is in. Like, I don't know if he's kidding or if it's a sinister laugh. Oh, my Lord. So it's a good show on Netflix. <laughs> good show. Uh, we have Chris in the NFC North, Edward NFC South, Christopher NFC East, Jared NFC West, Justin AFC North, Jared AFC South, Anthony AFC East, and Jason AFC West. Here we go. 27 to 40. Let's see if it works, Justin. Let's see if it does work for you. The verdict, this time at least, is no. Oh. Uh, we have one of my favorite nicknames that we have made up in the break room. I don't think his name is actually, his nickname is this, but we call him the Groganator. Steve Grogan. <laughs> Groganator. I will terminate you. I will groganate you. PSA certified. Maybe the third greatest Patriot quarterback of all time. He played against the 85 Bears in the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. And he got demolished. But so did everyone against the 85 <laughs> yeah. Bears. No shame there. Uh, so solid quarterback in the 80s for the Patriots. AFC East. Tony Rosati. Ooh, hops in and grabs a dub. That's how you do that, Tony. That's how we do it. Steve Rogan. Now, before there was Tom Brady, Drew Bledsoe, uh, the only guy that led the Patriots to the Super Bowl, I believe, was Steve Gogan. So, not bad there. Let's see if you're naughty or nice, Anthony. So, the naughty guy. But, Colin, good news. We've got till December 24th to prove Santa wrong. <laughs> we got some time. We got some time. Uh, we'll see what we'll do, uh, Mr. Rosati. So, naughty or nice, number two in the books. What's our closest break right now? We are two away on the next open field. Okay. And three away on the slabs. Mm, cool. Then we got a bunch right at striking distance, I like to call it. Five spots away on at least three breaks. Loaded dice is one of them, right? Yes. So that would just open the floodgates if we I can mean, get that. Let's get that closed up tonight, guys. Last load of dice crates. We'll do a chase wheel spin, uh, and we'll head straight into our diamond series. Oof, let's do it. That diamond series is ridiculous. I honestly might be the best series I've ever seen in this room. It's going to be so cool. I know I've said that a lot, but it's just because the stuff keeps getting better. I think our series keep getting better and better because uh, we just keep wanting to make these guys happy. You know, yeah. We want to get these series even better. The diamond helmets are worth every penny. Uh, cannot wait to get into that series. Yeah, I think just box for box, it might be it's it's gonna, a heavyweight contender. It's going to be crazy, man. It's going to be absolutely wild, uh, that diamond authentic series. I mean, we'll get there eventually, so we might as well get there now, you know? It's going to be nuts when we're going to have can't miss and the diamond here. It's just going to be hit after hit after hit. Oh, my gosh. All day, every day. That's going to be pretty days. crazy. It's going to be... And that series won't last long. I think it's, what is it, 35? Yeah, or... I did say three days. That might be like two days, maybe one day. Yeah, we'll see. Well, people, we'll see. We'll, we'll see, see what happens. But I think we might see it on Thursday. Are you working with me Thursday? Mm -hmm. I think you guys are switching next week, you and yeah, next Stephen, week, right? next week we're switching. Yeah, so that'll be a lot of fun. Stephen and I, and you, I guess, are really keeping people on their toes with rotations, especially today. Yeah. This is just weird, bizarre, if you're used to watching on Tuesday. Well... I normally am here almost every day. I've missed like maybe four shifts in my Ultimate Autographs career, and two of them ironically have come in the last three days. <laughs> uh, so I'm like a Cal Ripken Iron Man, uh, but that streak is broken. I had yeah. an eye uh, eye infection on Sunday. That's why I wasn't here. Sounds painful. And then I had Lionel Messi to watch. The only I think the only other day I missed was uh, when I it was my girlfriend's birthday, and I think obviously my vacation. How could you miss? Her birthday. <laughs> well, no, I missed Ultimate Autographs yeah. for her birthday. Yeah, that's so. what I meant. <laughs> yeah, I, I couldn't miss my girlfriend's birthday. Can't I do that. Be, she wouldn't be my girlfriend anymore. <laughs> yeah, Common wouldn't so, have a girlfriend. That wouldn't be good. Kevin's got us to the halfway point on Loaded Dice. All right, Kevin! Four to go. Do you like Home Alone? It's decent. Oh, I love Home Alone. <laughs> I, I watched it last week, and I was like, man, such a classic movie. The first one especially is my favorite. Uh, very good stuff. So Steve Grogan for Anthony. Uh, let's keep it rolling, folks. Uh, let's get that load of dice knocked off. Let's get these uh, slabs done. 
Uh, we got five to go in the minis. I think we'll break for the cycle tonight, Colin. We could, yeah. Denny giving us a little push in the in the minis. Uh, that mini helmet is series is, is kind of crazy. Uh, put the Carmelo Anthony in the general Discord, says Justin. There you go, Justin. Uh, I think people will appreciate that card. Absolutely. Uh, they will appreciate that card. I mean, you, you might get some offers on it, not being a basketball guy. Wasn't he, like, co-rookie of the year with LeBron or something? Or they were both in the running. I can't remember. I have no idea. Let's find out. Because he was in LeBron's draft class. Uh, he was the, insane. the third pick, and Darko Milicic was the second pick. So the Pistons kind of dropped the ball there. I think Dwayne Wade was in that draft, oh, man. too. Yeah, they really dropped the ball. <laughs> I think it was Wade fifth, maybe? Just... I think in that draft class. Set up for failure. It doesn't look like he won Rookie of the Year. Okay. He was an all-rookie, though. I think LeBron won it. So that would have been, what, the 2003 NBA draft? Was it 03 or was it 04? I want to say it was 03. Okay. I see LeBron when I looked at it, so. Okay, yeah, it's got to be LeBron. Yeah, LeBron first, then Darko Millis. <laughs> Second. Yeah, then Carmelo, then Chris Bosh, then Dwayne Wade. So the big three in Miami were all, all drafted in the top five. Was Kirk Henrik seventh? Or was it sixth? Kirk Heinrich was seventh. Uh, seventh. Chris Common was sixth. Yeah, or Kamen. Chris Kamen. Common like me. Yeah. I like that better. Better way to pronounce that name. And then it then it kinda then it kind of falls off a little bit. I can't get them all. So let's keep it rolling, guys. I'll give you another top to bottom rundown. Reset the break page. Here's everything we got going on at Ultimate Autographs. Live break three in the naughty or nice jerseys. Still looking for Jerry Rice, Emmett Smith, Dalvin Cook, and Tua. In the naughty or nice jerseys. Uh, we got four to go in the can't miss double box break. Adrian Peterson, Jerry Rice, Tiki Barber, Roger Staubach, Terry Bradshaw, Tua, Justin Herbert, Terrell Owens. And actually this series, Colin, every name in the series is listed uh, here. So, I mean, Dak Prescott, not a headliner. Warren Moon, Ray Lewis. I mean, all these names are great in the can't miss series 40 box series guys come and get it we got two to go in open field reps we got four to go in that last load of dice then we'll drop that diamond series five to go in naughty or nice authentics uh we pulled barry sanders but tell you what colin there's a tyree kill still out there a terry mclaurin and a warren moon Jeez. and all those guys are flash authentic helmets nine boxes left is that right that looks right. It looks right. Uh, we also have Archie Manning, Phil Sims, Steve Largent. I mean, none of these guys have come out. I mean, it's it's stacked, is what you're saying. Uh, there might be, there's a few back there. Three, five, uh, three, seven, six, seven, I think it's nine, seven, 11 left. Four, or, six, eight, ten, I think 12. Regardless. Well, if there's 12 left, Warren Moon's one, Terry McLaurin another. Uh, we have the... Uh, what else did I say? Harry Kill, Archie Manning, Four, Phil five, Sims, six, Steve Larges. That's, seven. So that's like more than half of them yeah. are those names. Hmm. So basically you've got better than 50% chance at a headliner worthy name. You have 100% chance and can't miss because all those names are headliner quality. 100% chance at loaded dice because all those names are headliner quality. Sold out on the slab that's coming up. And naughty or nice minis. Every headliner is out there, Colin. They're all out there. We have yes. not pulled a single headliner yet in that series. And there's 11 of them. <laughs> oh, my God. That is crazy. Absolutely crazy. So we've got these slabs next, I believe. Yep. Give me one second. Yeah, I'll you get take that your time, Colin. Slab break is next. We have two to go in open field. That's coming up. Two to go in naughty or nice minis. Uh, that's coming up as well. So it's going to be... A pretty fun night tonight. We're just getting started, folks. Just getting started in the break room with all this heat. Yeah, and we're about to do our 20th box already, I believe. Incredible. Uh, moon and Largent for me, says Kevin. Well, hop in, Kevin. Naughty or nice. Let's get you in there, my friend. Get him. Uh, Rob Tag got the last three spots in slabs. Let's roll. Uh, perfect, Rob. Thank you very much, man. Slabs are on the way. Star studded number two. 
I keep thinking it's Reginald Taglicod, <laughs> uh, who might be before your time, but it's Robert Taglienti. I uh, know. I've seen my man Reginald Taglicod in here. I think he's, he's, he's a legend. He's got such a great name. He's got a great name. I would say it all the time if I had it. Reginald Taglicod. I love like it. like he should have like a pipe, you know, like just very fancy. He's a legend, man. He's a Charger fan, so Ooh, he like... could get in here for the Justin Herbert slab. Yeah. Where uh, you at, Reg? So, yeah, absolutely. Dwayne Wright loves the slabs. Robert and Jason, drop me a box number, folks. Uh, football slabs. We've got 12, 13, 14, 15, 19, 21, 22, and 23 available. We'll give you guys 30 seconds. Otherwise, I'll let the randomizer pick. Cool. Breakthrough is in Fuego. We're about to get to what box number to call in on I tonight? Believe, I believe 20. 20 boxes, which I call a good show. I think we'll do at least 30 tonight, if not 40. All right, we're heading the right way. I we're mean, headed in the right direction. If we get that load of dice closed, oh my God. Like I said, it's. The yeah. gloves are off. <laughs> uh, Justin, we must close out loaded dice to drop that new diamond series. Four spots to go and loaded dice. Uh, box 22 in the slabs. Uh, the Emmett Smith box. He was a famous number 22. 22 of 30. Wayne Wright last night. We had a double box break in this series, Colin. Uh-huh. Uh, he got Derrick Henry and Jalen Waddle. Oh, my God. He had three spots or two spots, but he won two headliners. Very, very first break of the show last night. It was wild. Uh, so this break room is... I mean, the stuff coming out last few nights is uh, ridiculous. Insane. Six and seven. We got Dwayne Wright up top in the NFC North. Could it be a Justin Fields, Dwayne? Dwayne's got the NFC South and East as well. Uh, then in comes Robert Taglienti, NFC West. Jason Burgess, AFC North. Robert's got the South and East. And Jason in the AFC West looking for that Justin Herbert. Here we go. 22 of 30. Uh, we don't know what's left because the headliners are all gone, but we know it's good, Justin. Yep. We know it's good. Uh, this slab series is also good because this is not a photoed headliner. The best defensive player of all time. One of three guys that was not a quarterback or a running back to an NFL MVP. Three-time defensive player of the year, tied for the most ever, Lawrence Taylor on the slab card. Damn. Uh, that is very clean. The authentic auto skybox card. NFC East. Wayne Wright is in the right again. Uh, this man is just dominating the slab series. No kidding, man. Torching him. He is getting so many good hits in this series. Congratulations, Dwayne. Rock solid hit in the Lawrence Taylor. That's nice, man. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow, indeed. Very nice card. Congrats. What's up, Nancy White? Nancy White is a big-time Giant fan. Go, She's Nancy. jealous of this card, and I don't blame her because it's a nice card. I don't blame her either. Uh, where's your buddy Dan Grotta? Where are you at, Dan Grotta? He's in here. He's in the uh, can't-miss double box break. Oh, of course he's in here. Dan Grotta in the house. The party has started now. <laughs> uh, that is cool. Uh, wow, great hit, says Justin. Not a headliner, man. That's not. Uh, the filler hits in this, I mean, across all our series, to be honest. I know guys get obsessed with headliners, like what headliner is left. Like we're asking what's left in loaded dice. Who cares? It's good regardless. <laughs> it's going to be good. Who in the world cares? Uh, Nancy is jealous. Uh, I am also jealous of Dwayne Wright because he just got that slap card. For 90 bucks. Uh, yeah, even with three spots. I worth it. Very much worth, worth it. Worth it on the Lawrence Taylor. So let's see. Two to go in the naughty or nice. Every headliner is out there. Three to go in the can't miss double box break. That Ooh. was the next one. After open field, though, because that one is filled up. We got Steve, Kevin, James. New guy in the room, David Scott. Uh, he is Michael Scott's brother. <laughs> of so course. That's always good. <laughs> uh, we have Scott. Or Sean Kowalski and Anthony Eaton, who I'm jealous of tonight as well. He's won a lot of good stuff tonight. Yeah, he's going crazy. So drop me a number in the open field reps. Is there four left or three left? Is there one behind there? Uh, one behind there, so four left. So four left. So yeah, my ticker is correct. 18, 
27, 30, and 32. First box I see is what we're doing. Uh, otherwise, I'll randomize for the open field. What a cool series that's been tonight. Absolutely. It's Justin crazy. Fields, Adrian Peterson coming out tonight, mm -hmm. Michael Irvin. I mean, stop it, man. Stop <laughs> it with this heat. Stop it. Just stop. Out of pocket. So, I guess I'll just randomize uh, the box number. And we will break for the cycle, Colin, because we got two spots to go in the minis. We've done at least one of everything else. Yeah, right? Man. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Uh, we're doing it big tonight in Ultimate Autograph. Like one of the best Tuesdays ever, Colin. <laughs> uh, Argentina and Messi. Fun night in the break room. It's just fantastic, man. Absolutely fantastic. Seven clicks for the box number, which will be 27. So 27 going off the ticker in the open field reps. Only three left in that series. Uh, maybe we can drop you guys a fresh rep series tomorrow, possibly. We close this out tonight. And then we'll drop another series tonight uh, in that Diamond series after oh, a load yeah. of dice is gone. So that's crazy. Uh, you know what? Let's do 30. Kevin did drop in with 30. I hadn't, uh, I didn't have the box number uh, on the desk. The break room rule is once the box is on the desk, uh, we can't change it. It was on the desk yet, so Kevin will honor 30 for you. Thank you, friend. Uh, 30 is Messi's number on PSG. So, <laughs> so was, you're double cool with it. So double cool with it. Works for me. Uh, Neymar offered him the 10, and Messi said, no, nah, I'm good. You were 10 before. Keep it. What a guy. Humble guy, Mr. Messi is. Uh, seven clicks for our divisions. Good luck, guys. Open field reps. I'm trying to see how many messy references I can get in the show tonight <laughs> without being super annoying. Uh, we got James Webb. He's got the top three, NFC North, NFC South, NFC East. Anthony's got the NFC West. He's red hot tonight. David, new guy in the room. Welcome, sir. Sean, AFC South. Kevin, AFC East. And Steve in the AFC West. Here we go, box 30 of 35 in the replica helmets. The open field. The open field. What could we have in here? Tell you what, this is a rock solid hit. This is what we call box number mojo, Colin. Uh, also what we call one of the top three flashes in the business. Yes. And again, you get this guy as a non-headliner, 1972 Dolphins, only undefeated team uh, throughout the whole season and the Super Bowl. I know he missed a few games in that season, uh, but he was the starting quarterback of maybe the best team ever. Uh, we have a Hall of Famer, pro in college, two-time Super Bowl champ, Bob Grease nice. on the Flash. Look at this. Look at this autograph, Colin. This is a... Mm. Rock solid auto on the Bob Greasy. Oh, it's top level. So, Kevin, AFC East, that is a great hit, sir. Uh, he had, what, one spot in here? Jeez. Single spot snipe uh, for the legend Bob Greasy. Very nice, sir. Uh, where did the Dolphins fall on your flash rankings? I think they were top... I think they were top five. Okay. They might have been like four, maybe three. They were right there, though. I've got them on three. So, yeah. guys, if you're in the Ultimate Autograph Discord... Uh, Colin, actually, I was impressed at how thorough it was. Uh, <laughs> I tried. Colin dropped in an article uh, of his top flash helmets in the NFL, ranked them 1 through 32. Uh, this is 3 or 4 on his list. Uh, it's a good one. Bob Greasy. Absolutely, man. And this is also going to Kevin. So, I mean, you get one of the best flash helmets of the game with that autograph, with this Adrian Peterson, too. That's a good night for my man, Kevin. No kidding. One of the best autographs, too. Absolutely. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. So Kevin's a happy guy tonight. I would, oh, we got a Keenan Allen authentic, too. Yeah, he's, uh, he's a very happy guy tonight. Break it in, Kevin. Uh, his last name might be short, but the amount of wins he has tonight, the list is not short. It's, yeah. it's long. You can go with that other name and just say goat. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> goat. Take out the Z. Uh, have the goat. Kevin Goat. Yes, says Kevin. That's right. <laughs> I like it, Kev. I like it. Bob Greasy. Nancy, I'll drop you a link here in one second, all right? Actually, you might have to because you uh, probably can't see it, huh? He, well, actually, she can't see it. Yeah. She's on YouTube? Okay. Cool. She's on YouTube. Yeah, Facebook doesn't see it. I got to log in. So if you have it, 
if you can drop a color. And I'll copy and paste it so everyone can see it for sure. Yes, sir. I will drop it. I think I got to log in. I'm not logged in at the moment. Uh, you are welcome, Nancy. Uh, let's keep it rolling in the break room, guys. Let's do it. Uh, a lot of good stuff coming up. I think nothing is full yet. Uh, but we're four away on the Naughty or Nice Authentics. We're three away on the Can't Miss Double. Uh, and we're just two away on the Naughty or Nice Minis. And four away on Loaded Dice. I think the question on everybody's mind. Are we going to see the diamonds tonight? Oh my gosh, I hope so. All right, Colin. I'm feeling generous. Uh-oh. Here's what we'll do. Oh my. I don't want to give out a $200 wheel spin. Oh. But I don't, I said. Okay. Uh, but I do want to give you guys a shot. So if you get 50 or less on the wheel spin for that load of dice, we'll double it. So, so if you get like 49, it's 98. Uh, but you get 51, it's still 51. <laughs> wow. So it's going to be very fun. That is interesting. So yeah. if you get less than 50, we'll double that chase wheel spin for loaded dice. So you basically what what something between twenty five and forty nine, yeah. Like obviously a super high number. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. So we're making fun. We're making fun <laughs> here in the break room. I like it. Uh, Merry Christmas to me, says Kevin, dropping the goat emojis. <laughs> I mean, true, man. Yeah. Put all these under your tree and take a picture. Put it in that little Discord. No kidding. Uh, I'm jealous, man. I'm jealous of this guy from what he's winning. I'm jealous of a lot of people tonight, boy. So, what was that stretch that we had? Do you remember it? You've got, do you have it listed? Yeah, so it all started with the end of Loaded Dice. Anthony Eaton won the Ray Lewis Authentic. Okay. Then we had the Johnny Manziel and the last band is on the field to okay. Don Garrick. Justin Fields to James Webb. Okay. Michael Irving to Austin Weathers. Adrian Peterson to uh, Kevin. And then, of course, Barry Sanders to Chris. And that was all in a row. That was all in a row. I think that Marshall Falk Chrome was like just two after that too, so absolutely crazy. It's been nuts. So Steve Jerky, here is the Discord link, my friend. That is where you can find us. Uh you are set up on Discord, sir. So Colin, I'm gonna give these guys a look at a few series that are close to closing out right now. Uh so first and foremost, this can't miss series is ridiculous. I yep. mean uh, look at these headliners. Adrian Peterson, Jerry Rice, Tiki Barber, Roger Staubach, Terry Bradshaw, Justin Herbert, Tua, T.O. Uh, but perhaps the story here is these other names. Dak Prescott, Tyree Kill, Zeke, Dalvin Cook, Debo Samuel, Kirk Cousins, A.J. Brown, George Kittle, Warren Sapp, Warren Moon, O.J. Simpson, Jonathan Taylor, Ray Lewis, Nick Chubb, Andre Johnson, George Kittle, Brian Urlacher, Najee Harris, Terry McLaurin, Triple Sign, Steeler Helmet, Randall Cunningham, Ty Law, Heinz Ward, Warren Sapp again for good measure. I'm guessing he's in here only once, but <laughs> can never get too much of Warren Sapp. Just really emphasizing it. <laughs> Trayvon Diggs, Phil Sims, Lawrence Taylor, Mike Ditka, Jason Taylor, Chris Johnson. Crazy. Uh, so every name left in that series is ridiculous and so a lot of those are probably on like specialty helmets and all sorts of just crazy stuff it's going just on absolutely insane guys let's knock out that can't miss three spots to go in the double box break seven to go in the single loaded dice the best series in the room all the headliners gone two reps one authentic coming out in the triple box break uh i say it's the best series in the room but can't miss might be the best or the Diamond Series, which we'll have soon, is probably better than both. It has to be. So, absolutely craziness. Uh, four spots to go in Naughty or Nice. Still looking for Tyree Kill, Terry McLaurin, Warren Moon. I mean, uh, we still have Archie Manning, Phil Sims, Steve Largent. I mean, the amount of sheer good names in that series is still ridiculous. Uh, we are sold out on the Mini Helmets. For good measure, every headliner is out there in this series. Joe Montana, Emmett Smith, Jalen Hurts, just some of the biggest ones. Uh, come and get it. Do it. We have officially broken for the cycle tonight. Hey, Colin. call Sports Center, baby. We hit the cycle. Let's go. You know, Sports Center should feature ultimate autographs because oh, I mean, yeah. 
the helmets we have here are like just incredible. I mean, that little stretch we had it was just headliner after headliner. Absolutely Sports Center worthy, right? Sports Center top 10 plays. Number one, Messi. Number two, <laughs> Ultimate Autographs. <laughs> oh, man. Dun -dun -dun, dun -dun -dun. Yeah, I, I, I mean, we were talking about it earlier. That little move he had on the assist was... Oh, unbelievable. Great. Absolutely unbelievable. Fun to watch, for sure. Oh, I should have bet the Bucks minus four, I told you. But that's Dang okay. It. They won by 17 tonight. I don't want to hear that. I hate betting against the Warriors, though, so that's fair. Uh, so, not your nice minis are ready. Uh, we've got Jason Burgess, Danny Ricker, Nancy White's in the break. Jason Come on, Nancy. again. Adam Cantwell and Steven Roselle. Uh, so let me know on a box number, guys. The Naughty or Nice Minis are single box breaks, just so you guys know. We have 1, 4, 6, 10, 11, and 13 available. We have yet to pull a headliner. My gut feeling, Colin, is that there is multiple headliners right now on the ticker. And there has to be, there right? There has to be. There's 11 of them in this series. 11 headliners. That's unbelievable. That's so cool. So I'll give you guys 30 seconds on a box number. Uh, otherwise, I can let the randomizer pick. Two to go in that can't miss double box break. That's next. Uh, and let's really concentrate on that load of dice, man. Four spots to go. Uh, that diamond series is ridiculous. I'll put it up here in a second, but want to knock out the last load of dice. Yeah, we need some of our regulars in there. Where's Mr. Durkey and Colin Pelletier and Danny? Who's in there right now? Right now is Anthony Eaton, Jason Burgess, Robert Teglienti, and Kevin. Where is Steve and Colin the ones wanting to close it? And Denny, yeah. And Denny, all they're not guys. in there. I mean, if all three of them got in, we're one away. Somebody's going to close it. Come on, guys. Let's knock off that load of dice. Uh, so I'm going to get this randomizer prepped, Colin. I've not heard on a box number. Randomizer getting prepped. So good luck, folks. Naughty or nice minis. If there's a series right now that like doesn't make sense how slow it's moving, it's this one. All the headliners are out there. I mean, what else more do we need, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You may not believe this, Colin, but uh, minis used to be the hottest series in the room. Uh, probably from last like November until about June, it was nothing but minis in this break room. But now the minis... For some reason, people don't like them at the moment. That's okay. Up to you guys. Whatever they want to play. Uh, Dan Guarda says, I'll buy a spot. Nancy's paying. There you go. All right, Nancy. Get yourself a good friend. Nancy. Nancy White. Uh, box four is what we'll do. Uh, somehow, I think that Dan is joking. I don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> don't think it's coming out of Nancy's pocket. Uh, what's up, Jim Castle? Uh, Jim is in the room. What's going on, Jim? Hey, Jim. Good Jimbo. Jimbo. Number eight, you say? That's right. All right, I'll grab that in a second. Was it eight or was it four? It was four, sorry. All right. I said eight clicks for me. Ah, I don't know what ah, I said. I don't know what happened, but we got four. We'll do four. All right, we'll do four here. Uh, six and seven clicks. Uh, Adam, that's not a bad idea. We don't have that set up right now that I know of, Colin. We can maybe set that up for tomorrow, possibly. Do we have a listing created for a pick one, get three on the minis? That's uh, not a bad idea with all the headliners out yeah, there. Yeah, I'll take a look and see. Otherwise, we're looking at it for tomorrow, Adam. Uh, Steven's got the NFC North, Nancy, NFC South, Jason, NFC East, Denny, NFC West, Jason, AFC North, Adam, AFC South, Jason, AFC East, and Denny, AFC West. Here we go. Four out of 50. You're good, Adam. Our customers are usually full of ideas. Yeah, definitely. So we may look into that for tomorrow or Thursday, sir. Do we have a headliner? I mean, we are well overdue for a headliner. We don't. No oh headliner here. Oh, my God. <laughs> no headliner here. And to be honest with you, cert right here does not tell me who this is. Oh. I think this might be Oops. To Garrett Wilson, maybe. We've had him a lot recently. Flash mini helmet for the Jets. I know it's Jason Burgess regardless. Uh, that is nice. Uh, AFC East flash hit. Asin. Is it Zach Wilson? 
That looks like a Z to me. Could be Zach Wilson. Let's find out. Let's do the QR sticker here. Uh, so I think we just hold it on the phone. Yeah, Bob's saying Zach Wilson. Zach Wilson. Well, I'm about to find out. This is how you do the QR stickers. Yeah, it's uh, a good tutorial for everybody. Yeah, good, good tutorial. Beckett authentication. Zach Wilson. I don't know if you can see that on the phone, but it is Zach Wilson. The talented young quarterback. Nicely done, Jason Burgess. I know he hasn't been good, but there is talent there for Zach Wilson. Yeah, he's got some upside. There you go. Uh, good news for Steven. Uh, all thanks to Colin. So, Colin, you are like the ultimate autographs MVP tonight. Oh, Because you make two folks' night tonight. So I got to watch the Argentina game and celebrate. Uh, and then you were already here, and Steven's like, can I go surprise my wife? Will you fill in for me, Colin? So Steven's out there doing all sorts of romantic gestures right now, all because of Colin. I know Portillo's was involved. Yeah. In chocolate cake. And that's pretty romantic, if you pretty ask romantic. me. Pretty romantic. That's pretty cool. Yeah, he's out there getting brownie points. Yeah, no doubt. So thank you to Colin for filling in for me in the early show and filling in for Steven. You're like, you're like Steve Young, like the, the great <laughs> backup. Which I is, like it. I mean, you're like a starter. We got We got so many starters on the staff here that it's like, Crazy man. Hey, I like it. That was that's yeah, the best lefty quarterback ever. I'm a lefty. I like it. You are a lefty. I am a lefty. Oh, there you go. I'm a lefty in baseball. Hitting though, I don't yeah. I throw. Well, I saw you were lefty at the golf golf yeah, party. I don't golf, as you can probably <laughs> tell. I, I would say I did a little bit better than one other person, at least I can think of. But we won't go there, Colin. We won't go there. Uh, but congrats, Jason, on the Zach Wilson mini helmet. <laughs> Bob said nothing says intense romance like portillos and cake. I mean, it's pretty good. Around this area? It's, yeah, it's actually. Not bad. So Jason Burgess is naughty. Uh, but congrats on the Zach Wilson mini helmet, uh, Jason. Did you really pull Barry Sanders in the only non-authentic break? Uh, it was an authentic break. Uh, I think it was, I think he means naughty or nice. Oh, naughty or nice. Yeah, it was actually our second double box break. Yes, so out. Vinny, we've done five naughty or nice helmets, one single box break, and two double box breaks. So we took down the doubles. So there were three breaks and five boxes. Yeah. And naughty or nice. I tonight. believe he was actually the fourth in all technicalities. Yeah. Jim Castle agrees. Chocolate cake, nice. Absolutely. Ooh, it's good, man. Especially Crazy. Portillo's. They got a good one. They have a chocolate cake shake. Yeah, it's really good. It's ridiculous. If you had that, it's very good. It is very good. That's one of my go-to orders there. Adam Cantwell's got a spot in the loaded dice. Let's go. Let's do it, boys. Three away to get to those diamonds. I'm itching. Oh, I'm I can't itching wait. for it. I cannot wait. I want to do it right here, right now. Bart Scott, can't wait. Can't wait. <laughs> How'd you feel about that win from South Pelotonio? Can't wait. <laughs> can't wait, baby. Oh, Bart my. Scott. Uh, Colin, if you could answer Vinny's question, who all did you pull in the naughty or nice authentics? Yes, sir. Mr. Batani. Cordell Stewart, uh, was the first one. Also got that Oklahoma triple sign off that. Just, just throwing that in there. Joe Steisman authentic, Keenan Allen authentic, Oof. uh, Barry Sanders, and then Dermonte Dawson. Oof. Those okay. Our, uh, Very nice stuff. Yeah. Still uh, a lot of good stuff left and not a lot of boxes left. So... Pilot Calhoun saying, funny thing is the most desirable rookie quarterback is not even in the most sets in 2022. Uh, Panini is like, oh, we have to delay. We can get Purdy the last draft pick in this one. Brock Purdy, <laughs> better than Tom Brady. Uh, if, you, if you watch football for the first time in your life this Sunday, you watched the 49er game and the Tampa Bay Buccaneer game, you thought to yourself, man, that number 12 guy in the Bucks, he's terrible. That Brock Purdy guy? Pretty good. He's a baller. Purdy, baby, in the house. I was telling Steven, I have a bye week in my first round of the playoffs, but I have Kyler Murray. Oh. And he's done, yeah. So I put all of the money I have left in waiver wires to get Brock Purdy. It's like $70. Incredible. <laughs> got to. Uh, he's got the best team around him in the NFL. Uh, Naughty or Nice Authentic number two is next. We got Robert Taglienti, James Webb. We got a new guy in the room, Jed Mendoza. Welcome, Jed. Hey, Jed. Uh, let us know how you heard about Ultimate Autographs and also what squad you like, sir. Uh, also, drop me a number if you're in that break. Naughty or Nice, we got all the remaining boxes in the room on the ticker. 
14, 19, 25, 27, and basically 28 through 35. Also have the double box can't miss. That's ready as well. Oh, let's go. That'll be next. Uh, Justin saying Tom needs to retire. I'm just saying should have when he won that last Super Bowl. Probably true. He might still have his wife. He did that. He I probably mean, I don't, would. Yeah, I don't know the ins and outs of the relationship. But. Yeah. I don't know. The guy just loves football, I guess. Oh, Dan Grada's a man of his word. We're two away on loaded dice. Dice, dice, baby. Din, 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 din. I like it. 14, by the way, in the Naughty or Nice Authentics. That's my favorite number. Really? It is. The Thierry Henry number. The Ernie Banks number for me, believe it or not, is a sucks. Really? It's the Ernie Banks number. I was about to say Thierry Henry or Ernie Banks. Yep. So we're on the same wavelength here for 14. <laughs> that's my dad's favorite player ever. He kind of got me into baseball with Ernie oh, Banks. So. Let's play two, man. Let's play two. Let's play two. Ernie Banks, one of the most legendary quotes in sports. Absolutely. R.I.P. to an absolute legend. No kidding. Uh, seven clicks here for our divisions. James Webb up top. You've got the NFC North. Uh, we've got Rob in the NFC South. Rob's got the NFC East. Hagley NT. Uh, Rob again. I guess we got him as Robert and Rob. He's in both names. Okay. I like it, Colin. He's like he's testing his luck with yeah. different versions. Rob AFC North. Uh, we have Jeb AFC South. James AFC East. And Rob in the AFC West. Here we go. What do we have? Box 14 out of 35. Let's do it. What could we have in here? Such a good series so far, Colin. Got an LOL from Kevin. Not sure why I went in like that, says Rob. <laughs> well, one thing I am sure of. Robert Taglienti, you, my friend, are a loser. Oh. Rob Taglienti, though, <laughs> you're a winner. All right. Uh, you got yourself a full-size authentic the lightning bug, Darren Sproles oh, on the loop. I love it. So he was an eagle as well, Colin. Yeah. Uh, he still has the single season record for most all-purpose yards in NFL history. That That's is awesome. Return yards, rushing yards, receiving yards added in one. No man ever had more than Darren Sproles did for a single season. The man was an animal. Let's go, Rob Taglianti. You, my friend, are way cooler than Robert Taglianti. I mean, <laughs> I don't know about Robert Taglianti, but Rob Taglianti, uh, that mean is a legend. That guy's a legend, yep. <laughs> Darren Sproles Lunar, very cool. Awesome, dude. I love Darren Sproles. He Absolutely. is uh might be the next person I add to my Eagles collection. Not no like that much, yeah. Uh Jim, by the way, did make a bring up a good point about Favre. When he was on the Jets, he was terrible. Yeah. So maybe Favre waited like one year too late to retire that's i thought it was a little interesting that that was the example justin was going with but yeah i feel you i feel like peyton manning knew when to retire you know he got a great team around him in denver he won a super bowl and he said that's good enough for me he didn't he, try to come back and win another he knew his arm was dead and he was like i'm done i'm done i'll take it go out on top uh not bad on peyton yeah, manning he did it the right way yeah rob tech you got it not that robert guy yeah no kidding so let's see if we have the um, naughty or nice here. Ah, yes. That is a part of this, isn't it? Uh, yep, Denny, we did suggest that. Uh, did you look into that if we have that listing ready or we not? We don't have it, Denny, yeah. Okay, so Denny, we don't have that listing. Uh, we can work on creating it for tomorrow, possibly. That's not a bad idea. I think so, yeah. Uh, naughty Rob. But you know what? I think Rob Burt was probably nice, but sometimes <laughs> nice guys finish last. And <laughs> Rob, though, didn't finish last because he did get a win uh, with the lightning bug. Well said. So Cool hit. What is the bonus wheel for tonight? Jerseys? No, Jason Burgess. Uh, the bonus was the camp, or the college series, which we did a chase wheel spin already. And we're doing a separate chase wheel spin if we close out the entire load of dice. We can't offer three chase wheel spins. So. Yeah. Loaded dice will get closed up. We'll do that chase wheel spin in the loaded dice, and then we'll see. I'm going to hand you a few boxes here, Colin, if you don't mind. Sure. Let's get ahead here. Uh, here's Rob's win. Anthony Rosati. Mr. Groby. Marshall Falk. That was a sweet-looking chrome lid. Zach Wilson. 
The Jets don't want him. Neither do I. Uh, but a pretty cool Flash Mini. Lawrence Taylor. I mean, these hits tonight were Bob Greasy. Right. Everything is good tonight. These were all probably honorable mentions, too. No kidding. Uh, the Canton is double, I see Colin, but I don't see the names. You could maybe paste oh. in those names. Pardon me. Oh, uh, you're good. No worries. Loaded dice. Let's see. We are two away on the dice. Let's do it. Dice, dice, baby. Otherwise, we're pretty open at the moment. So, folks, hop in and let's do some breaks tonight. The wheel spin, Tony. We already did a wheel spin because we closed out the college series. And loaded dice will be a separate wheel spin. Uh, I didn't put it up because it's only if we closed out the entire series. But now that we have two left, I'll take out the college mixer. I'll put up the loaded dice for you guys. One left in loaded dice. Okay, well, I'm probably wasting my time, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, we'll do loaded dice next. Triple box break. Uh, has Nick Chubb come out in the dice? He did come out uh, yesterday. Yes. Well, Nick Chubb yesterday. Yeah. No headliners left in loaded dice. But I mean, it's, but still it's a good eight. series. Yeah. Come on, let's get that dice closed, says Kevin. The goat. The goat, Kevin. The goat. He's the goat. Not coming up short because he's a goat. That's right. Vinny going to win the loaded dice? Uh, I'm going to predict Vinny's not going to win the loaded dice. <laughs> I don't think he's in the loaded dice. So. Wait, that's why he's not going to win. You can't win if you don't play. But you know who is in it? Steve Durkee. Of course he is. Are we closed? We're closed. So loaded dice is coming up, but first we have the can't miss double. Yeah. Uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, and ten. I'll give you guys 30 seconds. Otherwise, I'll randomize and randomizer will pick the top two boxes. Oh, we got a Babe Ruth in the room. JJ Lee saying, I'm gonna win the loaded dice. Ooh. Okay, JJ. I we like it, JJ. JJ Lee. I like it. I'm gearing up for the diamond, and that Gronk says, Vinny, okay? Well, gear up, baby. It's coming. So, JJ, is he in Can't Miss? Who's JJ, by I'm the way? I'm guessing he's James uh, Jodry, and he is in Loaded Dice 2. Okay, but he's not in the Can't Miss. I don't believe so. Okay, but Dan Grata is, though, and he wants 7 and 9. 7 and 9 works, Stan. John Elway. And Bears legend Shane Matthews. Remember him? <laughs> A not doll. a legend. I don't. Yeah, yeah it's like I Matthews. can't. I can't imagine that's true. But you got a hail mary win against the Browns back in the day, uh, Shane Matthews. So All we'll right. do seven and nine and can't miss, and then we'll do the last load of dice, and then we'll drop that new diamond series. Beautiful. Actually, Colin, you might as well drop the diamond series now. Way ahead of you. Perfect. Uh, very cool, man. Thank you very much. Seven clicks here in the can't miss. Two great hits coming up. Good luck, folks. Let's see some heat. So you can only call out box numbers if you're in the break. Just right. so, just so we know here. They called me too tall, short in football. Says Kevin. I like it. What'd you play, Kevin? What position were you? I played the other football growing up. Football, Colin. <laughs> uh, you're looking at the. Uh, freshman B team leading goal scorer. I uh, never shared that with you. Uh, no, I haven't. Yeah, they left me off the A team. And what I an accomplishment. Wrong. What an accomplishment. He's legendary. Absolutely legendary. I was a state champion baseball player. No big deal. Oh, you win, Colin. That's <laughs> fine. That's fine. Uh, here we go. Seven out of 40. Can't miss double. What could we have in the first one? got to be something good. I mean, it's the can't miss. Yeah. Uh, all the headliners are full-size helmets. Reps are authentics. Uh, some of the other hits could be authentics. Reps could be mini helmets. Uh, could be jerseys. You never know. Uh, we do have a mini helmet. And Colin, you, my friend, are going to be jealous. This is actually uh -oh. one of the very worst hits in this series. But for you, it's one of the best. All right. Uh, we have an Eagles legendary quarterback. Uh, NFC East. Randall Cunningham, yeah. one of the dual OG, uh, mm. dual threat quarterbacks, NFC East, Justin Frazee, spinning around, Justin, it just <laughs> works. Congratulations on the Randall Cunningham mini. That is very nice. And this is like literally, Colin, if you look at the listing, I know you're an Eagles fan, but this is like a bottom tier hit in this series. This is extra hilarious, too, because he literally was just offering me 
Uh, Randall Cunningham. Oh, he's got another one. <laughs> he's got, he's another. got another one. Uh, <laughs> Let's go, Justin. There you go, Justin. It Randall Cunningham. <laughs> oh, man. That's cool. That's sick. Very cool. I mean, he, he walked so Donovan McNabb could run, and I guess so Michael Vick could sprint. <laughs> Michael Vick was a pretty good sprinter, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Randall Cunningham. A defensive tackle for Kevin. There you go. Ooh. Uh, he was like Warren Sapp. He was the QB killer back in the day. Yep. Like Warren Sapp. I'm just going to stay out of your way, sir, if you used to be a defensive tackle. Yeah, no no doubt. Uh, come on, Moon, says Kevin. Uh-oh. He's got the NFC West. Uh, I'm guessing he's a Seahawks fan or actually, well, I don't know what Moon's on. He might be on an Oilers helmet. That could be David Scott, but we'll see. Could be a Viking helmet. Could be a Chief helmet. You never know what Warren Moon. Anything is possible. The world is chaos. As Kevin Garnett said, anything is possible. <laughs> One thing is impossible in this series. That we're going to have like a non-great player. Because they're all great players in this series. Uh, we got a slap card this time around. Ooh, Colin. Interesting. So this is my personal nightmare. Opening up these envelopes. <laughs> Not a lot of fun. But I'll do my best. <laughs> Let me spin it around for Justin. Oh, spun around. So we'll see, Justin, if it works for you, buddy. It was such a good Tuesday for Common, and now he's got to open a slap thing. I bet it's fire under there, though. You know, he's back in this break. He took a break for a little bit tonight. Uh, back to doing what he does best. Steve Durkee, oh my God. single spot snipe, Dalvin Cook, Ooh. prison card, Minnesota Vikings, the rookie auto, one of the best oh, nice. running backs in the league. NFC North, Steve Durkee. Eat your heart out, Anthony Rosati. That is clean. Look at Very that. Very clean. That is sick, dude. Uh, I love that hit. Dalvin Cook. I thought this was the slap series, but it's the, the can miss. And this is actually one of the lesser hits in this series as well. Oh, my God. Uh, very clean on the Dalvin Cook. Uh, nicely done. That ain't bad. Alan Pelletier asking for a double in the diamond. Let's do it. Oh, my. Let's do it, Colin. I like it. Let's do it. Colin Pelletier, man of ideas. No kidding. We can still do the single, right? Do both? Let's do both. We can do both. All right. Give the customers what they want, Colin. I think we've already got two spots filled out in the diamonds. Okay, so we might have three boxes right away. That'll be fun. And I'm going to have to take a trek in the back. We'll start with 1 through 10 on the ticker. Yeah, I got the wrong date on there. We're going to fix that real quick, and then I'm going to post this double. Uh, what a way to start, says Colin. Kevin's a season ticket holder with the Hawks. Ooh. Uh, cool. Uh, very cool. Dang, uh, man. I've heard that might be the best, uh, loudest stadium in sports. So yeah. for football, at least. NFL. I've been at Arrowhead very loud. Uh, I've heard that Seattle might be the only one that's louder, potentially. I mean, he's he's literally the 12th man. He's got season tickets. He's That's a awesome. man. The GOAT. Loaded dice number two. Uh, actually, this is the last crate. So I'm going to go ahead and randomize. Loaded dice is gone. Uh, what is it? Two-minute warning? Yes. Two-minute. Let me spell minute right. Two-minute warning. Diamond helmets. One through ten to start. Uh, it's going to be a heck of a start. Colin Pelletier. The international man of ideas. He does a great job, doesn't is there, he? Is there anyone smarter than him? I mean, I don't know. Loaded dice coming up. Last crate. We'll go seven times. And we'll do a chase wheel spin as well for loaded dice. Right. I did say, Colin, if it's less than 50, we'll double it. Uh, so it's actually better to get like a 40 than a, than a 51. Right. Uh, so that'll be very intriguing. Absolutely. Uh, Arrowhead still holds that title common as loudest in the NFL, says Justin. Well, there you go. Uh, I've been there on multiple occasions, and it is super loud. Uh, loud as advertised, I would say, Colin. Uh, seven clicks in the last load of dice. Anthony Eden up top in the NFC North. Uh, right below him in the NFC South is Robert Taglienti. James Jodry. Or is that Babe Ruth? Because he called the shot of this break already. <laughs> he sure did. Uh, we got Dan Grodd in the NFC West. Jason Burgess in the AFC North. The GOAT has got the AFC South. Uh, 
the, the single spot snipe goat, Steve Durkey, has got the AFC East and Adam Cantwell, AFC West. Uh, the betting odds goat, Adam Cantwell. <laughs> I think he's the guy who sits there at home and memorizes every single betting line out there. He'll tell you all the odds. If you guys ever want to know the odds on bets, just ask, just ask Adam Cantwell. He knows them all, Colin. Every single line memorized by heart. That's crazy. Now, the question is, is he able to pick the right lines? And if that's the case, I will subscribe to his services. <laughs> well, he, he's in loaded dice, so he's got some money, right? Yeah, that's right. He's got some money. Uh, I got about $2,000 coming if Argentina and Messi, uh, he wins, they win the World Cup, he gets the most goals. $100 investment to win $2,000, Colin. Jeez. Incredible. It is insane. So, here we go. Loaded dice. Grade 14, one of three. First loaded dice box. Uh, this is going to be a rep. Then we have one more rep and then an authentic to close it. Diamonds are up. The single and double both, Colin. Yep, and they both already only have six spots left. Okay, cool. So we're we're moving on both. Uh, maybe that diamond series won't be around very long. <laughs> I think once people see what comes out of there, uh, it's going to be just... Ridiculous. I mean, we have a can't miss in here, and I'm, it's once again, I think, can't miss on steroids. Yeah, Steven said that, and he was co completely right. I don't think he's wrong about this one either. What in the world is this? Woo! Uh, Robert Taglietti. We've got ourselves a Warren Sapp Miami Ooh. Hurricane replica helmet Whoa. all about the U. Look at this whoa, bad boy! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Warren Sapp replica helmet, uh, one of the best ever to do it. Oh my Former God. defensive player of the year, uh, Pro Football Hall of Famer, NFL 2000 saw decade team, NFL 1990s, a beast in college, NFC South, Robert Tagliati. Man, uh, again, loaded dice. Not, not a headliner. Not in the listing. It's just a replica helmet, a Warren Sapp, Miami. That is incredible. A Roberts. So this all time. All about the U. All about the U. Six says Rob. Uh, absolutely, man. That is rock solid. Uh, I say this a lot here in the room. Loaded dice. Can't miss. Diamond authentics. Exactly zero filler hits. Every <laughs> item in those three series is a headliner to me, Colin. Absolutely. This man. is the headliner right here. It is. This it is. is the headliner 100%. That thing is sick, Rob. You are correct. That is awesome, dude. Very cool. Is that a, this, that's a flash, right? I think it's a flash. I was wondering that as well. I think it is a flash on the Miami uh, college helmet. Goodness gracious. What a way to start. Next, you got to rank your college flashes, Colin. Oh, boy. That's going to be hard. <laughs> I think it's like 119 or 20 Division One schools. My goodness. I'd probably uh, just do a top 20 or something. You've got homework. I'd have to go through them all. You've got homework, Colin. You've got homework. Just great call by Colin Pelletier, too. Shouting out the other Colin. We only have three spots left in the double for yeah, the I first mean, diamonds. I better get through this, this break so we can do the <laughs> double box we'll break. See. It's uh, almost a good thing I got to go in the back because we got to get these boxes. Over there. Do, uh, the room is getting overcrowded with boxes. <laughs> Nothing but fire. Noise. Oh, that was actually the, the first rep I just did. We got one more rep before the authentic. Yeah, I know it doesn't feel like it. If it's half as good as the last one, <laughs> fantastic. Fantastic. Oh, I'll say. This break room has just been. <laughs> I mean, it's like. Got like a, a wand of magic with all the hits coming out. Uh, let's see what we got next here. Let's see it. You know what? This is pretty good as well. I like uh, it. I know he's had a little bit of a disappointing season, uh, but he was top five in the league in rushing last season. Uh, former national champion college. One of the best young running backs, Ooh. Najee Ooh. Harris on the Flash Replica Helmet. Nice. Uh, that is clean. Jason Burgess, AFC North, Najee Harris. Holy moly. Good Lord. Again, this is a headliner-worthy name, Najee Harris. On a Flash, too? I mean, this last crate is taking care of y'all. No kidding. It's a non-headliner crate. But what headliners are left? None of them are left. And we got specialty helmets left and right. Crazy, man. Loaded dice. As good as it gets, but the Diamond Series is even better. That's what's scary, Colin. Sold out that double. I okay, believe. so let's get this uh, next one done. 
And we'll rock and roll in the double box break. I think that series is going to be gone pretty quickly. Uh, we can knock out, like, I mean, we can knock out as much as you guys want. We can do it all if you really want. Oh, my God. I mean, could you imagine? We got really crazy. We can do quad box breaks. Oh, my God. Triple box breaks. So this this would be a night that's going down in UA history. <laughs> Let's make it case. happen. Uh, we got five and nine in the double box break. I'm guessing Vinny's in there. Of course. We'll do five and nine for Vinny. Looking for Gronk, Mr. Vinny. Mr. Batani. Oh, he'll be chasing that one. That'll be a lot of fun. The best tight end ever, according to uh, Vinny. It's tough to argue, I'm just going to say. Yeah, not, not according to me, but according yep. to Vinny. What do we have in the last loaded dice authentic? I'd say this is, oh my goodness. Holy moly. So this is on a different team, but the GOAT, Kevin... Uh -huh. uh, he was looking for Warren Moon earlier, right? That's right. Well, here's Warren Moon at a full-size authentic Oilers helmet. Uh, let's go. Warren Moon authentic. Oh, my. Uh, he was a Seahawk legend, an Oilers legend, nine-time Pro Bowler, Pro Football Hall of Famer, Sheesh. former CFL champ, CFL MVP, Canadian Football League Hall of Famer. Uh, that's going to be the AFC South, the GOAT. Kevin Goat. Goats without the C. Yee. The Goat, Kevin. baby. He asked for a Warren Moon. You got it, Kev. You got it, dude. Oh, Warren my. Moon. Oh, my. Now that is clean. Bro, what a way to close. Not a kidding? headliner. That's not a headliner. What's left in Load of Dice? No headliners gone. Three headliners coming out for me, Colin. Look at that helmet. Uh, that's clean, dude. <laughs> that, that is, is awesome. That is so cool. The goats is out there. Kevin, Kevin, <laughs> Kevin. I'm waiting for the goats in the chat. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We need like eight of them for that one. Warren Moon, Euler Authentic Helmet. I love those Euler helmets, too, Adam. That is That one is crazy. That's I mean, I've seen like the baby blue, which is awesome, but this one. That's, that's a, another level. That's a headliner right there. Absolutely. That's a headliner. It may not be a headliner in the photo, but if, if there's a headliner that I ever saw one, that's a headliner right there. Absolutely. I don't even know if that was listed. I don't think it was. Yeah, we didn't talk about it. I don't think it was listed. If it was listed, we should have talked about uh, it. I don't think it was listed, Colin. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, it was a uh, lesser hit and load of dice. Yeah, so what? Najee Harris, Warren Moon, and Warren Sapp on a Miami that's, good. that's not a bad crate right there. And now these diamonds are up, and I'm just I'm just giddy. I'm All giddy. right, we got Dennis, Kevin, Colin, Steve, Justin, Anthony, and Vinny. Let uh, me know, guys. Uh, oh, we do have five and nine from Vinny. Five and nine going off the ticker. Very least going to take some of these. The next double is up, by the way. <laughs> just call me the babe, says Kevin. Babe Ruth. <laughs> I thought he was trying to say, call me babe. It's like, no thanks, Kevin. I've got a girlfriend. But we'll call you the babe. Uh, Devin saying, Gronk, death, best tight end. There you go. Uh, he's up there, no question. Tony Gonzalez, Travis Kelsey in the discussion. Uh, Gronk is definitely a beast, no question. So five and nine going off the ticker. We'll go seven clicks for two-minute warning. Uh, let's see what we got here. Here's a theory. Indianapolis needs a QB and a coach next year, says Vinny. What's, what's the theory, Vinny? Tom Brady does both? I don't know what your theory is going to be here, sir. Uh, we'll go seven clicks. Sean Payton comes to the Bucks. Vinny, you know this, says Devin. I thought that Vinny and Devin were going to coach the Bucks together, but I could be wrong. Seven clicks. Uh, we got Anthony in the NFC North. Allen NFC South, Steve NFC East, Kevin NFC West, Vinny AFC North, Denny AFC South and East, and Justin AFC West. We got a boatload of goat emojis coming out. Okay, goat. All right, Kevin. Ah, so five and nine. We'll do five first. I can't wait to see what comes out in this series. So we'll put nine here. We'll do five. Double box break. Let's go. Anthony says, pull Rogers. 
That'd be quite a start. Two minute warning, Aaron Rodgers in the first box. Possible, certainly possible. Anthony would be a happy camper. Ooh, this is nice. This is gonna be very nice. Ooh, ooh, Colin. What? I thought he was gonna come out on a Titan lid. We've got the former Heisman Trophy winner, Eddie George oh. on the Buckeyes off that day. Uh, 1995 Heisman, Eddie George. Look at the Buckeyes. Look at this helmet. Oh, my. It's an AFC South hit because he was a Titan. That's Denny Ricker, Fanatic certified, Eddie George. Oh, my Lord. Uh, not a headliner. I don't think he's in the listing either. That is rock solid, Denny, on the Eddie George Ohio State. Holy nice. moly. I'd rather have this on Ohio State uh, than the Titans one, to be honest. It's uh, pretty sick. I mean, look at this. The inscription, Heisman. We got the Buckeyes in this helmet. It actually does sparkle on the stream, but in person, it just glistens. It looks like we got glitter on it. It's like, I don't know. It's a very clean helmet on the Eddie George. Amazing, man. Wow. A uh, great start. A uh, great start in the two-minute warning. Sheesh. With the Buckeye stickers. You bet, Adam. You bet on the Addy George. Clean. Very, man. Wow. That is clean. I like Eddie George has been getting in the room a lot more, and it is pleasant. Let no, no you. question. I like him on the Ohio State ones, Colin. That is very too. awesome. Eddie George. So the first video game I ever played... Uh, was Madden 01 on, like, PS1? Sure. Eddie George was on the cover. He sure so, was. I was like, this must be, like, the best running back in the league right now. He certainly was up there. Where did the box go? Oh, here it is. Okay. I'm just going to hand you Eddie George. I have a feeling that some of those helmets there are going to get replaced. Yeah, I think they're going to uh, get booted. I think they'll be booted, which is crazy to think that Adrian Peterson might get booted. I'm not sure, I'm not sure if Barry's going to get booted. But it's tough. This is a tough one to be It's an authentic. It's an authentic. That's pretty uh, sick. That's the cool hit, Eddie George. That's an authentic. Uh, that's an authentic. These are all authentics in the Diamond Series. Ooh. My lord. What do we have next in the two-minute warning? Steve Durkey's calling for the Cowboys. All right, Steve. Let's see if you're a Babe Ruth guy calling a <laughs> shot. Uh, we actually have a couple folks in this break who are calling their shot. So we'll see who's right. Box nine is next. Well, well, well. Without question, the winner of this break is far and away the break room legend, Dennis oh, Ricker, man. Flash Authentic, Ooh. Thurman Thomas, 91 NFL MVP inscription, oh. uh, two of the best running backs ever, Thurman Thomas, Eddie George, double box break, Denny Ricker taking home both. Dang, man. Denny! That's a nice flash helmet right there. That is clean. Denny Herman just gets Thomas. himself two, uh, two legends. Not bad. Denny says nice. Absolutely, Denny, that's nice. Yeah, I mean, even with two spots in a double, that's... It's worth it. Worth it, It's yeah. worth it. Colin says congrats, Denny. Uh, I agree. Denny Ricker uh, with the Thurman Thomas and Eddie George. What an introduction to this series. Goodness yeah. gracious. Vinny saying you're welcome. Absolutely. I mean, if these are going to be the filler hits, it's going to be a fun series. I was about to say, it's going to, he's going to be saying you're welcome a lot. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, like, to be honest with you, in this series, though, Colin, it's such a good series that we can't give Vinny any credit for calling out numbers. <laughs> yeah, anybody can do it. Because they're all good. And anyone can call out a number. We know it's good. It's the diamond helmets. That's crazy, man. Oh, very cool. Crazy, crazy. I think the single is really close in that as well, right? I believe three. Three away on the single. Uh, and then we are seven away on the next double. So let's keep it rolling. Let's keep it rolling here in the break room. Yeah, red zone for those, uh, the single. Two to go. Okay, let's keep it going. Woo! Big night at Ultimate Autographs. Big, big night. Big fun night, man. Uh, let's close the single. Says Vinny, I say Vinny, let's close the single and the double. Uh, we do got to do that loaded dice chase wheel spin as well. Right, yeah. Didn't me... forget about you guys. Loaded dice is gone. Let me put those over. Chase wheel spin coming up. 
So more orders coming in. These orders are just flying in at the moment. Anthony, Justin, Steve. I mean, three of them while you look up. Just boom like that, Colin. No, it's nuts. Orders are flying off the page. We are on fire in the break room tonight. It's a good day to be in here, man. It was a lot of fun in the early show. I had fun hosting. But tonight, man, it's going off the rails. The break room is just electric, man. Uh, this is the place to be. It's nothing but heat in this break room. Nothing but heat. Common, we have a can't miss and a diamond up at the same time. At the same time. That's unbelievable. <laughs> I mean... The next have, couple days are going to be fun. We have can't miss and we have can't miss on steroids. Yeah. So we have the best, like, two series as far as names. One in the Authentics, which is for the people who got the money to spend. You don't have as much money? You got the good stuff in the can't miss? No kidding. Uh, Another Adrian Peterson in there, the Tiki Barber, Terrell Owens, Terry Bradshaw. That's uh, all in can't miss. It's crazy. Uh, Vinny's uh, a man on a mission, says Devin. He is. He wants to gronk. Uh, when you get a second column, the chase wheel spin. Uh, it's on the second one. Oh, sorry. sorry my bad. Chase yeah. wheel spin number two. So we'll get all these names in here. We'll go seven clicks. Uh, top one after seven is what we'll do. It's a fun break room, man. It is. Oh, yeah. Definitely. It's a lot of fun. Seven clicks. Here we go. Top one after seven is getting taken home with Chase Wheel Spin. Six and seven, Adam Cantwell. How about it, A-Train? The betting line expert. Adam, let us know what number you would like to start on. Otherwise, we'll start you on one. Adam's a Cowboy guy. I'm going to say he's going to go like 22 for Emmett Smith or something. I don't know. We always say start on one. Oh, 34 he wants. Okay. Oh, A-Train 34. Well, yeah, duh. <laughs> well, what do I know, Colin? Uh, so, Adam, you're taking home the chase wheel spin. We'll start you on 34. Uh, sorry, go ahead. No, we're going to say? Uh, I was just looking at Vinny. He said, can you find out what the triple sign Steelers in Can't Miss is on? I mean, it's on a Steelers helmet. I don't know what kind, though, if that's what you're asking. I'm guessing it's authentic, but I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, and I don't know if it's a flash or an eclipse or what. But there's only one way to find out. So here's what we have in the break room. So Steven is like Randy Johnson, ace pitcher. And then you're Mariano Rivera, the greatest closer ever. So we got a great relief in the break room. <laughs> Randy Johnson followed by uh, Mariano Rivera. Pretty dangerous. And I'm Leo Messi. I'm just the, the goat of goats. <laughs> you're, you're playing baseball for some reason and yeah. still kicking booty at it. <laughs> We're still kicking. Uh, so $90 gift card for the A-Train. Okay. So starting on 34, Adam. Here we go. Here we go. What do we have here? Oh, my. Didn't even have to offer the double. It me three bucks. How about it? Adam Cantwell. That's oh, enough. man, a that, free diamond spot. That's a free diamond spot right there. Oh, my. Woo, oh my. Adam. Already to you, my man. Oh, that is awesome. Very awesome. That would be sick. Leo Messi strike zone would be a nightmare. I know it would be. <laughs> it certainly would be. Is he allowed to kick the baseball? He can do whatever he wants, man. <laughs> is Leo Leo Messi is my boy. He can do be whatever rules. he wants. There's got to be rules about kicking the baseball into the. <laughs> we can't do that, right? Messi can do whatever he wants, Colin. Oh boy. He's Messi. Messi. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Are you like, are you really animated when you watch the games? Like when goals I, scored, you I, just... I lose my mind. Oh my God. Uh, I lose my mind. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not like, I lost my mind today, man. Oh yeah, I bet. Uh, so what do we have next, Colin? Uh, two minute warning single coming up. Oh, good. Let's go. The one Vinny wants to be in on. He's looking for that grok. He wants it. So we'll see. He's trying to say Mbappe coming for him. He doesn't even know how to spell Mbappe's name. <laughs> He's not coming for nothing, Vinny. Uh, common, messy, bro, bromance, don't ask, don't tell, yeah? Don't ask, don't I mean, tell. <laughs> sorry, Allie. Sorry. I think she understands. She gets it. <laughs> yeah. She gets it. If any, I think she understands more than anybody, probably. I So, Colin, I don't post to Facebook very often. I posted like five statuses today. <laughs> that tells you enough. People think I'm crazy right now on my Facebook feed. Oh, my God. But I love it. Uh, we'll do box four. Vinny looking for four. Four going off the ticker in the diamonds. Number four. Did I bring that one in? Did I get lucky? 
Hope so. Probably not. Dude, Matthew's on his free pass list. <laughs> oh, yeah? That's true. That's true. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You I get like a hall it. pass with The hall Messi. pass for Messi. <laughs> it's like, I don't need it on like a, a girl. I need it for Messi. need it for Messi. Oh, Understandable. Sorry. Vinny saying, I hope to win for you, man. I appreciate that, Vinny. I appreciate that greatly, sir. I did bring a number one. Things just work out tonight, don't they, Colin? They really do. Absolutely. You can see Messi doing it? Absolutely. Seven clicks. We got Robert Taglienti. Uh, not Rob, just Robert. Rob Taglienti <laughs> is nowhere to be seen. Robert is out there. We got Anthony Eaton, Denny Ricker. Look at that. Denny was Dennis the last break. Now he's Denny this time. <laughs> uh, funny how that works out. We're switching it up. Uh, Justin's got the NFC West. Anthony's got the AFC North. Oh, boy. Steve Durkey's in here. He's back. What are we going to do with him? Denny Rickard's got the AFC East, and Vinny's got the AFC West. Uh, Devin wanted either Argentina or Morocco to win. Wow. Argentina-Morocco final. Let's make it happen. Let's yeah, you'd make love it that. happen. You'd love that. I don't know. There's a messy burger, by the way, that they have in downtown Chicago. What? Uh, so I got to check that out as well. Oh. Uh, if I win the $2,000 on DraftKings, I'm taking my whole family to eat at an Argentina restaurant to celebrate. Oh, I like that. It's going to be awesome. I like that. That'll be fun. Wait to be randomized, says Vinny. Did I not put the randomizer up? I hope I didn't mess up and didn't put it up. So I did randomize Vinny. Seven clicks. I apologize if I didn't put it up. I'm, I'm too excited right now, but <laughs> I can promise you I did randomize seven times, and that is the list because i got it pulled up here. Yeah, it's right there. So that's the list, Vinny. You can see it. You have randomized yeah. seven times. We did randomize seven times. Maybe I forgot to put the switch on for randomizer. Mm -hmm. But that is the list, Vinny. So oh, here we like go. Matches. Two-minute warning. Number one. This is actually a single, right, Colin? But oh, that's yeah. fine. No big deal. We can leave that up there. Uh, let's see what we got here in this one. Okay, pull me a Bo Jackson, says Vinny. Ooh. Okay, Vinny. We'll see if I can oblige. Denny Ricker is the man of this series. Oh, my. He won the first two helmets, and this one is way better, Colin. Oh, way better? Oh, we've got our first... Headliner off the uh -oh. board, one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL, Mr. 305. Ah, yeah. Two nice. Daddy Ricker, headliner hit. Uh, Tua, by the way, was first in QBR until Mahomes passed him up this last week. <laughs> but congrats, Daddy Ricker, headliner hit. That is ridiculous. Woo. Daddy is out there balling. You're he's got kidding. Thurman Thomas. Yep. He's got Eddie George. Yep. He's got Tua. Wow. Holy bowly. All I do is call fire for Denny <laughs> He says, really does. Vinny. We were talking about that in the early show. That's so funny. That's awesome. <laughs> so we've got uh, Vinny mm. is Magic Johnson, and Denny is Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. That is literally it. That's the duo right there. That's the oh, duo. Oh, my goodness. That is sick, man. Denny. How many people have Tua helmets that have the 305 on it? That's so cool. I know we had it in one of our last series, but yeah. it's very cool. We're getting it a lot here recently, but dang. Why not? Uh, that's like five in a row for Denny when I pick boxes. says, <laughs> Vinny. Uh, and then Denny says, Vinny, please don't leave me. Do not leave me, Vinny. Uh, forget messy in common. Yeah. Uh, Denny and Vinny's the true bro man. <laughs> that's... That's Denny's hall pass, Vinny. <laughs> Vinny's hall pass. That's his boy. That's his boy. That's his boy. <laughs> Denny's like, who's the GOAT? You guys are talking about Messi. You're talking about Mahomes, Jalen Hurts, Tom Brady. Uh, there's only one GOAT in my life, and that's <laughs> Vinny Batani. Vinny Batani. <laughs> that is so cool. Sheesh. So cool. Good Vinny man. just sit back on the next one, says Justin Frazier. Justin's <laughs> jealous. He's jealous. I don't blame him. Just sit back on the next one. Just hang out. <laughs> if it gets to seven in a row, going to have to slide me a helmet, says Vinny. That's on Danny to slide you a helmet, not us. Yeah. Uh, we're not sliding you squat, <laughs> Vinny. Vinny always wants to be given something. Oh, always. Uh, but if Danny wants to give it to him, he can. But we're not giving him squat unless he wins it. Unless he <laughs> wins it. 
Look, Devin said the last time I beat Vinny on calling a box, I won nothing. And if I went with his number, I would have had a Champ Bailey Authentic. <laughs> yeah, just listen to Vinny. He uh, knows where the fire is. He knows what's up. He doesn't always get it for himself, but he knows. He knows. I'm actually dying right now. This is so funny, says Justin. Pretty funny. It is. Weird and wacky things happen in the break room, Colin. Uh, you never know what you're going to see. This is what I love about this job. I walk in here, I never know what's going to happen in this break room. Mm -mm. Uh, you really have no idea, and then it happens, and then it's like magic. It is like magic. It is literally like magic. Goodness gracious. Uh, I like having Dennis Ricker and Denny Ricker on the winner sheet, too. It does not matter what his name they're is. They're both winners, yeah. just like Rob and Rob Taglianti. Yes. Uh, we have all sorts of winners in the break room tonight. <laughs> yes uh justin is laughing so hard that he can't breathe oh my god deep breath so, justin uh call 911 for justin <laughs> what what's the problem I just, i'm watching ultimate autographs it's too funny like, you're watching breathe. what ultimate autographs the best show out there hold oh, on let me tune in real quick i'll check in oh that is the best show <laughs> we got barry sanders we got two sorry we're not coming we're watching ultimate autographs now <laughs> yeah. no <laughs> justin's like sitting there <laughs> On his last like, like waiting. breath. Oh my gosh. Hold on, I'm trying to win a Terrell Owens and can't miss. He doesn't even have uh, asthma, but he needs an inhaler. So, absolutely. Where's the oxygen? I like it. Me and Denny are like Stockton and Malone, except for we win ships. Oh, I like Vinny. that. I like that one. Well, that's why I said cream and magic. Yeah. Uh, but I guess Stockton and Malone is good as well. Hey, our winner, big winner from yesterday's back in here, though, Colin Pelletier grabbing two spots in the double. So I just like three away on the next double. Uh, here's some important life advice, Colin. Here's what you need to know. Okay. Denny Ricker says, Steve might help you win a lottery ticket, but Vinny tells you what 7-Eleven to buy them from. Oh, oh wow. that's nice. That's my all-auto squad, oh, Vinny my. and... Steve Durkey. I never knew I needed an all lotto squad, but oh, here gosh. we are. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> that I is like funny. that one, Denny. That one is good. That that's, is funny. That's clever, man. That is very clever. And it's literally what it's like. <laughs> that's, I mean, it's true. It's so clever. That's why it works, because it's true. It works because it's true. Oh, so let's knock Lord. out that double box break. We got more fire coming up, Colin. Danny, you got to get in there, brother. I want you to sweep the series. That should be your goal. You might do it. It's a 40-box series, by the way. I know I said 35 earlier. 40-box series. Uh, I mean, in this series, other than the headliners, we got Lawrence Taylor, Ray Lewis, Marshall Falk, Luke Keekly. Mm. Uh, that Steve Young, Jerry Rice is sick. Uh, yes. this, this helmet is ridiculous, Colin. Uh, and... It's the first time we've had an Aaron Rodgers full-size authentic in this break room. And it's a flash on top of it. Crazy. So that is very clean. I mean, there's something for everybody in this, I'm telling you. So, let's keep it rolling. This is better than watching cops, says Justin. He's like that, like, bad boys, bad, bad boys. boys. What you gonna do? What, <laughs> what you, you gonna, gonna do, do when the break room oh, comes for you? Yeah. Let's go. Oh, man. <laughs> what fun uh did y'all see the clip uh of a 49er field fan got a hold of brady's bottle and said it was absolutely disgusting on mayo brady's secret formula uh actually brock purdy stole it uh <laughs> brock purdy stole the water bottle and that's and why brock himself. purdy outplayed brady <laughs> it's like the space jam what is it that the michael yeah, jordan secret stuff the secret stuff <sighs> uh brock purdy took it from brady just snatched it colin uh craziness man that is hilarious that is what it's like well the double is sold out i'm seeing yep denny ricker did hop in he said uh, you're right colin i think i'm gonna try to sweep this whole thing <laughs> it's not gonna happen it could uh, i think you'll win <laughs> one of these that's my prediction the one odds are getting two. better it was you know what one in 40 that he was gonna do now it's only one in 37 uh, i'm in justin's head uh chestnut checker says Devin. i like it uh, so this is two-minute warning. This is the second double, right? Yeah, there's almost no chance I'm going to have to go in the back, I feel like. But that's okay. That's fine. Uh, we got one and eight. Uh, Steve Durkey, Justin Frazee, Anthony Eaton, Colin Pelletier, Vinny Batani, and Denny Ricker. Uh, so we have Steve Durkey and Denny Ricker in the same break. That's dangerous. And that, Colin Pelletier. That is very dangerous. And Vinny might call the boxes. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> it's over. Shut it down. Shut it down. One and eight. 
49ers will pass on Brady again, and he'll come back with Sean Payton to the Bucks because they will like Purdy so much. I don't think the Purdy mania is as big as we think. <laughs> We're just making jokes. It's one game in. Uh, you want to hand me some of those boxes? Yes, sir. Uh, a lot of boxes coming out. We have one of them here already? I've got one. Okay, so you got one. And I'll start with one, then we'll do eight when you get back. That sticker is kind of falling, but it is there. Cool. I like playing chess, by the way. Chess is a fun game. It is a fun game. I love chess. I was in the chess club. It's funny you say that, because uh, I was, like, in seventh grade, I got third place at the chess tournament, and I was wow. not in the chess club. And everyone's like, who in the world is this guy <laughs> beating us that wasn't in the chess club? It's like, I played with my brother and my mom. Like Goodwill Hunting. <laughs> that was me, Colin. <laughs> that was literally me. <laughs> Uh, Justin Frazee up top. He's got the NFC North. Uh, followed by Colin Pelletier in the NFC South. Maybe Luke Keekley for you, Colin. Anthony's got the NFC East. Uh, we got Denny in the NFC West. How about that Steve Young, Jerry Rice, Hummer, Denny, AFC North as well. Vinny's got the AFC South. Steve, AFC East, and Colin, AFC West. So one and eight going off the ticker here. Love the Stone Cold intro, Devin. Absolutely. Uh, good stuff. So we got one and eight going off. We'll do one first. Then we'll do eight next. Here we go. Two-minute warning. Two-minute warning. Box one. How are we going to start this series? Such a cool series. The Diamond Authentics. This is ridiculous. You literally cannot make this stuff up. Guess who? Me? Danny Ricker, oh. salute the service. Look at this orange ink on this one. Oh. Nick Chubb, oh one of the best running backs in the league. Salute the service, authentic. USA flags on it. AFC North. Another one for <laughs> Danny Ricker. Oh, my Lord. Holy moly, Denny! Denny! Box one, another good one. Nick Chubb! He's taking the series, guys. Don't let him. He's doing it. Let's go, says Denny. <laughs> good uh, lord. Keep in mind, last Thursday, Denny was ready to give up on the hobby. He came in here, I'm ready to give up. I can't win anything. I'm glad he's still stuck with the car. Yeah, no kidding. And that is run. incredible. Denny Ricker! He's giving uh, uh, Durkee a run for his money. That's four in a row. Yeah, a break on, says Justin. He's he's jealous. Then he's like that guy that everyone's like, oh, he's so good. We we can't, like, how can we stop this guy? <laughs> and can we just talk about how good this series is, that that is not a photoed headliner? That's not a photoed headliner. Look at this orange ink on this helmet, too. This is so clean. Nick Chubb? <laughs> Nick Chubb signs like he's Willy Wonka. <laughs> I mean, I like it, though. I do, too. That looks uh, awesome. Love this orange. I mean, I guess the the Browns flash. It's you can't really get an orange pen on it, but this one you certainly can. Yeah, I think that might be the coolest Browns helmet I've ever seen. No question. Well, wait till you see that Jim Brown helmet. Oh, that's, that's true. Out. Nah, that'll Pardon be coming me. up soon too. Stephen and I were talking about this the other day. I want one with their little elf thing on it. That's very clean as well. So but we got still. box eight next. Uh, I like the Chubb Orange Auto, but the Browns have to have the worst helmets, including Salute the Service at that. Mm. Salute the Service looked pretty similar for me. Yeah, I but actually I mean, kind of liked it. It was written out. Browns look kind of cool. I like the Salute the Service. Otherwise, though, I agree with uh, Adam absolutely. It's tough. They, they're they in a tough business as far as cool helmets. Don't tell me. I, 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 don't, I don't even know what to do anymore, Colin. Don't tell me. Dude, this is spooky. Is this Harry Potter out here? What is going on? Oh, my. We got ourselves Denny Ricker. Another one. Oh, Ray Lewis, oh, NFL oh. all-time tackle leader, 13-time Pro Bowler, Dang. second certified defensive player of the year, Super Bowl champ, Ray Lewis. And the crazy thing is Denny only needed one spot. He just spot. needed one. He wasted oh. that second spot. Oh, my. Nick Chubb, Ray Lewis. Are you kidding me, says Denny. Oh, my God. <laughs> Bro, says Justin. Bro, WTF, says Devin. 
Congrats on a roll. Anthony says that's unreal. Vinny, um, Vinny, I need some Powerball numbers, please, says Devin. Rolling, rolling, says the goats. I mean, I think we're rolling right now. Unbelievable. This is just... This run, wild. Denny has gotten all in a row. All five. All Denny five. George authentic. Okay. Herman Thomas authentic. Okay. Tua Tagabaola authentic. Nick Chubb authentic. And Ray Lewis authentic. All in a row. This is like the third how many, the third best one in the series. Maybe he's won. <laughs> That's the Ray Lewis authentic. Unbelievable. Ah, uh, that is crazy. Oh uh, my God. Someone pulled that Micah Parsons. I'll deal with anything, says Denny. Get that Micah Parsons, Denny. Well, your trade stock's going up every His second, trade stock my man. is just ridiculous. Denny Ricker. Denny, you're going to get the Micah Parsons, all right? I've laid down the challenge. You're winning every single break we have. <laughs> I mean, who's to say he won't, Colin? At the run he's at right now. I'm trying to tell you. Who's to say that the man won't? You said he was going to lose one. He didn't lose a single no, one I was this wrong. I, I, nope. uh, I doubted him, and no. I'll pull a uh, Vinny here. I'll take half of your winnings for the Argentina now. That seems yeah. fair. A thousand dollars, thousand twenty-five. It seems about worth it. Well, I don't know. Denny Ricker is the the real goat right now. Absolutely the goat of the break room at the moment. <laughs> Denny's gonna gonna not buy a spot and he'll win. <laughs> he'll I still mean, win. I believe that. At I believe rate. that. Goodness. Wow, Denny, Denny. <laughs> Vinny is. Demanding his compensation. He's only won five. He hasn't won seven. He's like, I'll take the Thurman Thomas. Vinny's always wanting something. He's, he's, he's always wanting something. Oh, man. Vinny's taking credit. Like, he's like that group project. Uh, Vinny takes the credit even though he didn't do anything. <laughs> he suggested the idea, but then he didn't actually yeah. do it. <laughs> well, he's calling the numbers. That he is, is calling bad. the numbers. Give him some credit, but... Oh, my gosh. Danny, my goodness. Danny Ricker. Let's run it back, Colin. Uh, next one is up, right? The next one is up, I believe. Okay, guys. Got a spot already, knocked off already. Already got a spot knocked off. So, I mean, no problem. Oh, Vinny got him a Dak earlier He did today? get him a Dak in the early show. That's yeah. like a, what is that called? Foreshadowing, Colin? Yeah, no kidding. Oh, uh, my goodness. He has called him, like, what, six headliners to, or six... Uh, Six winners today. I'm Not speechless bad. right now. This is, I, I don't know, this might be crazier than what Steve Durkee did because Steve Durkee was winning uh, in a great, naughty, or nice series. He's winning some great reps. These are the diamond authentics that Denny's winning in. These are the big boys. This is, this is just ridiculous. I mean, what is going on right now? He's going to get the independent spot and it'll be the <laughs> Dallas Texans, says Devin. He might. He might do it. He might do it. Who got this one, though? Who got the Barry Sanders? That is uh, our man, Chris. Um, okay, Chris. Christopher Distasio. Is this still the best hit tonight? I know we I know. probably should have booted Adrian Peterson a long probably time ago. Probably should have, yeah. Uh, but we've been just too hot, you know? I mean, too authentic. That Nick Chubb was pretty cool. I still like this one. I st it's got to be the best, yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking maybe what would replace this. Yeah. Yeah, there's been a lot. I still, I liked the Ray Lewis eclipse that we pulled at the end of. We pulled two Ray Lewises tonight. Yeah. Boy, that doesn't tell you something. And didn't Denny win them both? Uh, or no, he, we, I don't know if he won the Lewis. first one. Good question. One Ray Lewis. That was Anthony Eaton. Okay, Anthony, we see you. Uh, UPS driver will be like, bro, no kidding, right? <laughs> he says, I mean, I don't need much. I'll just take a Thurman Thomas. Flash Authentic, yeah, 1991 NFL MVP. I mean, I don't need much. <laughs> something light, you know. Uh, the UPS driver is going to have one stop that day. No space in the truck for other things, says Devin. That's true. Good Lord. Well, he even picked a great day to surprise his wife. I'll say that. He did? Because um, uh, I'm having a blast in here. I am too. The box count is off the rails. It's over 30 now, right? I think it has to be, right? It's got to be over 30. And he's paying for the shipping. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> we offer free shipping here, so I don't know. Vinny, Vinny's probably trying to like get himself something, even though he knows it'll be free. He would never. Hey, hey, hey! I'll oh pay my for gosh! The Seven to go in the next double box break. Here's that link, folks. Uh, come and get it. I don't know how much the shipping cost for this is. I don't know what it is, Denny, uh, Devin, but. Vinny's paying, apparently, even though we offer free shipping. <laughs> Thanks, Vinny. Uh, so... No, we've already, we've already took it literal. Sorry, Vinny. 
Uh, it's already, it's too late, Vinny. <laughs> you blew it. We've already put your information down. Oh my gosh. All right, folks, let's keep it going. 1022. No need to stop now. No need. Uh, break page is pretty open, but I'm pretty sure uh, we can knock out some more heat in that double box break. A two minute warning. Remember when Can't Miss was all the hype? <laughs> it's been relegated. It has been relegated. It's relegated. For good reason. Yeah. For being honest. Can't miss on steroids, right? Yeah. yeah. They're it's both so great. cool. It's so cool. I don't think so, Chris Roberts. I don't think so. <laughs> Chris Roberts is obsessed with the thought of Steven drinking beer at a Bulls game. He's obsessed with it. Steven doesn't like to drink. He does, neither do I, to be honest. That's what you, I heard you say on the stream. I mean, I do drink from time to time. I'm more casual. I'm not like get drunk and party after a win. That's why I'm uh, here in Ultimate Honor. Yeah, yeah. To be honest, Colin... I was thinking about not showing up, but I'm glad that I showed up oh, tonight. Oh, yeah. You came to a good uh, one. I came to a good party tonight. Yeah, you see, you're... Steven in the chat, I don't even think the Bulls play tonight. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you're a better man than me. If that was the Eagles that just won, like, the NFC Championship, I did hard yeah. press to come into work. I That's think. what it was. That's yeah. basically what it was. Yeah. I was trying to explain to Matt Salas how this is bigger than the Super Bowl. He wasn't <laughs> he grasping doesn't, he it. He doesn't get it. He no. wasn't grasping it. He doesn't get it. Uh, crazy. Uh, World Cup Finals at 9 on Sunday. So, oh, so you got time. I've got some time. Don't have to come until 1 p.m. for work on Sunday. You should be fine. I'll be fine. should yeah, be more it, than fine. It would be like... Noon, the latest it could end if it goes to penalties. Right. So I'll be good. Yeah, see, I just... It'd be over. I'd be... I mean, by 9 o'clock, I'd be... It's a wrap. <laughs> Steven's got ideas that I'd be dren uh, drenching champagne on common if Argentina wins at the 2 o'clock show. <laughs> that could happen. That would be fun. We got to make sure we keep it away from, like, the computer monitors. Yeah, we're going to have to lay down, like... Uh, have you ever seen Dexter? Like, all the sheets? Yeah. Yeah, I got to make sure... Uh, we're not going to get anything messy. It's clean. Yeah. We might have to, like, flip the cameras and do it on that side. I don't know. That'd be fun. That'd be a cool... We could TikTok that, at least, you know? We could, we could go to a different room or go outside. And just... We could do it outside. Yeah. That actually could be fun. That'd be very cold, but... Uh, rogue camera. <laughs> oh, hey, Chris. What's up? Yep, it's me, the Eagles fan. <laughs> Good to see you, too. Yeah. I used to party hard in 92 and 93 when Dallas won the Super Bowl. Chris, it's been a long time since you've been partying. Yeah. It's been a long time, Chris Roberts. <laughs> yeah. Long time. He could be hosting some AA meetings at this point. Uh, uh, so, off the sauce. Uh, Steve's got a, Steven's got a question, Chris. This should be good. This should be good. <laughs> uh, my son was born in 96, the last time Dallas won the Super Bowl. He's 26, <laughs> says Chris. Sounds like you got to get a new son, Chris. <laughs> get a new it's, son. He's the problem here. You can adopt if you need to, Chris Roberts. <laughs> It'd be even better if he was an Eagles fan, too. Oh, my god! just like, you brought us to greatness, your son. He is the chosen one. Uh, we got Justin saying, comment if you could get a messy autograph. What would it be on? That's a great question. Uh, either a soccer ball or an Argentina jersey or maybe his, mm. his cleats. The cleats Ooh, would be cool. That would be cool, yeah. It'd be very clean. How come the Cowboys did not wax the worst team in the league, says Steven? Ooh. Shots fired. Shots fired. They they certainly didn't. I will say that was the Texans Super Bowl. They played like it. Like beating the Cowboys. I thought they were gonna do it. Man. That's their Super Bowl. Oh, I was just I mean, I loved having the Eagles on my big TV, just Gardner Minshew's coming in the game, like we're way ahead. And then just looking over to the left and seeing Dallas trailing by seven. Two game lead for the Eagles, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty safe. They're oh yeah, they're pretty fine. safe. They'll be all right. Christmas Eve though, they play the Cowboys. But we've got the we'll have a bet on the game soon, right? The Bear is that next week? That's the yeah, this Sunday. This Sunday. Yeah, we're gonna have to look at the early line. Yeah, it's probably not pretty. It's it can't be. I feel like you're gonna win, but I'll just do it for fun. It's gotta I be at know. least it's gotta be at least like nine. Well, I'm that's guessing. what I'm saying. If the if the usually I don't know, betting for the spread has been kind of rough this year. It has been. I saw Devin earlier. We're getting a lot of comments, which is great. He said winning the championship does crazy things. I have asthma and went out and smoked a cigar when the Bucks won. <laughs> there you go. I don't think I'll be smoking a cigar. Uh, nine point spread, by the way. Nine points on the yeah. A road game for Philly. Mm-hmm. Could go either way. I feel 
it feels a little trappy is all i'm saying i mean i'm gonna bet it because it's fun yeah we can do something fun yeah absolutely but uh i don't know with my own physical money i would bet that game cowboys on the horizon uh tough caroline phillips has an idea if you were a real fan you'd have messy sign your forehead and I would never shower again. <laughs> yeah, you just want stinky common in here, Carolyn? in here, stinking. Oh, I don't know if I want that. Oh, that's your girlfriend, that, isn't Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'd be producing over there, probably. Oh, my gosh. I like that, Caroline. <laughs> oh, oh, gosh. I don't. You know, I've got an outfit, Colin, for every game. I wear the exact outfit every game. Uh, it includes my messy shirt, uh, my blue pullover my quarter zip which now has been ruined by the way uh so it got mixed up in the laundry and came out pink or something uh but and then i wear my messy socks which i have on right now and the same jeans every game it's worked every time my girlfriend makes argentina fugaza the pizza and my dog dresses up in his messy jersey oh that's so cute (laughs) so he the one game that he didn't dress up was the 4 a.m game the one game they lost, they didn't have the Argentina Fugaza pizza. So it was the first game of the World Cup. Uh, that's why they lost. Since then, since my dog and my girlfriend have helped, undefeated. So crazy. <laughs> uh, Colin, if you, I wouldn't get hounded and invite you to sit with me at the game on Christmas Eve. <laughs> hey. Yeah, Adam would be like, no. Uh, no. They hate him. He's an Eagles fan. Yeah, and you know what, Adam? That's fair because I... I get excited at Eagles games. I was in Indianapolis. I saw Denny mention that Colts game. I was at that game. And uh, there was a whole section of us. I that, I lucked into that. And we were singing Fly Eagles Fly after every really? tour. We were just going. They it's travel like, well. I thought everyone like hated you there. Oh, yeah. they yeah. not a fan. You My lost friends, your voice? Even the next day at our meeting, you lost your voice. Yeah, it was gone by halftime. That so, was crazy. Adam, I appreciate the sentiment, my dude. I appreciate. I like that we can coexist. You you seem like a good guy. Does your cat have an eagle jersey? He does. Yeah. What eagle jersey is it? Uh, I think it's just a standard. E- like it doesn't have a name on it or anything. That's cool. He hates it. Oh. <laughs> but Caroline loves putting it on. My my dog loves it. Really? It's attention. He loves the jersey. Oh, my cat hates it. He just lays there like all scrunched. Like he just get, wants get, it. Have off. you seen the kitten bowl and Patrick Mahomes? Uh, <laughs> the kitten bowl a couple of years ago. Patrick Mahomes <laughs> was the MVP. <laughs> Of the Cannon Bowl. Yeah, that's right. Stupidest name. Uh, oh my fantastic. god, I love it. That's gonna be my next cat. Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes, <laughs> I like it. His head fits perfectly in a mini helmet. That's awesome. It really does. I have pictures of it somewhere. Oh, that's fantastic. He's got my Jason Kelsey signed mini helmet on. Crazy. Uh all right. Devin Butterworth's got some wise words. Uh, enough of this. Let's see another Denny win. Uh, <laughs> one spot to go in the next double box break, by the way, Colin. Yeah, it's a lot of the same, uh, same usual faces. customers, but Larry Rosslin has snuck his way in oh. here. So a new challenger. You know, Larry Rosslin, he was the OG single spot sniper. And Steve Durkee and Denny Ricker came along. He's like, I'll teach you some young bucks some tricks. <laughs> Out there, North Dakota, the break room vet, Larry Rosslin. North Dakota. Boy, I don't want to be there right now. It is uh, got to be freezing. Is Larry ever in the chat? I don't think he is. But Once in a while, he pops in. Larry, if you're listening, what I want to know what the temperature is right now. It's cold. In North Dakota. Larry usually only pops in when he hates on what wheels, uh, what spin I get him on the wheel. Okay. <laughs> I spun him a three once, and he never let me hear the end of it, Colin. <laughs> Uh, that's usually when Larry pops in. Oh, my. Uh, so, crazy. Uh, Chris saying, hey, Steven, if the Cowboys win the Super Bowl, you wear a Dallas shirt on air. What if they don't win the Super Bowl, Chris? This doesn't work like the bets work both ways, that's Chris. That's true, Roberts. yeah. What's in it for him? Maybe Chris gets in on a break. <laughs> that might be it. <laughs> Remember when I spanned Denny one <laughs> fun, fun times? Oh, uh, well, Steven. Well, he's getting that karma. Daddy was ready to retire after that night, but now he's back. He's back, baby. Daddy remembers. Oh, he he's never like, forgets. He's got Steven. He's got a dartboard of Steven's face. Just throws darts. Steven, Steven, Steven. <laughs> Crazy. That was a low for sure. Then he forgives, but never forgets. Oh, crazy. He's like, Steven has 31 favorite teams. No, Chris, I have three, says Steven. I thought, what's the I third thought, one? I was about to say, I thought it was just two. Bears and Bengals. What's the third one, Steven? Eagles for me. Mm. <laughs> I don't know about that it. one. Probably not. 
Oh, oh Bears oh, and Bengals and whoever oh, plays the Cowboys. Mic drop. <laughs> crazy. Absolutely crazy. Hey, one spot to go. Double box break. Who's going to close it up? Let's do it. Don't miss out because, look, as much as I say Denny's going to win every break, he's got to lose at some he's point. He's not going to win this one. And you don't want to miss out. He's not. He's not winning squat this break. Oh, my. I'm calling it. I mean, Nothing for Denny this one. At, he's getting at least one. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, I guess Chris technically wasn't wrong. <laughs> no. Uh, Denny is roaring. Like He's, like, roaring more than this line here. Keep saying it, please, says Denny. If he gets a double box break win here, both of them, he has he beats uh, Durkey's record. Yeah, he does. He'll have eight in a row. Oh, my gosh. So he's won the last six helmets? He's won the last six helmets. Oh, my All gosh. All in diamonds. Forget yeah, about I think it. it's been about two spots, one or two spots he's been doing. Yeah, it hasn't been crazy. Hasn't been like a four-spotter. He's got two in this one. I think it'd be kind of cool if he wins it. I'm just... I'm a numbers guy, and eventually the numbers say he's going to lose. <laughs> eventually, he's got to lose, right? Eventually. Steve Durkee's in here, too. What if he gets two wins, and all oh of a sudden he's God. like... It's like... Know. a. And Larry Rosslin's in here. You, yeah. You haven't been around long enough, Colin. Larry Rosslin used to do this before these guys did it. This is like a, a power break. I like it. We got the power players in here. Old blood, young, new blood. Let's do it. He's one of the last seven I've been in and called, says Vinny. Uh, that's Adrian Peterson, Chris yep, Robert. That is AP. Yeah, that's very cool. One of the best running backs ever. And uh, if we're being honest, he's, he's probably kind of overstayed his welcome on this table. He has. But, he has. I mean, it's always a pleasure. It's always a pleasure. Hey, maybe this next helmet we pull will replace him. Maybe I mean, Steve Young, Jerry Rice, maybe Aaron Rodgers. Oh, my God. If it's a headliner, certainly. I oh mean, Tua goodness. should probably be sitting here, if we're being honest. But Let's do it, Colin. Oh, it's happening? Do you have to? Let's do it. I've got him. Let's do it. I've got him. Bye, Peterson. Two was on the desk here. The 305 helmet. 305 till we die. I like it. Oh, Denny. <laughs> Denny sticker's gone. We're replacing it with Vinny, right? <laughs> Vinny, are you good if we ship this to it to you, Vinny? I think you'll accept. <laughs> we can make that happen, Vinny. He's already got that. Oh, no, he traded that Tyree killer, sold it. Oof. I was going to say, he could have both. I thought he's hunting only two for the mini helmets. I thought only. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know. Awkward place for that. But... What? How are we still one away? Who's going to close it? Sure. Uh, Vinny says that works. Sorry, Vinny, not going to happen. Uh, Vinny, numbers, please. Did Denny close it? I don't see uh, it One yet. to go. Who's going to close it? Do you want to have multiple spots, or is it all everyone with one spot in this one? Denny's got two. Denny's got, oh. He's the only one with two. I don't Somebody know. wants to match he, it. He's going to win. He's going <laughs> to win. I forget everything I said, Colin. It's over. Shut it down. Denny's got this one in the bag. He's got it in the bag. Mm. Oh, he said don't tell them. Sorry, Denny has one. <laughs> Denny has zero spots. Denny's not even in the break. Denny's <laughs> not in the break. He's not in there. That's crazy. Denny, get that last spot quick before someone else does. Oh, my gosh. Vinny, let someone <laughs> else call the number. I will say it's first come, first serve on the box numbers. Yep. As soon as the break is full, the first two box numbers we see are the ones we're doing. <laughs> Vinny, numbers, please. I love that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my Let's see it, folks. It's crazy that it's still sitting there. Uh, Denny kept the salute to service Tyreek and traded the Lunar. Okay. Oh. oh so I, Vinny got a Tyreek, but Denny's got two Tyreeks. Nice. That's what he does. I mean, yeah. That's what he does. Trading the Lunar, that sounds... What'd you get for it? Probably the something nice, good. I'm sure, yeah, yeah. Gotta be. Who's gonna close up this break? One spot to go in the double. Oh. Let's try to get a count here. A uh, box count? Yeah. yeah, let's do it. I know we closed out two series, so I'm kind of done counting. It's too complicated. <laughs> closed out two series tonight. Who's going to get this last spot in the triple or double box break in the diamond helmets? Closer magic. Is it coming? We'll see. Then he traded it to Devin. There you go. Ah. So Devin's got Miami Dolphin family. That's right. That is very cool, uh, Denny. I like that these guys work out trades. 
amongst each other. Our customers are great. They make a great atmosphere here, Colin. No, it's been a blast. We have a lot of fun here in the break room. It has been a blast. I think 32 boxes. 32 boxes. And so many of them have been really good. Oh, very good. Like It's hard to pick a favorite. We might do a hit video with like four or five different helmets. <laughs> we might need to go in a different room. Yeah, no <laughs> kidding. Put them all out there. And we've had so many good ones. Can you read off some of the biggest names? Oh, boy. Where do we start? Uh, oh, man. Real, real quick. All this right. is a Chiefs helmet. Yes. Uh, Justin, I believe it's Will Shields. And Devontae Adams, little red and green for Christmas. Yeah, the Devontae Adams has a cool visor on it, too. Oh. We are close, right? I think we are close. Uh oh, the Barry Sanders winners back in Chris here. Chris Destacio. Boy. All right, Chris. It feels like if there was a break that Denny could be dethroned, it's, it's this one. Yeah. Crazy. If you could, on the next one, very small thing, just change it to 7 p.m., Colin. I just noticed it says 4 p.m. Oh, okay, yeah. But you're good. No big deal. Uh, Vinny has been replaced as the box caller. Kevin is first uh -oh. with 3 and 10. Ooh. But they both wanted uh, 10, so uh -oh. Vinny gets <laughs> so, one of his. Okay, so we know Denny's winning one. <laughs> well, a uh, great helmet is coming out. Denny, oh, Denny's going to win Vinny's. Yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to win the one. He'll win 10 for sure. We'll see about three. And he says, no, <laughs> my streak is broken. Ah, uh, okay. Let's do this, baby, says Chris. I still think Chris has the best helmet tonight. Barry Sanders, Lunar oh, yeah. Authentic. Got to. Let me see if I can make some room for it. Uh, so the next double is up. Steve, Justin, Denny, Kevin, Larry, Vinny, and Chris. Chris coming in with Closer Magic and Box Number Mojo. All right. I need, I need to go back and get 10. Now. Okay. Three. You want to hand me some boxes? Yes, sir. It's been a fun night. I'm oh, good. I have easier access to my messy stuff now. <laughs> it was buried below there. This is the Adrian Peterson. Oh, perfect. So, and I'll get you one jersey here. I'm going to randomize for you guys. Sounds like a plan. This will be 34 boxes now. You get us to Walter Payton. You can't have a messy scarf. Sorry. <laughs> what am I going to wear? I don't know, man. All right, randomizers up. We're going uh, seven times here for our divisions. Five, six, and seven. Benny up top's got the NFC North. Right below him, the NFC South, is Larry Rossland. Uh, we've got Justin in the NFC East. Denny's got the NFC West. How about a Steve Young, Joe Montana? Uh, we have Steve Durkey, AFC North. Denny's got the AFC South. Chris has the AFC East. And Kevin's got the AFC West. Chris Roberts calling AFC South. NFC West. Okay, Chris. What could we have in here? Double box break. Let's roll. Why not A-Rod, says Vinny. Okay. Box three. My streak is over, says Vinny. Chris says exactly what I wanted. He wants the AFC East. So Denny's like saying his streak is over. I'm not convinced, Colin. Uh, I'm not convinced. I gotta see it, please. Oh my gosh. You cannot make this no. stuff up. I mean, it's not all Vinny. I think it's just Denny, man. Oh my. He's got another one. NFC West, uh, we have one of the best running backs of all time, former league MVP, 2000 NFL oh. MVP on the helmet, Marshall Falk, Woo. Flash Authentic, Danny Ricker, the streak lives oh, on. Oh my God. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. How is he doing that? How many, seven? Is that seven? Seven in a row. Seven in a row, Denny Ricker. One of three guys with 1,000 rush yards, 1,000 receiving yards in the same season. Super Bowl champ, league MVP, Marshall, Marshall, Marshall. Sheesh. Denny. I'm at a loss, bro. Can you say certified? <laughs> what in the world is going on? Oh my god. Maybe gosh. it's not Vinny. Maybe it's just Denny. <laughs> Could just be Denny. Oh my goodness. Oh man, I got Dennis Ricker and Denny Ricker all over. 
crazy. Justin's like, I'll come back when Denny's gone. Because he wins everything. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. Could wow. He, could he get eight in a row? <laughs> what if he gets that right here? What if he gets that 49er helmet, Colin? Oh my god. Jerry Rice oh my and god. Steve Young with the NFC West. Wouldn't that be a way to top it off? That'd be nasty, man. Marshall Falk. I was like, when it came out, and you know the first thing that I saw was the cert. We have Marshall Fox sometimes uh, with the Colts AFC South. I looked up and I'm like, well, Denny's got the AFC South too. So he's going to win regardless. <laughs> yep. So oh I was like, he's God. covered. He's covered. Another one. I'll just hand you Marshall Fox here. Uh, maybe we'll do a hit video with all of Denny's wins. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that'd be Although a good we, one. We got to have Barry Sanders in it though. So we'll see. That's true. Yeah. Uh, but that was cool. This is messed up, says Wayne Wright. Vinny's still in the break. That's right, Vinny. We'll see. 10 of 35. Is this another uh, Vinny hit here? What could we have in here? Box 10. No. No. Colin. No. I don't know what's going on right no. now. I have no idea what in the world is going on right you now. can't be serious. Denny, wait for it, Colin. The best flashing sports memorabilia. Oh, oh my. Trevor Lawrence flash authentic. Oh, my God. Denny Rinker. Oh, my God. This is unreal right now. Are you kidding me? He just got both again. AFC South, oh. Trevor Lawrence. Oh my what God! What is this? You cannot make up this stuff right now. I thought I would never see anything more impressive than Steve. Durkin's no, it's run. over. It's over. This is unbelievable. The, the WTF says uh, Dwayne Wright. Oh wow, says God. Adam. I, I don't know, man. What is going on right now? I've never seen this. I'm speechless. I've been here for about an year and a half, Colin. Never seen a run like this. And I said that last week with Steve Durkee. This is better. This is better. Because this is headliners. It's... We got Tua. We got Trevor Lawrence. We got Ray Lewis, Marshall Falk. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, wow. This is crazy. As Kevin, as Mr. Goat said, wow. Unbelievable. I just, I don't know. Uh, this is crazy. Chris Roberts, by the way, did call the divisions. NFC West, AFC South. Really? So people are starting to get annoyed right now at Denny. Some people are like, this is awesome. But the people <laughs> in the break are like, I've had enough of this. He even said, watch this, Colin. AFC South, NFC West. He did? What is happening? Uh, we got some, got some predictors in here. I'm at a loss. Trevor Lawrence, Marshall Falk, double box break. Uh, incredible. Absolutely incredible. I'm going to try to distract myself by just looking at this helmet, though. My God. There are no words for what's happening, says Colin Pelletier. It is, it's impossible. I agree. I agree. I mean, you know what are the odds? You know what our hit video is going to be? We're going to do, like, a real quick check out this Barry Sanders Lunar Authentic. Then check out all these helmets we had a customer <laughs> win in the break room tonight. Oh, my God. Yeah, okay. Uh, Adrian, that, you're gone now. You have to. Peterson's gone. <laughs> Uh, Trevor's on the desk. I mean, this is a clean helmet. Look at that. Oh. Denny can start his own store now. Woo, baby. Uh, Vinny Look called 10 to the one anyway. Just saying, says Justin. He's not wrong. Uh, Dwayne Wright is sick. He's not even in the breaks. He's sick. <laughs> He's like, I've had enough. You know what? Let's marinate. Let this marinate here in front of me. Yeah, you got to. Break, you got to. This is fresh. I mean, love this. Look at this gold on this helmet. That's this gorgeous. is gorgeous. I don't know. I mean, here's the deal with Denny. Denny's won so much in this series that he can buy two spots in every break the rest of the way, and he's still profiting if he loses every one going forward. He's, yeah, uh, oh he's, my God. He's definitely in the winner's This circle. man is so far in the green, it's ridiculous. We got Steve saying, let's keep this going. This is bad. I'm not sure I can say this. B.A. B.A. Uh, <laughs> very nice. It's not past midnight yet. We can't. We, it's Kevin, not. It's not UA after dark. Kevin, I promise you, it's not rigged. The randomizer is picking this out. Absolutely. Uh, randomizer is picking out. Did the next one sell out, or did it just not post properly? Uh, it must not have post. Think it doesn't have an image either. If you can, oh. take a look at that one, Colin. What the heck happened here? Yeah, that's weird. 
Denny's at a loss yeah. for words. I, I promise you, it is not rigged. This guy is just lucky. Uh, That's unbelievable. It's crazy, Denny Ricker. I mean... I, I don't know how this is happening, though, Colin. I don't know what is going on right now. I, I, I don't know either. I mean, I want to know the statistical odds he had from break one to now of winning every single one. It is destiny in the break room, says Steven. It's Denny in the break room. <laughs> so here's what we'll do. I'll get you guys a new randomizer. These guys want a new randomizer. Random.org. We'll do a new randomizer. All right. We'll see. We'll see if that works for Denny or not. <laughs> uh, brand new randomizer in the break room, guys. We'll use the new randomizer going forward for the rest of these breaks tonight. To be honest, though, I'm not sure it's going to matter because we had people saying it was all because of Vinny. Then we had box three called out, and it still worked out for Denny. Yeah, I mean, we have no reason to rig anything. No, <laughs> I mean, absolutely not. <laughs> I mean, let's just go through it again, though. Eddie George on the Ohio State, Thurman Thomas Flash, Tua Headliner, Nick Chubb, Salute to Service, Ray Lewis Authentic, Marshall Falk Flash, and now Trevor Lawrence. Beautiful. All right, so Vinny's got the math here because he's buying. He's he has like two out of eight spots in every break. So Vinny's saying 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25. So let's just see what that is times six. So he that's what, 1.5? I don't even know what that means. Vinny's saying it's basically one in 4,000. One in 4,000. Okay. One in 4,000 from Justin as well? One, one in 4,000. If that, we simulated that, this. He, he would have won all of those. <laughs> If we did this 3,999 times, this doesn't happen. Isn't that weird? I, I feel like the Avengers Endgame movie. Yeah. This is, it doesn't make sense. I don't know what's going on right now. It doesn't. It, it, this Denny's shouldn't saying, happen. Denny's saying, really? Yeah, <laughs> Denny. Are you really, Denny? You might really? be the luckiest person on Earth right now. He is. If you look at those odds. No question. Luckiest person on Earth. Is Denny Ricker? That's just unbelievable. So I need Denny to like play some bets in Argentina. This <laughs> yeah. Uh, I just, I just funnily said he's gonna win every single break in this series, and he's literally almost a quarter of the way there. And I said he wouldn't do it, and he's doing it. Because we've had how many boxes have we done now? Seven? Uh, eight. Eight. Well, we did a single too. Is it nine or is it? Uh, seven. You're right. Sorry. Seven. So he's won all seven. Uh, it's a forty box series. Thirty three to go. He could do it. He can, I, I'm he's, a believer now. He's not doing that. I was blowing smoke, but now I'm a believer. <laughs> uh, change the ticker to Denny's magic and not two-minute warning. Yeah, no kidding, right? <laughs> the FedEx man is going to think Denny is starting an expansion team. Uh, all good, just having fun, says Kevin. Uh, crazy. Hey, I get it, man. It's just... This is... I mean, I Steve Durkey won seven in a row the other day, and I thought... That was the most unbelievable thing I'm going to see in this break room. And here we are with Denny Ricker winning eight, just, or seven, just gorgeous helmets the in a row. The ticker has been updated. Two-minute warning, Denny Show Diamond Helmets. <laughs> uh, that's what it is. Until he loses, I'm not changing that name. <laughs> I'm not changing it. Denny got his two spots in the next one, too. Five to go. Uh What's the lotto numbers for the Powerball, says Kevin? Uh, no Mega Millions, says Justin. I'm guessing that uh, Mega Millions is bigger. Uh, Denny's like, I'm in, let's go. <laughs> he's like, please don't stop. <laughs> I mean, he's going to get beat sometime eventually, right? No. No? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, actually, but until somebody proves me wrong, why would I? I'm not going against him. I, I, I don't know what's going on right now. This is ridiculous, Colin. This is absolutely ridiculous. It's the craziest thing I've and, seen. And like crazy. Steve Durkee wants some good helmets, but this is the diamond helmets. Exactly. He, he's got Tua, Trevor Lawrence tonight. What else? Did, what has he won in that series alone tonight? Uh, Eddie George. Okay. Thurman Thomas. Yep. Nick Chubb, Ray Lewis, and Marshall Falk. And then the Tua and the uh, Trevor, Trevor Lawrence. Lawrence. Just unbelievable. Unbelievable indeed. And he says we need more boxes. Let's do 11 through 15, Vinny. Uh, I know we'll have to go in the back and get those. That's all right. I got to go back there anyway. 267 and then 11 through 15 available as well, Vinny. Unbelievable, man. I mean, crazy. 
One in four thousand. One in four thousand. I feel like that math has to be wrong, but it probably isn't. Probably isn't. Justin's in again. I think we're down to four in the double. Four in the double. Oh. There you go, Chris. Alex Ovechkin scored his 800th goal tonight with a hat trick. Uh, Denny, I'll trade you Thurman Thomas for $20, <laughs> says Vinny. Honestly, I'm more now that we saw someone else call a number and Denny still won. I don't know if it's all Vinny. It just might be Denny. He is still just getting Vinny's numbers. Yeah, <laughs> minus like, the one three. Minus the one three. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, I mean, it's it's worth noting now. Was that just a coincidence? Uh, I'll have one more go at it. I challenge you, Denny says, uh, Justin. He accepts. He accepts the challenge yeah, of can't. Justin or the Thurman Thomas for $20. Oh, surely it's got to be the challenge of Justin. I think it's Justin. There's challenge. no way he's selling a Thurman Thomas for 20 bucks. I think he accepts. We're on a duel. Justin versus Denny. Uh, the betting line is minus 1,000 for Denny. <laughs> Justin's like a plus 5,000 underdog here. Oh, my God. No, uh, Vinny, said Denny. <laughs> no, Vinny. Of course not. <laughs> yeah, it's Justin's challenge. Okay. Jeez. There's no way Vinny's going to get that. No way, uh, Vinny. He, got it. he shot a shot, though. I always respect Vinny for at least shooting a shot. I, I, he, that's true. I, I just don't know, Colin. I'm like, literally, I've got goosebumps right now. <laughs> I'm waiting with anticipation to see if Denny wins again. I have to. We have to. Like, Four spots to go. We'll see it. Underdog bet right now, says Justin. Uh-oh. You Call are a shot. You're the underdog in this one, man. Justin is great, but he's definitely the underdog in this one. Everybody is. Everyone's the underdog. Then he's got two spots, 25% chance to win, but it feels like 99. Oh, yeah. That's what it feels like. Then he's sitting this one out, he says. Oh, okay. So no box numbers coming from Vinny. Oh, Vinny's gonna be real mad if the ground comes out, though. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, Vinny, and he's the one who asked for more box numbers. Yeah, that's true. Okay, Vinny, here it comes the ground. <laughs> Collins think alike. We Colin do. Colin Pelletier and Colin Rudisil. Great minds. Uh, Mr. Pelletier. You guys are the two smartest Collins I know. I went to high school with one Colin. Good guy, not as smart as you guys, though. <laughs> not as smart. He's the cooler, says Adam. Okay. But who else is going to get in here? So, Denny's in, Justin's in, Steve Durkey's in, right? That's correct. Who are we? Who else is going to hop in here? Four spots to go in the double. You know, we dropped this series about an hour ago, Colin. I know. <laughs> uh, you weren't kidding. You said it would take off. I was thinking we'd do maybe like four boxes. We've done seven. Soon there'd be nine. It'd be 11. Could be 13. I mean... Who knows? Who knows? I just know when we got, I mean, we haven't even done a camp miss in a while, but we will. We'll get back to it at no, some we'll point. No, we'll do it. Vinny just saw, I just saw it was changed to the Denny Show. That's right. <laughs> Two minute warning Denny Show Diamond Helmet. Denny on the Show ticker. Diamonds. People are going to come in tomorrow if we don't do this one and be like, what? <laughs> what is going on? The Denny Show. The Denny Show Diamonds. It's got a good ring to it. Ah. Uh, I want Rogers or Jackson, says mm. Justin. Okay. So, Colin, I'm taking that down when he loses. It's a limited time uh, ticker there. Yes. Uh, until he loses, though, it'll go up there. So, we'll see. I have no reason to think he's going to lose. <laughs> <laughs> I don't either. New randomizer, though. Vinny's not going to play, he says. Uh, yeah, we're, we're so, really testing things here. We really are. Uh, Colin Pelletier. So, Denny, you got to give an assist to Colin, but also give one, or rather to Vinny, but also to Colin, because he says the double gets things rolling. I agree. He wasn't wrong. Uh, people like the double more than the single lately, which is good. I actually like the double better because uh, you guys are going to buy in regardless. It just expedites things and gets it quicker, and you can win multiple things with one spot. Absolutely. As we're seeing with Denny, some of these are two spots, but some of them are just one. Like the AFC North, Nick Chubb, Ray Lewis. Just needed that one spot. Just needed it. That one spot. He's he's willing to trade any of it for Micah Parsons. Really? So that's... He would trade Trevor Lawrence or Tua for Micah Parsons. That's what he says. Because he's a big Micah Parsons fan. It's not going to matter, though. He's winning every single helmet in the series. Well, he's going to win, Mi win Micah Parsons. Yeah, he won't need to trade. He would, okay. 
Well, if that's your squad, I guess it makes sense. Oh, absolutely. Who wouldn't? I mean, the only reason I'm not furious the Eagles didn't get Micah Parsons, because they had a chance, is because they got Devontae Smith. Micah Parsons is incredible. Yeah. The Eagles needed help on the offense, yeah. though. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's what they needed, because their defense is pretty good. They're 